Shen Yi Wanzua. Chapter 701 to Chapter 750. Have fun reading as well as listening. Hey guys. Can I trouble all of you for a moment? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss new audiobook updates. That's all. Thank you. Chapter 701, Domain Technique, Divine Light Waltz, 3. The Mage Temple actually had such a killing move in store, this was really something no one expected. If only Boss was the one facing him. Han Yu couldn't help but let these words slip. Mo Wu was a dark mage, so Long Haochen had the Light God domain to suppress him perfectly, and had naturally no fears to have. But how about Kai Er? The strongest of bright glimmer of hope was undoubtedly Long Haochen followed by Kai Er. The blow if Kai Er were to lose her match would be considerably huge to them. Be at ease, Kai Er will surely make it. Long Haochen had already opened his eyes at some point. The start of Kai Er's battle and the huge threat confronting her immediately came to his senses. Right now, Kai Er seemed to be at an absolute disadvantage, but was that really the case? After the Dark Sovereign appeared, it did not let out any special sound. Floating in midair, he arrived in one stride in front of Kyer locked by Hell's Cage. Lifting the huge sword in his hand high, he abruptly struck it onto Kyer. After completing this magic, Mo Wu-8 had his eyes shut, sitting cross-legged above that dark altar which was his domain, able to increase sharply the might of all his darkness elemental magic, as well as increase his magic recovery. Perhaps this couldn't be counted as a very strong domain because of its important limitations, but if one were to allow him to take control of the battle, that domain would show the most of its capability. Facing the strike of the huge sword, Kyer's body disappeared instantly and without the slightest prior indication. Mo Wu noticed almost instantly that the dark purple triangle appeared again. Right away, his body disappeared from that altar. White traces appeared on that dark altar, instantly smashed it to pieces and turned into countless purplish black air streams. Kyer appeared right where Mo Wu used to be, floating there. Mo Wu was shocked, because he had no idea how Kyer escaped from his hell's cage. That was a locking magic of the ninth step. Furthermore, Kyer had shown no signs of movement from there. How could he know how strong Kyer had gotten after breaking through the ninth step? The instant that Hell's Cage had surfaced, she had used a doppelganger technique to be trapped in her stead, and at the same time utilized invisibility. Another person's doppelganger couldn't last for so long, and would immediately get found out in front of a mage's sharp senses, so they would not even be able to escape the lock of the Hell's Cage. But Kyer was not the same. As the saint daughter of Samsara, she had the power of purification. Being an assassin with the most optimum gifts, she wouldn't be fit to be called such if she was unable to escape the opponent's lock. However, for the sake of keeping her doppelganger stable, she couldn't blindly go into action after escaping, or it would immediately disappear. Only when Mo Wu's summoned Dark Sovereign had attacked did Kyer abruptly launched an attack. However, Mo Wu really had a precise judgment, using his teleportation-like technique to escape Kyer's hit once again. Even so, his garment was dripping in sweat. If he were just a bit slower, Kyer's attack would have landed on him, therefore achieving victory. The Dark Sovereign visibly sensed something going wrong, and a dark purple radiance gushed out from his chest. It was not directed at Kyer, but at Mo Wu who had just gotten teleported in front of him. Figure flashing, Mo Wu suddenly disappeared in the dark purple radiance originating from the Dark Sovereign, for a similar result to Chen Hongyu's previous performance. This way, unless Kyer vanquished the Dark Sovereign, she would have no way to attack Mo Wu. This was what Mo Wu felt to be his only solution. The most optimum situation would be to have the Dark Sovereign attack Kyer while he recovers his spiritual energy. That way, given enough time, he could even summon another Dark Sovereign. But this was not possible anymore, although he could command the Dark Sovereign while merged with him, none of his spiritual energy could be recovered in that situation. To say nothing about making use of that domain, his only possibility of victory was now to beat Kar using this Dark Sovereign. Mo Wu had a definite faith in the Dark Sovereign's capability. Just in cultivation alone, it had the strength of the ninth step second rank. Yesterday, Kyer's Tower of Eternity had truly shocked everyone present, but that was after all an object, prohibited in this individual competition. While empty-handed, could an assassin really win against a heavy-armored Dark Sovereign? Done running around? The corners of Kyer's mouth traced a cold smile. Of course she knew that their greatest rival in this trip was the Mage Temple, and would show no kind feelings to a mage from the Mage Temple. The sickle of the God of Death formed of light of purification was slowly raised, she did not fly again, but came running in front of the Dark Sovereign. The sickle of the God of Death dragging behind her, Kyer's eyes turned white. Her absolutely cold and beautiful demeanor surged, forming along with her massive sickle a magnificent yet mystical scene. Although her opponent's display was also quite dazzling, this scene caused the absolute majority of the spectators to unconsciously put their faith on Kyer. After all, dark creatures were originally abhorred, to say nothing about Kyer's beautiful yet so young traits. The Dark Sovereign's eyes flashed with a purple glint, his right feet stomping heavily onto the ground as he took hold of his massive purplish black heavy sword in both of his hands. The most frightening aspect of this Dark Sovereign lay in his extremely compact wielded darkness spiritual energy. It was not externalized, but attached onto his weapon, which gained a great deal of bursting power. 
Kaya did not evade, nor did she use any special technique, just brazenly swung down her sickle of the god of death, her whole body flickering with white light, as her imposing manner rose to the peak. Despotic Strike That was an ability evolved from despotic thrust. Right now, Kyer's move was full of an indescribably powerful tyrannical force. Ding. In a tingling clash, the sickle of the god of death in Kyer hands broke down. After all, that was not the real sickle of the god of death, just a condensation made of spiritual energy. In terms of offense and defense, it was far below the sickle of the god of death of divine grade. But that dark sovereign was not well off either. One could clearly see that during the clash between the two opponents, the purplish black aura spreading out from his body was totally repelled, as if trying to break away from his body, while his movements also turned sluggish. Kaya really showed an unyielding performance, condensing another sickle of the god of death in her hand. An unrestrained white glow flashed out in the air, causing lacerating sounds to arise from the loud explosive sound of a chop at the opponent's heavy sword. The dark sovereign let out a low howl, causing purplish black colored fog to rise up, and rise sharply its imposing manner as well. Purplish black blisters rushed up from underneath the ground, turning into countless purplish black rays interweaving in the air. That was a domain, the Dark Sovereign's domain. Although no one here knew its name, that was no doubt a domain specialized in large area attacks. Those previous black blisters were not all MO Wu's, but from this Dark Sovereign, a creature of darkness of the second rank of the ninth step, which already had its own domain. The darkness summons of this MO Wu were simply even more frightening than the spiritual temples. But what shocked the crowd even more was the scene of Kyer's next move, already about 10 meters above the Dark Sovereign's head. The Dark Sovereign's domain had already erupted, and as that was a crowd attacking domain, it did not give the slightest space to possibly dodge the attack. Mo Wu was already fully prepared, as long as Kaya would be unable to resist anymore, he'd immediately stop the attack, but an unforgettable scene came next to his sight. Floating in midair, Kaya took a praying posture, and cleansing white glows turned into petals spreading downwards. A miraculous scene took place. Upon contact with these white lights, the purplish black radiance coming out from the Dark Sovereign's domain immediately dispersed into nothingness. As those falling white petals kept increasing, the dark purple light became lesser and lesser, just as if purifying flowers had suddenly grown from the midst of the boundless darkness, bringing in universal hope. In this fantastic purification, all darkness was changed to nothingness, gradually giving ground to the light. Li Zhengji opened his mouth wide in shock. He could grasp some of the theories behind Long Haochen's light god domain, as it was, after all, purely relevant to light. But the display of Kyer's domain far exceeded his knowledge. That power. The Dark Sovereign's body shook slightly. Raising his head to look at Kyer in midair, his body suddenly shivered upon sight of the domain of purification dispersed at rapid speed around her. Immediately, he reappeared right on the edge of the stadium, lifting the heavy sword in his hand, slashing it rapidly, causing a dark purple hexagram to surface and immediately making way inside. What followed was a scene of an abruptly shaking Dark Sovereign before Mo Wu's body was also thrown away, as the Dark Sovereign directly disappeared in that purple hexagram. The Dark Sovereign having just gone away, his domain naturally dissipated as well, leaving only a sweaty Mo Wu. He did not understand why the Dark Sovereign left so hastily despite being in no position of inferiority. Could it be that it was starting to rain as he had left some clothes to dry? This monstrous question flashed in Mo Wu's mind, as the only thing left in the air was Kaya with her unleashed domain, calmly confronting him. I know that while you major in darkness magic, you also have a mastery in spatial magic. Perhaps your spatial magic can allow you to keep teleporting, but I want to see if your teleporting can succeed while in my domain of purification. White light spread in front of Mo Wu. The instant his body came in contact with Kyer, he immediately understood why the Dark Sovereign had fled in panic. An indescribable pain surged in the depths of his soul. As his body shook intensely, he abruptly stated, I concede. Chapter 702, Mythological Beasts God Fights Wind God, I. There was no other choice but to concede. That terrifying domain of purification seemed to suppress the darkness attribute in a way no weaker than a light attribute domain. Not only was his spiritual energy purified, but moreover, his soul was the target. Even more terrifyingly, the purified spiritual energy was the core of his power. That is to say that under the effects of the domain of purification, his cultivation would continuously decrease. How could Mo Wu bear such a loss? As for the escape of the Dark Sovereign, his only reason was that he was afraid, having gotten caught by a terrible sense of dread. Perhaps he was strong enough to put up a fight against Kyer, but how about after that? If the domain of purification were to purify his soul, he would be gone forever. The Dark Sovereign was no idiot, and he had no deep bond with Mo Wu, only a special connection. How could he be willing to throw his life away for the sake of this connection? That was simply impossible. Just go die by yourself if that's what you want but don't implicate me. After sensing the terror of the domain of purification, the Dark Sovereign instantly fled. Kyer slowly landed from the sky, retrieved the petals forming domain of purification, and flashed out of the match ground after shooting a glance at Mo Wu. Actually, the most disadvantaged in this individual competition out of bright glimmer of hope was Kyer. Although she did have her domain of purification, her real fighting strength lay mostly in the sickle of the god of death she had been cultivating since young. Without the real weapon in her hands, she had no way to wield the seven arts of the god of death. Furthermore, in times of battle, the sickle of the god of death would be struggling to get out, so not only could Kyer not use it, but had moreover to put some of her focus on suppressing it. 
So it would be already pretty good for Kyer to wield a half of her strength in this individual competition, and her terrifying bursting force could by no means be displayed. The fourth match in Bright Glimmer of Hope's ranks was designated. They had already occupied a third of the spots, and moreover had a person who had yet to take part. When Chen Ying'er went on stage, she encountered the last leftover competitor of the Assassin Temple, and managed to achieve victory by the means of her powerful summoning magic. The fourth match having ended, time had come for the fifth and more terrifying leader match. The individual competition having reached this point, bright glimmer of hope's advance was already unstoppable. A group of ten, formed with two powerhouses reaching the peak of the eighth step and eight reaching the ninth step, with four domain-wielding powerhouses among the lot. Their captain Long Houchen had displayed the use of the two ultimate weapons known as Domain Technique and Domain Evolution, managing to defeat two temple heads and the number one powerhouse of the Night Temple. A lot of people sensed that this temple's great gathering would inevitably get recorded in the annals. And they were still so young, if they were given enough time to keep growing, destroying demonkind wouldn't be impossible. Although each of the six great temples had its own way to do things, which caused the Temple Alliance to be relatively dispersed, their struggle for over 6,000 years of Dark Era against demonkind had already lasted for far too long. Who knew how much blood of how many powerhouses of the six temples had flown? Bright glimmer of hope were really showing them a glimmer of a new dawn and causing indescribable feelings to rise up in a lot of people's minds. If there was one thing it brought to them, they would definitely declare that it's hope. Each victor of the fourth round could gain eight points, and after passing through this hurdle, the Night Temple had only two people left, the Mage Temple had three, the Spiritual Temple had two, and Bright Glimmer of Hope had two. The Assassin Temple and Warrior Temple were already eliminated. Thanks to this fourth round, five of them had already earned 40 more points, giving them a proud lead score of 96 points after getting added to their previous 56 points. The Mage Temple was second with 89 points, the Night Temple, third with 82 points, the Spiritual Temple fourth with 58 points, the Assassin Temple still had 34 points and the Warrior Temple remained at 24 points. As it was already noon, if the temple's great gathering proceeded normally, the winner will come out today. Although the schedule was delayed with yesterday's incident, the matches still had to go on. The five temples and bright glimmer of hope had already gotten the news that no matter how late it ends, the individual matches need to be done with today. The matches in the temple's great gathering did not last for long, these were definitely not matches of long time endurance, the main reason for that being the demon threat, what if demonkind took advantage of the return of a great amount of powerhouses from the six great temples to the holy city to launch a large scale raid. As a result, although the temple's great gathering was taking place once every ten years, the specific starting time would be fixed at the last moment to prevent the demon side from grasping their rhythm. So the time of the gathering was compressed as far as possible, to enable to powerhouses from all temples to return as soon as possible when it's all done. This was especially the case this time, as a series of new policies and important matters pertaining to the whole alliance needed to be discussed. After the fourth rounds were over and the points were totaled, the fifth round of matches immediately took place. It had a total of six matches, and although based on the prior patterns, Bright Glimmer of Hope's five remaining members would get placed in five of the matches, running into each other was not impossible for them. But in short, Bright Glimmer of Hope would have to face at the same time the top of the night, mage, and spiritual temples. Every one of their remaining members had gotten over 16 points, but although Bright Glimmer was currently in the lead, that lead was not yet stable and could change at any time. The first match was already a great clash of power. Chen Inger's good luck seemed to be finally exhausted, the light of selection having landed on her and the head of the mage temple, Li Zhengji. Long Houchen's expression changed slightly, looking face to face at Chen Inger, before she nodded back to him, standing up and slowly advancing toward the stage. In this match, Li Zhengji was especially calm. Although Bright Glimmer of Hope had gotten prideful results, he remained impassive, his feelings devoid of the slightest ripple. Who knew if he really did not care about them or had other kinds of thoughts? Currently, the only leftover temple leader was Li Zhengji, the other four having all gotten eliminated. Him facing Chen Inger right off the bat really rose the excitation of the spectators to the peak. This Chen Inger was a domain wielder as well. Could Bright Glimmer of Hope keep bringing nice surprises to everyone here? With a faint smile on her face, Chen Inger advanced to the field, performing a salute to Li Zhengji. After all, Li Zhengji was still a senior. Li Zhengji nodded slightly, and performed an inviting gesture. With his status, there's naturally no way he could rush to take the first move against someone of Chen Inger's age. Chen Inger directly sat cross-legged before starting a chant, without the slightest defensive measure taken beforehand. Looking at her, Li Zhengji couldn't help but smile in reaction. What a girl. She was clearly taking advantage of his unwillingness to take the first move. But even if I don't take the first move, do you really think I have no other means? Li Zhengji maintained a slight smile, but still kept standing still and started a chant. A fantastic calm filled the whole stadium. Ever since the start of the temple's great gathering, this was the first time two mages were facing off each other without the slightest probing attack. An insipid entity spread out from Li Zhengji's body, very rapidly taking shape on his back, forming green light interwoven around him. Being shaped into into an enlarged version of Li Zhengji, its chubby looks actually gave off a silly feeling of cuteness. Seated on the Night Temple side, Long Haochen couldn't help but feel a chill of alarm. Li Zhengji used a sort of wind god summoning magic, but which took less than 20 seconds to complete. 
The formidable power of this spell reached the forbidden spell level without a doubt. That was just crazy. Furthermore, that was accomplished without any equipment, and in the meantime, Li Zhengji had yet to even deploy his wind god domain. Chen Ninger seemed not to be perturbed by Li Zhengji's magic at all, still continuing her chant, which continued in an even more obscure and redundant manner. After that, some changes finally couldn't help but occur to Li Zhengji's face, because he couldn't identity the spell corresponding to her incantation. As a peak-level mage, Li Zhengji may be unwilling to make the first move, but was even least willing to remain passive. So he immediately made preparations for a forbidden spell, this way no matter what kind of magical beast gets called out by Chen Ninger, he could be confident in being able to destroy it with his magic. Even if Chen Ninger would come with an especially strong magical beast, he could still make use of the Wind God domain to boost his own magic. It was not that Li Zhengji couldn't cast multiple spell, but he didn't see such a need. Moreover, maintaining a magic after cast without releasing it would come with a very large spiritual energy consumption. He really did not expect Chen Inger's cast to take such a long time. For this girl being a powerhouse of the ninth step as well to need such a long time to achieve her chant, just what level could this summoning magic reach? Although Li Zhengji had some ideas on the matter, he had still underestimated the chanting time Chen Inger would take. In a blink of an eye, three minutes had passed, yet Chen Inger was still going on, and her spell had yet to take effect. If it wasn't because he already knew that Chen Inger had reached the ninth step, Li Zhengji would be thinking of her to be faking a chant. Just what chant could last so long? Girl, if you keep going on like that, this old man will make his move. Li Zhengji's dim voice reverberated in the whole stadium. Even for his face, he couldn't waste his energy in this temple's great gathering. Maintaining this forbidden spell depleted his spiritual energy rapidly, and as other matches were coming next, an excessive consumption would very clearly be unfavorable to him. Chapter 703, Mythological Beasts God Fights Wind God, 2 Right after Li Zhengji was done speaking, Chen Inger suddenly opened her eyes and showed him a sweet smile, giving the reply, done. Saying that, Chen Inger lifted her hands and extended her fingertip, pointing her palms upwards, as if releasing something. Immediately, roars from myriad beasts came gushing out from her body like a tsunami, but moreover, it was accompanied with the images of countless magical beasts coming out behind Chen Inger's back. Is that a domain? But how could a domain need such a long chant? Li Zhengji recognized in a glance a powerful summoner domain. Could that be the same beast emperor domain as her grandfather? Chen Inger had displayed the use of her domain in the previous matches, but only in the shape of single targeted amplifications of magical beasts, aimed at most at two targets, but seeing such a large area extended domain from her was really a first. The next instant after Li Zhengji was filled with those questions, his look changed. Light gates surfaced in an orderly manner behind Chen Inger's back. Seeing these, the most shocked were no one else but those from her own spiritual temple. Even the head of the spiritual temple Chen Hongyu was dumbstruck by this scene. He never thought his own granddaughter to be able to utilize such a magic. He was also puzzled over why Chen Inger had been chanting for so long. Even after having been in control of the spiritual temple for so many years, he had no memories of such a long chant from their spiritual temple. Even summoning a magical beast of the ninth step wouldn't need so long. Otherwise, in the battlefield, a summoner had the time to die a hundred times in the lapse of three minutes. Right now, Chen Hongyu was really crushed by his own granddaughter, and the same went for every present summoners, who never expected a single summoner to be able to display a strength reaching such a peak. Just count these gates, one, two, three, four, five. Counting them in a glance was simply impossible. These gates formed an immense semicircular shape, as if surrounding and protecting Chen Inger. In the midst of those myriad beasts' roars, all the light gates opened at the same time, letting magical beasts come out one after another from within. There were a total of 36 light gates, from whence 36 magical beasts immediately came out right upon appearance. Seeing these magical beasts, Li Zhengji's look became slightly better, they only reached the 8th step and not the ninth. If Chen Inger was able to summon 36 magical beasts equivalent to powerhouses of the ninth step at once, that would really be overly terrifying. But even so, Chen Inger summoning magic still shocked the whole audience. 36 simultaneous magical beasts of the 8th step, what was that? That would be enough to turn the tides in a whole portion of the battlefield in just a few instants. So Bright Glimmer of Hope's most powerful member was this summoner? The other members of Bright Glimmer of Hope had their own conclusion on whether Chen Inger was the most powerful, but one thing was certain, she was a god's chosen one just like Long Haochen and Kyer. Even if she may not have earned as much as Long Haochen and Kyer in these years, she was in no way inferior. This summon before her eyes had depleted all her spiritual energy, but what if she had her saint's spiritual robe? Would the chanting time even be so long? And the same goes for her spiritual energy. Even Long Haochen hadn't had a clear understanding of Chen Inger's real strength, right now Bright Glimmer of Hope could already be said to have in some meaning three cores, one of them being Chen Inger. In the previous match, Chen Inger had exercised great restraint, but finally came out with her full strength when facing Li Zhengji. After returning the day before, the members of Bright Glimmer of Hope convened a simple meeting, as they were certain to run against Li Zhengji on today. But how should they counter him? They very rapidly reached a conclusion, no matter who encounters Li Zhengji, that person has, while making an all-out effort in battle, to deplete to the greatest extent the opponent's strength. After all, even though Li Zhengji's strength was not at Yang Haoyu's level, it should not differ too much. 
It was because the other side let him win that Long Haochun had managed to win against Yang Haoyu, but in a 1 vs 1, Haochun was not confident in being able to surely defeat Li Zhengji. But their demon hunt squad bright glimmer of hope was a whole, and a whole was bound to be even stronger than separate individuals. And since the individual competition would end today anyway, better focus on the team battles. Zhang Fangfang had previously effectively depleted Li Zhengji, but since a lot of matches had gone on since then, his spiritual energy should have already gotten replenished. But in this match, Chen Ninger had already resolved herself to at least make Li Zhengji use up the overwhelming majority of his fighting strength if she could not defeat him. Chen Ninger's plan went on right off the bat, making plentiful use of Li Zhengji's high esteem of his status to complete her summoning spell of largest scale. 36 magical beasts of the 8th step appearing in the stadium simultaneously had absolutely shaken the whole audience. Although these magical beasts were of different races, they listened wholeheartedly to Chen Ninger's orders. Right off the bat, they madly charged at Li Zhengji. Li Zhengji snorted coldly. Mere magical beasts reaching the 8th step were nothing in his eyes. Even if they were even more numerous, at his cultivation level, killing magical beasts of this level was just too simple. As he waved his hands, the massive green figure on his back immediately drifted away, both hands raised to the sky releasing green moon-shaped blades. It appeared like an uncrossable barrier standing in front of Li Shengzhi. But his look grew unsightly once again the next instant. Chen Ninger issued a shriek, and immediately, the myriad beasts' images that had come out previously solidified, rushing at the magical beasts of the eighth step that had surged out, and attached themselves onto them, causing the beasts to start undergoing rapid changes. A gigantic black bear bellowed loudly, swelling to twice its previous size growing twice as large, as its hairs astonishingly started to turn into a dark gold color. In the midst of roars, it let out terrifying seismic waves aimed at the wind god called out by Li Shengji. Evolution what Chen Inger had utilized was obviously not the same myriad beasts domain as Chen Hongyu, but her mythologic beast domain. Being the beast god's chosen one, a unique saint spiritual daughter to have come in existence in the human world, her boosting ability on magical beasts fundamentally even exceeded Yi Xiaolei's back in the illusory paradise. Under the boost of the beast emperor domain, these magical beasts of the eighth step all evolved to the ninth step, turning into 36 magical beasts of the ninth step, releasing a terrible might which frantically pounced on Li Zhengji. A miscalculation. Li Zhengji had immediately come to this judgment, causing him to have traces of regrets. He really should not have let Chen Inger complete her previous magic. 36 magical beasts of the ninth step and 36 magical beasts of the eighth step were two fundamentally different concepts. After completion of these global boosts, Chen Inger sat down in a quite weakened state, but still had the energy to ferociously utter, everyone, get rid of him. 36 magical beasts of the ninth step pouncing on a single opponent was a really spectacular sight. The pair of massive moon-shaped blades in the wind god's hands managed to stop the attack of three magical beasts of the ninth step, but then started to get somewhat unstable. Ninth step would be the assessment based on human cultivation, but in terms of magical beast grade, these would be magical beasts of the tenth rank. They may not be as strong as the four-headed medusa or divine unicorn, but as magical beasts of tenth rank, they still reached the peak of magical beasts. Simply said, right now it was as if Li Zhengji was assaulted by the whole Golden Foundation Knight Regiment. That lineup didn't feel any easier to face. Not daring to take things easy, Li Zhengji immediately unleashed the Wind God Domain, not daring to let these 36 magical beasts of the Ninth Step unleash all their power. If it really went like that, himself aside, even the Demon God Emperor could find that situation troublesome. Right now, Li Zhengji completely flared up. A strong display of power immediately surged out, as a terrible hurricane immediately swept all the 36 magical beasts of the Ninth Step. Immediately, the beast's attacks got twisted aside while slowing down under the hurricane's effects. This was not a simple domain. For constricting so many magical beasts of the ninth step, that could only be a domain technique. For the sake of safety, and to make sure to achieve victory in this match, Li Zhengji had no other choice but to utilize his own domain technique. That terrible hurricane was entirely colored dark green. Everywhere it passed, every magical beast it encountered was getting cut frantically. If these were magical beasts of the eighth step, their bodies would certainly get smashed to pieces under attacks of this level. But magical beasts of the ninth step were not the same, their defensive power was far stronger than at the eighth step, so there was no immediate danger for them. Chen Inger ignored this situation, only silently sitting there to replenish her spiritual energy, the little pig McDull being held in her arms. Li Zhengji having restricted these magical beasts thanks to his domain technique, his wind god summoning's power started to emerge. With the boost from the wind god domain, Li Zhengji's wind god incarnated body gained an explosive burst in speed and offensive power. In a flash of green light, that gigantic bear stood like nothing in its way, while in response his incarnation got repelled 10 meters back in the blast of the bear's palm attack. But in front of the wind god domain's amplification, an attack of this level was nothing. The look on Li Zhengji's face did not improve just because of getting rid of one magical beast of the ninth step. Quite the opposite, it got even more strained. A domain technique spiritual energy consumption could only be described as terrifying, even with his internal spiritual energy having already broken through 400,000, he couldn't keep utilizing it for too long. He had only one choice left now, which would be to take advantage of the situation to get rid of Chen Inger. This way these magical beasts would go out of control, causing a better turn for his situation. 
Chapter 704, Mythological Beasts God Fights Wind God, 3. But Chen Ninger could not be killed as this temple's great gathering was no battle of life or death. So in some meaning, Chen Ninger was making perfect use of the rules. So, he could currently not attack Chen Ninger, as a summoner's body was the weakest, causing Li Shengji to really fear killing carelessly such a genius. But unless Chen Ninger was killed, these magical beasts wouldn't go out of control. If they kept besieging him, even if getting rid of the majority was possible, that would take him just far too long. Furthermore, the summoning spell having been completed, these 36 light gates closed up and disappeared, but these magical beasts wouldn't return to their original dwellings unless Chen Ninger consented. Thus, killing them was the only way to conclude this battle. Having come to this accurate conclusion, Li Zhengji didn't show any more hesitation. Crossing his hands in front of him, two glistening green surges of light flared out from his eyes. A frantic fighting intent rose from Li Zhengji, the hurricanes from the domain technique deriving from the wind god domain suddenly slowing down. That wind god summons body swiftly returned to Li Zhengji, and unexpectedly enveloped him inside before shrinking and making its way inside Li Zhengji's body. Right now, Li Zhengji's body was entirely colored a dazzling green. His right hand shot up, a palm-sized wind blade came flying out, appearing unstable, and visibly constituted of green wind. In a blink of an eye, it landed against a magical beast of the ninth step which had its speed slowed down greatly as a result, just as if it had fallen in a quagmire. But even so, what could a mere wind blade produce for a magical beast of the ninth step other than tickles? But the next instant, Li Zhengji displayed the power of his second domain technique. With a light pop, that green-colored wind blade nimbly made way into the body of the magical beast of ninth step, and a second later, the latter turned into a green color, eyes flushed green, and abruptly blasted apart, not even leaving any splatter of flesh, just disappearing in the midst of these wind blades. This is... Chen Ninger was dumbstruck because she did not understand at all what Li Zhengji just did. While she was so shocked, Li Zhengji's hands shot in succession, releasing similar wind blades as just before. The results were identical. Everywhere these wind blades passed, no magical beast of the ninth step could bear the attack, all of them went in extinct in a cold breeze, leaving not even a corpse behind. The look in Long Haochen's eyes was extremely heavy, gradually seeing through some of the mysteries behind Li Zhengji's second domain technique. The true essence of wind. He has already grasped the true essence of wind. What's the true essence of wind? That's freedom. By causing the freedom displayed in wind to rise to the peak, this second domain technique was created. Right, this second domain technique used by Li Zhengji was called freedom. Over 30 magical beasts of the ninth step dissipated in this freedom. And when the final one dissipated, Li Zhengji's body swayed, but the look in his eyes was still as grave. Letting out a tyrannical roar, McDull and Chen Inger's bosom leaped up, enlarging in the blink of an eye. The instant it landed onto the ground, a lot of eyes turned toward Chen Hongyu unwittingly. That's because McDull had just transformed into Chen Hongyu's contracted magical beast, a four-headed chimera. Groya. For spits bombarded straight onto the wind god domain. But as McDull was just shape-shifting, his strength differed quite importantly with a real four-headed chimera, so these four spits didn't make one, but were only thrown separately. But, even so, that attack reached the ninth step. However, a domain technique derived from the wind god domain was indeed powerful. When these four spits came in, they were immediately first slowed down by the hurricanes, before immediately breaking down and turning into nothingness. Lifting his hand, Li Zhengji formed another wind blade in his palm, calmly declaring to Chen Inger, I don't want to cause your contracted summon's death. Just surrender. Seeing the cold look in Li Zhengji's eyes, Chen Inger slowly stood up and snorted, if equipment were allowed, you would not necessarily have achieved victory against me. Li Zhengji smiled to that, but didn't say anything. As a senior, he couldn't say likewise, my equipment is not below yours. The green wind blade in his hand came flying, rushing straight toward McDull. Chen Inger had a fright. After so many magical beasts of the ninth step had just gotten killed by these regular looking wind blades, she really did not dare to gamble with McDull's life, and hurriedly shouted, I concede. The wind blade dissipating in the air, Li Zhengji's domain instantly vanished, leaving him looking obviously pale, although his footsteps were still rather steady. Chen Inger tiredly returned to her comrade's side, pouting and visibly dissatisfied with the results of her battle. Boss, do you think that with my best setup, I could have had better chances to achieve victory? Long Haochen smiled to that, don't be so displeased. Li Zhengji's cultivation is really at a formidable level. You already did very well Inger. Although he didn't really know to which extent Li Zhengji was really exhausted, the use of the latter's domain plus two domain techniques should have come with a considerable consumption. At least, Li Zhengji couldn't possibly get back to his optimum state before his next match. Bright glimmer of hope had another member eliminated, but no one found Chen Inger's performance to be a loser's. She had just summoned 36 magical beasts of the ninth step. That was more than enough to withstand a demon emperor legion. A summoner reaching such a state could already not simply be said to have reached the peak level. The flash of light landed this time on Lin Xian, opposing him with a knight. The strongest ones in the Night Temples were Yang Haoyu and Long Tianying who were already eliminated, but the Night Temple still had two contestants in this fifth round. From this, one could well imagine how powerful these knights were. 
Lin Exian was on the verge of facing a domain-wielding holy knight of the ninth step. Entering the stage, Lin Exian's expression immediately became all the more serious. He knew that this was going to be his greatest hurdle since the start of the temple's great gathering. No matter whether he could win, he had to give his all, and do his best to weaken his opponent. Although this opponent was from the Night Temple, at least three people from their side would very likely emerge. So, weakening the opponent would serve well as setup for his comrades' later stages. Although, of course, the best would be to win against the opponent. The Holy Knight was very old, both hair and beard colored white. His age did not look any lower than Long Tianying's. In front of Lin Exian, he did not immediately summon his mount, lifting his left hand to summon a brilliant colored shield, he permeated it with the power of spiritual highland. This was a guardian knight, looking impassable. Facing the opponent, Lin Exian suddenly had a strange feeling, because he realized with surprise that even after so many rounds had passed, this holy knight should have made it here with formidable displays of power, yet he hadn't left any impression in his heart. What could it mean that he managed to make it here in such a low-key fashion? A guardian knight should not be expert in fighting a duel, therefore that was a hidden card of the knight temple. After Yang Haoyu had now come such a low-key and powerful guardian knight. Truly, the knight temple deserved the number one rank out of the temple alliance. So, perhaps even without the emergence of the bright glimmer of hope, the mage temple would hardly have managed to overwhelm the knight temple. And that was under the premise that only one of their three divine knights had come. These years, the mage temple could be said to have had unlimited prospects, especially after the holy war, because the damage they had sustained was the lowest, their achievements in the battlefield the greatest, their development making the knight temple completely pale in comparison. But when it really came to this temple's great gathering, the knights really had the strongest hidden trumps in the battle determining the six great temple's rankings. If not for bright glimmer of hope's presence, the knight temple would be 80% sure of remaining in the lead. Lin Xian's eyes flashed in blue light, a pair of immense fire wings growing from his back. His spiritual wings were greatly different compared to ordinary mages, first and foremost in their size. The size of one's spiritual wings generally related with one's strength. Long Haochen's multiple wings being a special case, generally the size of one's spiritual wings would increase as one's cultivation grows. But even if Lin Exian had just recently broken through the ninth step, the size of his spiritual wings could already match with the wind wings of the mage temple's head Li Shengji. The immense wings unfolded, extending out over 10 meters. It appeared just like a firewall extending from behind his back. Furthermore, the fire on Lin Exian's spiritual wings appeared in the form of blue flames. As his cultivation had kept going up, going past the ninth step, his heart of fire gained a fascinating tinge of beauty. As his spiritual wings moved rhythmically, a shallow blue color kept getting altered, just like the most limpid coast. Lin Exian's hands were joined up, his eyes glinting up. Lifting his hand, a flame headed a probing attack at that holy knight. Bang! As the blue fire curled up, the holy knight stood unmoving, and the flame collided with his shield, but did not infect him, nor did it even manage to make it past that shield materialized from spiritual highland. This first attack was only filled with explosive properties, and as a fire mage, his greatest field lay in the explosive power in his attack. This was a battle between the strongest spear and the sturdiest shield. Lin Exian continued his global offenses with no hesitation. As his hands were waved about, series of blue flames were shot at the holy knight like blue lightning bolts. Chapter 705, Intelligence. Bloodthirsty War Goddess, I. The holy knight's left foot pushed forward slightly, taking a half step as he allowed Lin Exian to attack, quickly raising and lowering the shield to block every single heart of fire flame. In fact, Long Haochen's current heart of fire attacks all reached the spiritual highland integration level, yet it did not inflict any damage to him. This could only mean that this holy knight undoubtedly had unique attainments in his defense. One could see an inconspicuous golden halo released under the Holy Knight's feet, revolving around his body and extending to a range of 5 meters with rhythmic movements. The golden halo had slight changes of color every time it extended under his feet. Without paying enough attention, one wouldn't notice, but that was a kind of special golden color, a hybrid, multicolored, gold. A domain. That was the Holy Knight's domain, though certainly an inconspicuous one. Even if after so many fights some people saw through the fact that this was a domain, not a lot of people really remembered him. If one had to describe this holy knight in a simple expression, that would be, as steady as a mountain. No matter how hard you'll attack, my defense will remain unmoving. Lin Exian did not know what uses his opponent's domain had, but his highly invasive heart of fire was completely unable to trespass his shield. He also attempted to make his heart of fire attack from other angles, but at that time the other party utilized shield wall. Lin Xian's attacks were really pretty to see, filling the sky with blue lights gathered against a target, just like a magic cannon firing at its target. Spiritual Highland rapidly depleting one's spiritual energy, this magic show of Lin Xian's was especially costly in spiritual energy, but there was still a gap between a forbidden spell and that. It could usually very easily catch the opponent unprepared, but such an ultra-defensive opponent was really hard to deal with. Although Lin Exian did not know how fast this opponent's spiritual energy was depleted, from the fact he had made use of a domain, his spiritual energy ought to reach at least 200,000. 
Such a battle of endurance would only make things even more unfavorable to him. So what's to be done? Lin Xian pondered, suddenly ceasing to launch attacks. No longer having to sustain the attacks from Heart of Fire really gave a restful feeling to this holy knight. On the other side, blue fire was lingering on Lin Xian's body, as he visibly recovered spiritual energy with his full force. Recovering in the midst of battle? The holy knight didn't know whether to laugh or to cry for a moment. Could it be that this kid believes that I really don't have the slightest capability? I'm a knight of the ninth step no matter what you say. The holy knight's hand was raised up, and in the midst of a downcast chant, a light magic formed. But, in the end, a guardian knight was a guardian knight. There's no way he could rival a retribution knight in executing offensive abilities. It looked as though a light of trial was gradually taking shape in front of the chanting holy knight. But suddenly, a blue light was shot out, slamming against his shield, and moreover, another blue trail made a detour to attack at the holy knight's back. Although the holy knight didn't look troubled resisting these attacks, in practice Lin Xian's spiritual highland-based magic attacks were really terrible. How could they be so easy to defend against? He really didn't dare let Lin Xian's attacks reach him. Left without choice, the holy knight could only interrupt light of trial to use a shield wall in defense. Catching sight of this scene, Lin Xian couldn't help but leak out a faint smile. Everyone had their domain of expertise, and in the same way, also had their weaknesses. This holy knight's defense was absolutely great, even exceeding Long Haochen without his light god domain. But his attack was his weak point. With this knowledge, Lin Xian thought of a countermeasure. His previous barrage of attacks slowed down, and his heart of fire would be launched only after gaps of one second every time. His aim was very simple, to force his opponent to maintain his shield formed of spiritual highland, but without devoting too much to attacking. This way, his consumption was greatly reduced, and thanks to his massive fire wings, his spiritual energy recovery became even faster than his opponent's. Thus, this battle of offense and defense turned into a war of attrition. The Holy Knight's domain was called Highland Domain, coming out from his own research. This Holy Knight with a gentle disposition specialized in defending, and as a result, chose to single-handedly focus his cultivation in defense. He used to be a demon hunter, but was not the captain of his team. Although he was strong enough, his character was overly soft, and he did not have a lot of offensive means, neither was he willing to learn attacks. In his matches, his opponents were either far weaker than him, or had to concede after having their spiritual energy depleted completely. His Highland Domain was highly specialized in reinforcing his spiritual Highland while reducing its consumption. The reinforcement of the defensive power of his spiritual highland went to the extent of reaching the domain technique level. Inside the Knight Temple, this Holy Knight had the title of Ultimate Shield, and had a shield of Epic Tear. In the Holy War, he had gone on many battles, facing the Demon God of Death, Samanaga, and the Bear Demon God, Veilfor. Thanks to his formidable defensive power, the two Demon Gods were left without ways to get him, making him a heroic contributor to the Knight Temple. Adding his gentle disposition to that, his relationship with the people from the Knight Temple was fabulous, bringing him to an equal footing compared to the Divine Knights. Seeing Lin Xian's shameless method against him, the Holy Knight couldn't help but break out in laughter. Only, Lin Xian's cultivation really was too lacking to defeat him. The reason why he hadn't summoned his mount was out of fear that it wouldn't be able to resist Lin Xian's attacks. After all, this really hot heart of fire formed with spiritual highland really had a terrifying offensive power. Wielding his shield, the Holy Knight, started to assault Lin Xian. His speed didn't look too fast, but his advance was extremely stable. When he moved, Lin Xian responded immediately, attempting to increase the distance between the two of them. But to his astonishment, the Holy Knight started to change his course as he kept approaching Lin Xian. Very quickly, the distance between the two of them was reduced to a hundred meters. This time, the Holy Knight suddenly stopped in his steps. Moving aside the shield in front of him, he exposed a warm smile to Lin Xian. Immediately, a white glow was instantly shot onto Lin Xian. Lin Xian nearly cried out a curse, Saint Spiritual Stove. Never did he expect this elder to actually possess a terrible trump such as a Saint Spiritual Stove. The two great abilities attraction and pull simultaneously made effects on Lin Xian. The Saint Spiritual Stove was obviously trained to the highest level by this knight. How could he not have a tool such as a Saint Spiritual Stove to accompany such a powerful defense? Only with a Saint Spiritual Stove to match with his spiritual highland could he become the greatest defender in the battlefields. Lin Xian was no match for the Holy Knight in cultivation level. About to get pulled in little by little, even if the opposite Holy Knight was not expert in close distance battle, that was not someone a mage could contend against in a head-on clash. The goal of the Saint Spiritual Stove was naturally not to defeat him instantly in close quarters, but to stop him from deploying all his strength. That was the reason for the smile the Holy Knight displayed to Lin Xian. Come. Having reached this far, Lin Xian knew already that he could in no way achieve victory anymore. This instant, he had a monstrous feeling fill him. So far, he had been believing himself to be considerably powerful, having at his disposal not only his great burst power as a fire mage, but also the powerful boost from Heart of Fire. Now he finally understood that when encountering a real powerhouse, his offensive power was still far from enough. Unless he trained to the level of being able to use a domain of his own, he had a lot more efforts to put into the field of magic. While in the midst of being continuously pulled in the air, Lin Xian suddenly came to a stop. 
A resonant phoenix cry reverberated from his chest, and immediately, Lin Xian's body disappeared. His pair of immense blue spiritual wings enlarged once again, and in the blink of an eye, formed an immense blue phoenix charging straight at the Holy Knight. The Holy Knight had a chill, finding out with shock that the heat was not only external, but even growing deep in his heart. What a powerful fire! Too late to think further, he deployed the Highland Domain to its greatest extent, bowing and launching Shield Wall as well as Divine Obstruction. It seemed the Blue Fire Phoenix was about to strike the Shield Wall. But suddenly, that massive phoenix shrank by nearly a half. The drifting heart of fire vanished entirely, causing it to no longer look like a body made of energy, but like a real body. Bang! As the Blue Fire Phoenix finally clashed with the Shield Walls, a terrifying scene took place. In the instant of the clash, the Holy Knight's shield turned all blue, the same blue as Heart of Fire's color. In a violent clash, the Holy Knight's body fell back in response, dropping to the ground. The bang was not only one sound, but occurred in quick successions, bang, bang, bang sounded out thunderously. With every bang, the Holy Knight's shield wall was repelled further and further. When the ninth explosion sounded out, he was already propelled to the edge of the field, back facing the defensive barrier of the stadium. Shield wall was condensed out of spiritual highland, its defensive power even further reinforced by the highland domain. But if one paid careful attention, they would notice the current shield wall was turning liquid, that liquid clearly being spiritual energy. And, it was blue in color as well. One could clearly see that the shield wall amplified by the domain was unexpectedly growing thinner and thinner, faintly transparent, and even letting the Holy Knight silhouette come to view. Chapter 706, Intelligent. Blood Reeking War Goddess, 2. A domainless powerhouse managed to compel a domain-wielding powerhouse to such an extent through his own attacks. This was already enough for Lin Xian to take pride, this blue fire phoenix spiritual stove's offensive power was a really shocking thing. The blue light vanished, and a blue fire phoenix came flying. It was clearly quite weakened, and the blue fire on his body gained in transparency, looking close to going extinct at any time. But, right at this time, that blue phoenix opened its mouth and let out a resonant phoenix cry. It formed three blue lines tracing from its body, all drilling their way into the shield walls. The first blue needle striking shield wall caused numerous ripples to appear on the wall, making it seem more transparent. But that blue needle also vanished without a trace, followed by the second one which was thrust, finally surpassing shield wall's limits. A small hole appeared, but the instant it appeared, that second needle broke into pieces. However, the third needle followed quickly, disappearing in the midst of the shield wall instantly. Letting out a groan, the holy knight staggered to the side, and the shield wall thereupon ceased. With a flash of blue light, Lin Xian fell to the ground out of nowhere, standing half squatted on a single leg. Pushing his left hand onto the ground to support the rest of his body, his dark green hair looked messy, and his body was shaking lightly, his look just as pale as a sheet of paper. Ever since reaching the ninth step of cultivation, this was his first time pushing Blue Fire Phoenix to such a level. The final three blue rays were undoubtedly his ultimate trump. Mixing a fire of darkness with his own heart of fire's attack, he obtained an ultra-powerful penetrative force. After the Blue Fire Phoenix spiritual stove had consumed the spiritual highland infused shield wall to the greatest extent, this final move would be the crucial point in determining whether he would achieve victory or not. Since a battle of attrition was no longer possible, he could only aim to obtain victory with his strongest attack. Regardless of the final result, at least Lin Xian would have displayed the most of his ability. The Holy Knight's face did not look any better off than Lin Xian's. On his right chest, dual green and blue flames were rising up, and his left hand was being used to cover his right chest with a resplendent golden light. But those green and blue flames burnt extremely obstinately, appearing to seep out between through the gaps in the knight's fingers, the latter showing a very pained face. Lin Xian was gasping intensely for breaths, barely managing to look into the Holy Knight's face. Of course, he knew how powerful his ultimate move formed of these mixed flames was. Extinguishing them wouldn't be so simple, and even if the Holy Knight finally succeeded, that would cause his spiritual energy to drop to the brink of nothing, leaving him with no possibility to keep going in the tournament. I concede. Youngster, retrieve your magical ability please. The Holy Knight declared with a pained look. Huh. Concede? Lin Xian immediately beamed with a smile. Although he suffered a great pain due to the backlash of the Blue Fire Phoenix spiritual stove, he didn't expect to emerge victorious from that battle, and moreover in a great shape. With a lift of his right hand, his fire cloud crystal appeared, used at once as a walking stick to approach the Holy Knight. Pressing his right hand onto the Elder's chest, he absorbed back the dual flames along with the Hellfire Needles. During the process of absorption, Lin Xian was slightly startled, because he found out that the true damage sustained by the Holy Knight was not as great as he had expected. There was a scorched area on his chest, but in truth, the Hellfire Needles might never have truly made way into his body. The Holy Knight blinked his eyes at him, before returning staggeringly to the lounge area. Lin Xian immediately understood that the counterpart was throwing the game. Even while under the boost of his highland domain, he had clearly blocked the last attack from the Hellfire Needle, yet voluntarily revealed a look of being unable to endure, offering him this victory. When Lin Xian returned to the lounge under the support of the Fire Cloud staff, that holy knight was seen nodding lightly, a look of admiration on his face. The old knight revealed a faint smile, then shut his eyes to recuperate his spiritual energy. 
Lin Xian sat on his seat, glancing unconsciously at Long Haochen, who smiled to him, but didn't say anything, only hinting that he should hasten his spiritual energy recovery. Still other matches had yet to come after this victory. But very clearly, even though Lin Xian could keep down the backlash of his Blue Fire Phoenix spiritual stove, he was well afraid that he would be unable to keep using it in the following matches. Bright glimmer of hope's luck was really a so-so in this individual competition, but they had secretly gained the full support of the Night Temple, this influence having benefited them the most in the match between Haochen and Yang Haoyu. The support of the most powerful knight and greatest shield paved their way in the later stages of the competition. If Yang Haoyu had really gone all out in his match, Long Haochen would have undoubtedly been defeated, and as the captain of Bright Glimmer of Hope, his elimination would be a severe blow to the whole Bright Glimmer of Hope. But Yang Haoyu let him win, not only giving him comprehension of a lot of aspects of domains, but moreover fostering his reputation. The competition was now reaching the fifth round, with only 20 contestants left. One could say that the later matches would determine the final ranking of Bright Glimmer of Hope's side. The Holy Knight with the title of Supreme Shield having ingeniously offered victory to Lin Xian, not only offered a great amount of points to Bright Glimmer of Hope, but also a seat in the top six. Although Chen Inger had lost her match, she had also used up Li Zhengxi's strength to a great extent. Lin Xian having advanced, and Bright Glimmer of Hope still having three great powerhouses that had yet to take part, one could say that they had a bright later stage of the competition ahead. The bright light of selection flashed once again, this time selecting the blood-reeking war goddess of Bright Glimmer of Hope. As it happens, Wang Yuan Yuan's opponent turned out to be a spatial mage of the Ninth Step from the Mage Temple, and a domain wielder as well. The look in her eyes flickering, Wang Yuan Yuan slowly triad into the field. Although the opponents she had encountered weren't especially powerful, they were still in the upper tier of this competition. So Wang Yuan Yuan could really be said to have cut her way through thistles and thorns to finally reach this point. She had a very serene look, but a single-minded expression in her eyes. When gazing at the distant old mage, she performed a simple warrior salute. The old mage returned the salute as well. Having reached the fifth round of battles, every match was now extremely important. On the mage temple side, Li Zhengji had already made it to the sixth round. If they could have someone else make it so far, at least the mage temple would still be able to threaten the knight temple. So, eliminating all the mage temple's contestants would benefit them the most. Starting an incantation, the old mage lifted his right hand, pointing toward Wang Yuan Yuan. In the meantime, the air twisted slightly, as the old mage's figure disappeared without basis. He really did not underestimate Wang Yuan Yuan in the least. He utilized his domain right off the bat because he had already observed Wang Yuan Yuan's strength, and was aware that this young girl was a domain-wielding powerhouse as well, thus he made the first move to take the advantage. Thin silver light floated on the twisting air, extending throughout the field. The spatial element was full of indeterminacy, anything would get greatly affected inside that kind of domain. Wang Yuan Yuan still stood unmoving as a blood-red radiance, the blood domain, extended under her feet. The blood domain spread out, but only extended to the three meters around Wang Yuan Yuan. Surrounded by blood-colored curls, that blood-reeking war goddess shone brightly. The old mage kept chanting in a downcast manner, but his voice seemed to be reverberating from all directions, after going through his constantly refracting domain. Wang Yuan Yuan had no way to tell his true location. The twisting spatial domain started to show changes, and some silver light started to arise within as some cracks immediately appeared. Those black cracks looked like rapacious mouths, ready to engulf Wang Yuan Yuan's body at any time. The cracks started to grow more and more numerous, and the space in the whole stadium was lacerated fiercely by this terrifying spatial force, looking able to possibly shatter at any time. From the looks of it, Wang Yuan Yuan seemed to be forced into a completely passive situation. But, what no one understood, was that she had yet to make any move up to now, aside from releasing her blood domain. Outside of their field of view, Wang Yuan Yuan's pair of eyes concealed in the blood domain were releasing a different color than the red from the previous blood domain. It was a silver color characteristic of the spatial attribute. Her most attention-taking feature in the temple's great gathering's individual competition was this peculiar blood domain, but don't forget that she's also a warrior using the spatial attribute. Soft spiritual energy fluctuations circulated through the air as a breathtaking splendor shone in Long Haochen's eyes, as he excitedly watched the field. He had guessed the reason why Wang Yuan Yuan had yet to make a move from the start. She only wanted to aim for a victory in one blow. Success would end in her victory, or if not, it will end in her defeat. Bright Glimmer of Hope could really be called an exceptional group, and luckily, all of them had already broken through the ninth step, some even getting domains of their own. But they lacked an experience as powerhouses, the speed of their growth was just too fast. Though their cultivation already reached the ninth step, some of them had not even experienced battles at the eighth step. To some extent they were certainly lacking in strength compared to those experienced veterans of the six great temples who wielded domains of their own. It was visible in Lin Xian's previous match, opposing him to the Supreme Shield Knight, that he had a clear inferiority in this standard. As for now, Wang Yuan Yuan's opponent was no easy prey. By clashing head-on right off the bat, Wang Yuan Yuan's odds of success would really not be high. Chapter 707, Intelligence. Bloodthirsty War Goddess, 3. What no one knew was that within bright glimmer of hope, the only domain wielders reaching the second rank of the ninth step were actually Long Haochen and Kyer. 
Although Chen Ying'er and Wang Yuanyuan possessed a domain of their own, they had actually only reached the first rank of the ninth step of cultivation. Their own domain was comprehended in the process of over four years of deep meditation, brought about miraculously. But beyond that miracle, the shortage in their cultivation was still a clear thing. Otherwise, Chen Ying'er may not necessarily have lost to Li Zhengji, or at least have inconvenienced him to an even greater degree. As the temple's great gathering did not even permit any equipment, bright glimmer of hope's shortages became even more visible. That's why Wang Yuanyuan took a different approach from the beginning, by choosing to go for another type of battle. She was standing motionless, but actually maintained all her thoughts in the battle, looking for a hole in the opponent's strategy to bring her a victory in one blow. The powerful spatial domain started to compress Wang Yuanyuan's residing space, the spatial cracks growing more and more numerous. From outside the barrier, it appeared that over thousands of spatial gaps had appeared in the field, seemingly crushing anything in their contact instantly. So, what's to be done? What response will Wang Yuanyuan choose? A lot of spectators had these same questions arise in them. Finally, a first spatial crack made contact with Wang Yuanyuan's blood domain. With a swishing sound, like that of ice melted by a red-hot piece of iron, Wang Yuanyuan's blood domain bubbled up violently, and that spatial crack disappeared immediately. But by paying attention, one would notice that those spatial cracks were ripping away some of the blood energy released by the blood domain. This was just a beginning. Following that first one, even more of these headed towards Wang Yuanyuan. Swishing sounds kept resounding, one spatial crack after another disappearing swiftly after contact with the blood domain. But it was apparent that Wang Yuanyuan's blood domain was rippling violently, losing its might. The other party used a mix of magic and domain, while she only kept defending passively through her domain. The contrast was rather obvious. The two parties' domains kept clashing, during which a lot of spectators were already shaking their head. Even Li Shengji had a smile appearing on his face, muttering aloud, Is this girl looking for an opening? How could she even find one? Old Yu's domain gave him the title master of constant changes. There's no set rule at all. She wants to rely on her domain's explosive force to make a surprise attack, but her pains will only get deeper and deeper. With the thought of having one more powerhouse from the mage temple to make it through, Li Zhengji couldn't help but get into a better and better mood. Maybe his spiritual energy will really be replenished completely by the next round as well. However, because of his use of two great domain techniques, recovering to his peak by then would be really challenging. Time passed second by second, during which Wang Yuanyuan's blood domain was still very powerful even when faced against an attack combining spatial domain and magic, enduring tenaciously. At least several thousand cracks had already disappeared in front of the blood domain. Kyer let out a light sigh, I'm afraid that Yuanyuan won't be able to find an opening in the opponent's attack. This mage is very careful, look, when attacking through his domain, he really launches extremely irregular attacks, variating between single ones and swarms. And the thickness of the cracks only keeps growing. Now if Yuanyuan goes on the offense, she's even more likely to get trapped. This old mage is just too cunning. Upon realizing what Yuanyuan's plan was, he immediately made a countermeasure. If this lasts, Yuanyuan won't hold out for much longer. Hao Chen patted Kaier's hand, declaring, trust in her. Yuanyuan is not just stubborn but also clever. Her innate gifts may be the lowest, but she has still achieved extraordinary success. For her to have obtained her own domain before even reaching the second rank of the ninth step shows her intelligence and wits plentifully. Thinking of that, Long Hao Chen couldn't help but recall his previous teacher Azura Yi. He really had not met him for a very long time. Who knew where the Night Temple had sent him? Long Haochen had formerly asked his grandfather, but Long Tianying did not even breathe a single word of it, only telling him that Yi Hua was carrying out an extraordinarily important mission. So, Long Haochen had yet to find the opportunity to pay his respects to his teacher. In the field, Wang Yuanyuan's blood domain which originally extended to 3 meters was gradually compressed to a diameter of 1 meter, barely enough to protect her body. Just concede, young girl. I don't want to injure you. The old mage's voice reverberated in all directions, his offense slowing down slowly. This being the temple's great gathering, a domain's compression was a really dangerous thing. In case something went wrong, Wang Yuanyuan's life may very well be endangered. But the instant the counterpart's domain slowed down, she finally made her move. Her speed was really immense, all the spectators only saw a flash of blood light, as she unexpectedly passed through the spatial gates instantly. The whole stage was immediately in a state of surprise. In fact, these spatial cracks were all spatial instabilities created through spatial magic, preventing any teleportation. Not only was the space extremely unstable, but furthermore could crumble at any time, all the spatial cracks being filled with an extremely strong swallowing force. Absorbing things was none other than one of its greatest powers. Throwing oneself inside is simply akin to suicide. But who could expect Wang Yuanyuan to make such a choice? This girl was just too staunch. Could it be that she would stake her own life rather than get defeated at the hands of the mage temple? After all, based on the temple's great gathering's rules, killing one's opponent would automatically get oneself eliminated. Even Li Shengji had a look of complete shock upon catching sight of this scene. But the next instant, everyone here realized their own mistake. In a flash of blood light, Wang Yuanyuan already appeared in another spot. This very instant, the numerous surrounding spatial cracks started to get more and more chaotic. Because the whole field was filled of spatial cracks to the brim, when Wang Yuanyuan disappeared, only indistinct flashes of red could be seen in their midst. 
but something no one could see was occurring at that very moment. The spatial cracks started to disappear one after another, gradually revealing the situation in the center of the grounds. Then a breathtaking sight came. Wang Yuan Yuan calmly stood there, her palm pressed onto the old mage's head. The latter did not utilize further magic, only looking at Wang Yuan Yuan full of incomprehension. How did you achieve that? The old mage asked, full of incomprehension, this was inside my domain, my domain, and with so many spatial cracks around. You cannot possibly have used any teleporting ability. I know that you have a spiritual stove enabling teleportation, and it is something for which I have already accounted. I don't understand how you could pass through the spatial cracks, and end up right in front of me. My domain and magic are completely devoid of any regular pattern. Wang Yuan Yuan calmly answered, there is no ability devoid of the slightest flaw. It is because your spatial cracks were boosted thanks to your domain that so many of them had appeared simultaneously. It is indeed as you say, these spatial cracks are devoid of any regular patterns. But you have forgotten that they come from the same domain, and that is their common point. All of these cracks that were created from the same domain, are all linked to each other, with spatial channels able to link them instantly like a spider web. What I did was all calculated, I picked a spatial channel that could connect me right in front of you, and that was all I needed. Wang Yuan Yuan had said that as if it was very simple, but the old mage was greatly shocked, how could that be possible? That would require a massive amount of energy. Most of all, with just a little mistake, you would be torn in the midst of spatial ripples, or drifting in an endless space. No, this couldn't happen to me. Right, as you say my spiritual stove cannot be used in your domain. But I can protect myself in a fixed spot by using my domain's defenses. This is also why I remained purposefully unmoving for so long, or else. By placing myself with my back facing the outside defensive barrier, it would have lasted for even longer. But I did not move in order to maintain my spiritual stove's positioning. That way, even if I ended up unable to pass through your spatial cracks, I would be able to trigger my connection with the spiritual stove, and return to the previous spot with the protection of my domain. Could it be that you didn't realize that when I was teleporting, the blood fog at the other side was maintained for some time? Why do you think it only disappeared when I arrived near you? It only lasted for one second, but that was enough for me to be decisive. So even if I had miscalculated, it would only have ended in failure, with no possibility of death. The old mage looked at Wang Yuan Yuan, totally blank and remaining speechless for a long moment. Wang Yuan Yuan retrieved her hand, and performed a warrior salute to him, turning back and walking out. A moment. The old mage suddenly shouted to Wang Yuan Yuan. Wang Yuan Yuan turned her head to him, is there some other matter? The old mage solemnly declared, I have lost and am thoroughly convinced in my defeat. You may have won with your cleverness, but in this world, people capable of such intelligence and steadiness are you are far too few. You are bound to be respected in the future warrior temple. Saying that, the old mage solemnly bent to Wang Yuan Yuan, before turning back with a smile on his face. When she came out from the stadium, the first thing that welcomed her back was Chen Inger's warm hug. One, you've won. Yuan Yuan, you're really awesome. Chen Inger spiritedly hugged Wang Yuan Yuan, who swayed visibly, shutting her eyes in her embrace, and muttering in a feeble voice, help me get moving. This fight's whole process looked really simple, but only Wang Yuan Yuan and the old mage knew how pressuring the battle was to her. How about the process of the massive pressure brought upon her? Under such a pressure, she had to perform continuous calculations to get closer to her goal. Though her spiritual stove's position was fixed before she tore through the spatial crack, that was still in no way devoid of danger to her life. Since she wanted to beat the enemy and achieve victory whilst paying attention to her own safety, all these factors together meant her burdens were far too many. So far, out of three of the six battles, Bright Glimmer of Hope had already achieved two victories, and occupied two seats in the top six. Chapter 708, Flourishing Lotus Flower's Soul Purification, I. The golden light of selection surged out and landed once again, shrouding Kaya another time. This time, her opponent was from the spiritual temple. The fourth battle of the fifth individual round began. This summoner Kyer had to face was a tall elder. All those who made it to the fifth round were powerhouses of the current age. The displays of strength of this summoner in the previous battles were seen clearly by everyone from Bright Glimmer of Hope. His strongest specialty was his contracted beast, a dragon, a genuine dragon. This summoner was the only dragon summoner out of the whole spiritual temple. When facing this dragon summoner, the pressure on Kyer as she was not allowed to use any sort of equipment was really great. Although this summoner had yet to enter the domain-wielding realm, his summoned gigantic dragon was already a domain-wielding powerhouse. A shrill dragon cry came as a blue gigantic dragon appeared in the stadium. The dragon summoning elder was seated upright on its back, to vanquish him, one would first need to beat his summoned gigantic dragon. The dragon summoner grabbed the dragon's horn with a hand, shifting his sight toward Kyer, his opponent. This blue gigantic dragon was of water attribute, and reached a length of a full 50 meters. Even as it stood within the entire field, that was still a huge monster. Kyer's body flashed, all traces of her disappearing inside the field. She knew that this battle would be an extremely difficult one. Without a way to use the sickle of the God of Death and Tower of Eternity, her strength would be excessively restricted. Beating this domain-wielding gigantic dragon would really be quite a challenge. It would be another story if she could use the seven arts of the God of Death, but right now she could only beat the mount before the rider. The summoner's look became stagnant, connecting his thoughts with the water dragon. 
A dragon cry reverberated from the sky as an ice blue ring spread out from the top of his head. Generally speaking, ring-type abilities would cover a limited range, but this ice dragon's ring seemed limitless, extending through the whole stadium's barrier and encompassing the whole audience as well. Kyer's invisibility naturally left no traces under those circumstances. Her figure flashing, she appeared onto the field, but suddenly disappeared once again in mid-stride before the ring approached her, sweeping past it while leaving no traces. Spatial shuttling? This was a powerful ability that assassins would gain starting from a certain level of cultivation. The dragon summoner let out a faint smile. This was not his first time facing an assassin, and he naturally knew how to respond. The wings on the water dragon's back spread out, a terrifying blue water tide erupting from these wings. This was truly a perilous situation, a tidal surge of water essence attacked the whole stadium, reaching every corner in a flash. No matter where Kaya would appear next, she would have to endure this water wave's attack. Furthermore, under the influence of such a massive water elemental attack, changes also started to affect the space. The closer one was to the core, the more intense these water waves would get. In the empty space, a crack quietly appeared in front of the water dragon, and Kyer strode out. Pure halations dispersed from her body, as the purifying force condensed into a sickle of the god of death which struck at the water dragon. It wasn't that she did not want to attack the dragon summoner, but in truth the water dragon's released water essence was far too massive. A blue barrier had long since enveloped his body, so if Kyer chose to stubbornly attack him, the water dragon's greatest attack would surely follow in response. The water dragon's eyes lit up, opening its large mouth to spit a breath attack. In the meantime, the surrounding water essence suddenly turned into a massive whirlpool, pulling Kyer's body toward its direction. A massive water pillar arose from beneath, attacking from two sides simultaneously. An ice-cold glimmer flashed in Kyer's eyes and a white halo released from her body. That soft-looking white not only stopped the water dragon's spit, but purified all the nearing water essence as well. That was Kyer's domain of purification. The water dragon let out a howl, its massive figure shivering slightly, clearly feeling a great apprehension in front of Kyer's domain of purification, but it still launched its own domain in the meantime. An azure color encompassed the whole stadium, the water essence pulsing excitedly as if alive. Drop after drop, the water condensed into little dragons, swiftly emerging from the domain. Looking at them, they appeared extremely real, all charging at Kyer. But everything surrounding their bodies suddenly turned illusory, as if forming a water blockade separating the dragon from Kyer. This was a means used by the dragon summoner for self-defense, wielding a part of the domain's power defensively. After all, Kyer was the only remaining assassin in the temple's great gathering, and possessed a domain of her own. What if the domain's force was suddenly sealed off? The dragon summoner's force was this gigantic dragon. All his abilities were related to this gigantic dragon, the two of them complementing each other. His spirit united with the water dragon, commanding the latter in battle. Not only did it boost the water dragon's technical aspects, but it also connected his spiritual energy with the latter's, the result approaching the 300,000. Facing the assault of the mini water dragons, Kyer's eyes lit up. The light of purification was as if limitless, spreading through the light of purification swiftly. In the meantime, she raised her right hand, stretched forward. There seemed to be some stubbornness in her look, as well as great expectations. The dispersed petals started to shrink, gathering onto her palm. In this process, the surroundings of Kyer's body were like a terrible whirlpool. The mini water dragons from that domain only managed to fly within a certain range of her body before smashing to pieces instantly, disappearing and turning back into water essence. However, the light of purification surrounding Kyer did not spread further, leaving it unable to affect the water dragon's domain. The sight of those white petals gathering rapidly was pretty. Kyer floated in midair, like an immortal. Her purification attribute had a very great characteristic, to remain unaffected by perturbation from other elements. This wouldn't change even if the other party were to utilize domain force. Even if it were even denser, water essence was in the end water essence. In circumstances where that the light of purification had not launched any attacks, the water essence had no way to proceed beneath it. The water dragon's sight seemed slightly frenetic. It perceived an immense threat from Kyer. Ra. Going past the light of purification would require a direct clash. Elemental essence was of no use, but skills could be used. All the mini dragons in the domain roared, and immediately, everything in the water dragon domain lit up. The scope of the massive domain started to extend to the whole stadium, turning into a massive whirlpool. Every water dragon turned into a light flowing through the whirlpool, disappearing in the midst of this massive domain alongside the summoner and his water dragon. This wide whirlpool had a terrifying pulling force. Every circulating light charged toward Kyer's domain of purification, producing a violent explosion, as well as some intense fluctuations in the white light on its surface. The spiral's rotation speed grew faster and faster, the impact force coming stronger and stronger. But this instant, that lotus flower in Kyer's hand bloomed. Domain Technique, Flourishing Lotus Flower On the last time when that lotus flower had made its appearance in the Tower of Eternity, it was not with its full power. But this time, Kyer deployed it fully with no second thoughts. This was Kyer's domain technique that she was not in full control of, as well as her strongest attack at her disposal without the sickle of the God of Death and Tower of Eternity. But would this domain technique be enough to defeat the Water Dragon? After flourishing Lotus Flower came out, a purifying force was released, then, it slowly arose above Kyer's head. 
Immediately, Kyre, who was originally sent flying upwards in the water dragon's whirlpool, returned to normal in a flash, and the flourishing lotus flower kept blooming above Kyre's head. A ring of extreme white suddenly extended, causing every spectator in the stadium to immediately feel bewildered. Even the defensive barrier's protection seemed ineffectual. Gra. The water dragon's cry was filled with great panic, because it realized, to its horror, that this ring of white light from flourishing lotus flower only passed through its domain and kept expanding. Water essence was of no use in blocking it. Or perhaps no ability would be able to stop its advance. Even the dragon's extremely powerful soul's force seemed to be seeping out from its body. No mistake, this was the purifying force's most terrifying aspect. What was purified was not the body, but the soul. Kyre's flourishing lotus flower stripped out soul force, and had extreme boosting effects. No matter how strong you are, if your soul is wounded, that is some irreparable damage. The water dragon did not dare attack Kyre further, and contracted its massive domain, turning it into an immense sparkling barrier surrounding its body. In the meantime, its two dragon horns flashed in thunderous icy blue, protecting its own head. At the very moment, all its focus was put on defending its own soul, as well as that of the dragon summoner on its head. Once spiritual energy density reaches a certain level, there's not much to do anymore. The ice dragon perceived that Kyre's domain of purification was actually not really suppressing its own water attribute, but its undead attribute. If it was an undead creature, even if it were twice as strong, those flourishing lotus flowers would have scattered it to ashes in a flash. But as its water attribute soul did not have much of the dark aspects, it was not purified too violently. Damage to one's soul is always a very dangerous thing. It had to defend against that at all cost. Flourishing lotus flowers white ring of light finally attacked the water dragon's barrier. Chapter 709, Flourishing Lotus Flowers Soul Purification, 2 The instant the two parties clashed, a bizarre chirping sound reverberated through the stadium. That very instant, all the onwatchers present felt their brains filled in a flash with the chirping sounds before blank scenes flashes through their minds, taking several seconds to recover. That feeling seemed to be seeping out from their soul. It felt like after swaying forth outside for a bit, it returned to their body. This kind of experience was in no way appreciated. These powerhouses from the six great temples that Kyre had previously faced couldn't help but feel full of shock. How could they have thought that Kyre actually had such means at her disposal? This domain technique was just too terrifying. For the defensive barrier to show such a strong reaction, how terrible would it be if that was a direct attack? The dragon summoner and water dragon reached their own conclusion. Inside the stadium a strange scene came to pass, the water dragon and dragon summoner both went stiff, as above their head a blurry figure appeared, shaped the same as them, only a lot smaller. Transparent, lifeless, stiff, and even full of shock. This was without a doubt their soul states after flourishing lotus flowers took effect. The water dragon's defensive barrier took effect to some extent, but it actually looked not too powerful. Their domain was being dispersed at an astonishing speed as well, along with the defensive barrier. However, after utilizing flourishing lotus flower, Kyre also seemed out of strength. Her body swayed in the air, narrowly falling down, but a blue cane appeared in her hand, finally supporting her body. Although from the paleness of her face and her body's lack of spirit, one could see that she already didn't have much fighting strength left. However, she still had a firm look directed at the water dragon and dragon summoner in the air, as if waiting for something to happen. The expelled spirits slowly returned, having in the end not suffered a total purification by flourishing lotus flower. In the end, the water dragon and dragon summoner had joined their spirit force as one, adding that to the overall defensive effects of the domain, so although Kyre's blow had great effects on their souls, it was unlikely to go as far as to disperse them. After a dozen seconds, the dragon summoner and water dragon souls came back to their senses, both out of breath. Even if the water dragon was very powerful, it was still instantaneously weakened to such an extent that it was unable to even maintain its spiritual wings. Falling from the sky and dropping to the ground, it caused a violent bang as the defenses surrounding his body and his domain shattered to pieces. Its soul was weakened such that it was totally unable to control these forces. So who won and who lost? The spectators in the Alliance's great stadium were basically all powerhouses from the six great temples. But this instant, almost no one could tell out the outcome of the match. Kyre's domain technique benefited in its great unexpectedness, forcibly breaking the water dragon and dragon summoner's joint domain technique, and damaging their very souls. But from the looks of it, Kyre did not have any energy left either. Also, the water dragon and dragon summoner should take a bit faster to recover than her. Just as everyone was full of doubts, a white figure suddenly appeared behind the water dragon without any sound, and in a flash was atop the water dragon, a flash of sharp light aiming at the dragon summoner's throat. This timing was really ideal. The dragon summoner having just come back to his senses, and still under the shock from the water dragon's fall, this was a time of thorough distraction. Only when the sharp white glow had reached his throat did he finally react, but that was clearly too late. If that white figure wanted to kill him, he would already be dead. That white figure was clearly Kyre, but an illusory Kyre, whose sickle of the god of death was lightly pressed against the dragon summoner's throat, before slowly dissipating. Who could expect this? It was only when the victor was already determined that the dragon summoner had finally reacted. This image was visibly a remnant left from before Kyre had utilized her domain technique. In other words, she had kept stealthily a doppelganger under the state of invisibility. But which other assassin could maintain an invisible doppelganger? 
No matter what the Dragon Summoner was thinking, this match was ultimately his loss. He may not necessarily lose out in strength against the equipment less Kyer, but her victory lay in her bizarre flourishing lotus flower and great planning. She knew very clearly that her flourishing lotus flower came with a massive consumption, stopping her from even continuing to battle. Her doppelganger's preparation was for this very moment. In ordinary circumstances, her doppelganger would by no means be able to injure the opponent, but, because of the shock from the Lotus Flower's attack, the Water Dragon's domain was shattered, and thus the Dragon Summoner was at his weakest state. It was only in search of the best opportunity that Kyer had been looking concentratedly at the Dragon Summoner so far. One could only admit that Kyer's strength was really a great deal. Being the saint daughter of Samsara, a god's chosen one, she had powerful abilities beyond the reach of ordinary assassins. For instance, maintaining her doppelganger after using invisibility, and with such great concealment. Even the Water Dragon's domain did not probe its existence, thus making the summoner's defeat no injustice. Her blue cane tapping on the ground, Kyer slowly walked out. The match had already been concluded, and of course, as one of the six great temple's powerhouses, the dragon summoner naturally could not act shamelessly, especially with Chen Zidian watching. At this point of the competition, bright glimmer of hope had ended as great victors of the individual competition. Four spots out of the six matches actually belonged to them. Long Haochen stood at the great stadium's entrance, calmly waiting for Kyer's return. Looking at her blue cane tapping on the ground, Long Haochen's eyes were full of warmth, visibly recalling the scene of himself sending off Kyer every day back then. Kyer joined Long Haochen's side, a smile on her face. Her hand pulled by Haochen's, she was supported back to their seats. This time, the light of selection kept going on as Long Haochen unconsciously raised his head. Only the last two matches were left for this round, and bright glimmer of hope's captain had yet to take part. However, this light of selection did not target any of the Bright Glimmer of Hope squad, but two other competitors, one being a powerhouse from the Night Temple, and the other one from the Spiritual Temple. Therefore, the last match would naturally be between Long Haochen and the last person from the Mage Temple. Seeing that this match was not his own, Long Haochen waved his hand at Han Yu. Han Yu had long since received Long Haochen's instructions. Because he had been eliminated beforehand, he was not inside the competitor's booth, but in the more distant spectator's lounge. Having received Long Haochen's signal, Han Yu lightly nodded, expressing his understanding, before slowly shutting his eyes. No one noticed that among Bright Glimmer of Hope's ranks, Kyer, Wang Yuan Yuan and Lin Xian had a golden dot of light on their backs. But by leaning against their seats, this light was thoroughly concealed. Only Bright Glimmer of Hope's people realized what was happening. These were the effects of Han Yu's spiritual stove of light's blessings. Along with his rise in cultivation, Han Yu's spiritual stove of light's blessings had evolved two times in total. The current light's blessings was no longer just recovery in a set area. More importantly, Han Yu's blessings could be transmitted to the others through the soul-sharing chains. In a certain range, through the chains he was able to assist his comrades from bright glimmer of hope in recovering spiritual energy. And the fewer the targets, the faster the recovery assistance. The reason why Long Haochen did not signal Han Yu before was naturally because his spiritual stove could still only be used once a day, so it had to be done in the most crucial instant. Now that the fifth match had already started, Lin Xian, Wang Yuan Yuan and Kyer all had massive consumptions. And after that, he would have to have to take part in the sixth match as well, after which the sixth round would immediately start, without leaving them any time for recovery. If Long Haochen had just been picked by the light of selection, to take part in the fifth match, maybe he could delay the use of the spiritual stove of light's blessings a bit as well to profit, but now was clearly the best timing in this situation. The reason why he shifted the activation in advance, was that, as he had the heart of eternity, his spiritual energy's recovery was far above the others. No one could deny that Han Yu's boost was a form of cheating. But Long Haochen was tolerant to that, as everything he was doing was for the sake of allowing the Temple Alliance to develop still further. This state of dispersion of the Temple Alliance had already gone on for 6,000 years, and with each of the six great temples having its own authority, was a deep-rooted system. They had very complex relationships between each other, and to put that to an end would be a really challenging thing. The only way would be to make them all compromise, but even should it succeed, the qualitative changes would actually most likely not be too huge either. So, Long Haochen had already come to the conclusion that what he had to do was to make Bright Glimmer of Hope really stand above the crowd in this temple's great gathering. Although it had weak foundations, and could only rely on a few of them, they also had their unique advantages. Even after omitting the positions each of them held in their own temple, they had naturally good dispositions. After having experienced so many things, and coming to that point today, Long Haochen believed this to be his unshirkable responsibility. For the sake of his plan, a brand new alliance ought to be founded, where he, as the Scion of Light, had to become one of the leading figures. Through bright glimmer of hope's drive and strength, they would be the greatest contributors in the Alliance's reorganization. Chapter 710, Flourishing Lotus Flower's Soul Purification, 3 In order to achieve this plan, a little fraud was no issue as the final result was the most important thing. Long Haochen believed that their individual performance had already convinced the overwhelming majority of the Alliance's higher-ups. The further they could go in the Temple's Great Gathering, and the higher their result, the more weight they would gain in the meetings after it ended, and the more backing they would receive. The match was continuing fiercely, the spiritual temple and night temple both having only one last person left. 
This match would determine whether or not they would enter the top six, which is why the contest was especially fierce. The clashes between these two powerhouses frequently caused cracks to appear on the defensive barrier, which was reinforced continuously by the numerous referees. No one knew that those three from Bright Glimmer of Hope were all recovering their spiritual energy at an astonishing speed. The spiritual stove of light blessings continuous recovery was of extremely great use. It was not even only about accelerating their recovery as Han Yu could even transfer his own spiritual energy through it, transferring an elemental power of extreme purity. This was a matter he had comprehended thanks to absorbing the pure spiritual energy in the Tower of Eternity. With the rise of his cultivation, Han Yu was growing more and more inclined to the supportive type. Even a pure supporter at the ninth step was a considerably powerful existence. And Han Yu had his own goal, which was to become a divine knight. The match went for a whole quarter of an hour, before the match was finally ended both sides suffered through a very close match, but in the end that domain-wielding knight was a step ahead and finally managed to achieve victory. But it was a very close victory, with a massive consumption of his spiritual energy, and even his domain had reached its limits. It would visibly take quite a moment for him to recover entirely. Finally, Long Houchen went on stage without need for the light of selection, entering the field alongside that mage. With their results, Bright Glimmer of Hope's performance in the individual stage already reached an unswayable stage. That final night, being really close to his limits, had nearly fainted directly after exiting the stage. With Bright Glimmer of Hope having three qualified members, they would very possibly draw him, which would pretty much guarantee them one seat on the top three. Although Li Zhengji was giving his all in recovering his spiritual energy, his previous consumption was considerable. Even if he did make it to the top three, Bright Glimmer of Hope would very possibly take the final seat, although this would mainly depend on this one match. All knew that Long Houchen was their captain as well as strongest member. Putting aside his higher chances of victory, should he be eliminated in this match, this mage would definitely not have it easy either. In case Bright Glimmer of Hope should take two of the top three seats, their two members could reject the final three-person round-robin tournament, so that they could be considered the final champions of the individual competition. Therefore at this point, Bright Glimmer of Hope was in a pretty safe position already. Long Houchen calmly confronted the opposite mage, clad in a yellow gown. That was not a mage's robe, but it clearly illustrated his elemental attribute, as that was an earth mage. The two of them exchanged determined glances, before the final match between the top twelve started. Long Houchen did not immediately utilize the light god domain this time. Striding forward, the six wings on his back flashed and flapped as his body shot forward like a streak of light. Lightning flash. A golden hexagram slowly extended from where he had been, the divine unicorn slowly appeared behind Long Houchen shaking its wings to elevate itself high in the air. In the course of launching lightning flash, Long Houchen had already materialized a pair of heavy swords through spiritual highland, launching a cross strike at the opponent. The earth mage was not panicked in the slightest, his hands forming a gesture in front of his chest. Immediately, Long Houchen felt his body sink down, his speed dropping tremendously. That was gravity technique. In the meantime, the earth mage aimed a distant palm strike to welcome the distant Houchen, just like a warrior. A terrifying scene arose, a hill over 20 meters tall suddenly appearing in midair on its way to collide with Long Houchen. Crossed sword strike landed loudly on that hill, as Long Houchen's body tensed up. In all eyes, Long Houchen should have been able to dodge. Although it came suddenly, and was an instant cast, that hill was really towering and thick. A clash was no good solution. And, just getting out of the way seemed sufficient, as that large hill would not be of great use anyway. But Houchen didn't do so. His body flashed to strike against the hill. Immediately, it stopped in midair. The earth mage had a chill, knowing that the opponent had seen through his spell. He actually wanted Long Houchen to dodge, as this hill was just a support to launch a powerful gravity technique. But by directly striking the hill, he had visibly cut off that following move. The Earth Mage chanted rapidly, that hill having only stalled for three seconds, and a deafening sound of an explosion followed. Countless rocks splattered in all directions as a towering sword intent arose in midair. Relying on it, Long Houchen forcibly broke this hill, and the next instant, charged straight toward the mage. His six wings provided him with a really enormous speed. Moreover, he had the aid of lightning flash, so the Earth Mage had no way to escape at all. In that case, he may as well not even try. A transparent barrier surrounded his body, which, when struck by Long Houchen's pair of swords materialized from spiritual highland, produced series of sonorous crackling sounds. But that barrier was still unmoving and didn't have any visible trace of damage. What a great defense. If one paid attention, he would realize that the transparent barrier was not like an ordinary magic barrier. It seemed to have countless cuts on its surface, which produced a bright brilliance under sunlight's illumination in the same way as a polished diamond. Starry Diamond Barrier, one of the most powerful defensive spells of Earth Element. Long Houchen was pushed back but not discouraged. The divine unicorn behind him had already caught up, and a divine light shot out from its horn, glinting on Long Houchen's body and lit up his body in multicolored light. A torrential sword intent once again burst out from Long Houchen, a severe expression on his face. His heavy swords united above his head, going down in a flash. An earthly yellow halation came up this time from below the earth mage. 
This divine great earth mage really had great accomplishments in defense, that yellow halo actually enlarged the scope of starry diamond barrier. Clang. Long Houchen was shooed away with his sword, and although a crack had appeared on the starry diamond barrier, it very was rapidly restored by the yellow halation within. What a great defense. Long Houchen was startled. In the defensive aspect, this earth knight was perhaps not inferior to that supreme shield of the knight temple. The heart of eternity was pulsing violently. Hearing this earth mage still continuously chanting, Long Houchen remained calm, quietly releasing a golden halation. The light god domain finally appeared, and not only that, but right after appearing it started to display the phenomenon associated with the release of the domain technique divine light waltz. The look on the earth mage's face changed, but his incantation remained unchanging, the yellow halation under his feet only growing even more intense. His domain was named Solidification. A simple sounding name, but it actually reinforced any of his earth spells with an ultra great defense. When young, he was known with the title of Tortoise Shell, absolute number one in terms of defense out of the whole mage temple. Even Li Shengji would need to expend a lot of magic power to defeat him, relying on the difference in cultivation to win the match. Li Shengji had given him direct instructions on how to deal with the situation before going on stage. For this earth mage to defeat Long Haochen with his attacks would be really difficult, so Li Shengji suggested he tire out Long Haochen, who would surely try to achieve a rapid victory and thus use a lot of his domain's power. Then he was to look for a chance in the midst of stalling. Even if he would end up defeated by Long Haochen, that way he will have certainly depleted a lot of his spiritual energy, thus raising Li Shengji's chances in the rest of the competition. Although Li Shengji knew that should Bright Glimmer of Hope acquire two spots on the top three, there would most likely be no final champion to designate, he still strove for victory with his utmost. In his eyes, although Kyer's domain was really bizarre, she was already too much depleted, thus only Long Haochen alone could really make up a threat to him. Long Haochen's Divine Light Waltz having already been launched twice, its volume was clearly smaller than the first time, proof that his spiritual energy was not yet fully replenished. When the Divine Light Waltz and Starry Diamond Barrier collided first, it came immediately to a clash between the strongest attack and greatest defense. An ear-piercing grinding sound came out immediately to everyone's ears. That was really an unpleasant sound. Countless sparks arose from the clash between the two great techniques in the midst of magic and shaking. Divine Light Waltz slowly cut its way in, but it advanced very slowly. All could see that both sides had their spiritual energy depleted intensely. The Earth Mage's incantation became swifter and swifter. As one of the top powerhouses of the Mage Temple, he was unwilling to take a passive beating in front of such a youngster. That was someone whose position was quite higher than even Lin Chen in the Mage Temple. The intense yellow halo from the starry diamond barrier gradually turned muddy, as terrible earth essence was in the midst of getting compressed and accumulated, about to possibly burst out at any time. But Long Haochen seemed to ignore that. With the boost of the divine unicorn, his divine light waltz only grew more and more powerful. The diamond starry barrier already had a small hole in its midst, and the divine light waltz only kept pushing through. At this rate, it would take him at most perhaps two minutes to achieve victory against this earth mage. Chapter 711, Purplish Gold How U.S. Sword, 2 Finally, the Earth Mage's incarnation was completed. If he had given all he had in defense, the Divine Light Waltz may have taken longer to pierce its way through, but just to maintain his domain techniques offense, Long Haochen's expenditure of spiritual energy was astronomic. He had to last as long as possible, so that even if Long Haochen finally achieved victory, he wouldn't have much spiritual energy left anyway. But this Earth Mage was just unwilling. After having made it so far, who would give up a chance of achieving victory? So he chose to launch his strongest attack, finally ready. A mini person made of sparkling earth essence appeared, drilling into the ground immediately. At the time it resurfaced, it had become a gigantic form of earth essence over 10 meters tall. Shockingly, its body joined with the starry diamond barrier, as if becoming made of diamond. Springing up and joining his fists, he sent it smashing at Long Haochen. Upon its appearance, the earth essence within the internal barrier of the stadium had risen up dramatically. Like that, he nimbly landed, shifting just enough to evade the horizontal cut from divine light waltz. The corners of Long Haochen's mouth traced a thin smile. This was the chance he was waiting for. If the opponent had only persisted with using his domain's barrier, there would be nothing else to be done than breaking it slowly. But things were not the same with the opponent using this powerful forbidden spell. Perhaps the defensive power of this diamond earth elemental alone was no match for diamond starry barrier. But don't forget, it had yet to benefit from the domain's boost, and was after all a magic that had achieved independence from its master. A purplish golden radiance flashed through Long Haochen's eyes, and the next instant, a massive figure took shape right above him. Its tail was swung like a hammer, violently whipping the diamond earth elemental. In the meantime, a six-colored halo flared up. Six Element Essence of Disorder The diamond earth elemental could be categorized as an existence reaching the forbidden spell level, yet it was sent flying by that heavy blow. More terrifyingly, when that six-colored halation was diffused, changes occurred on both the diamond earth elemental and the major starry diamond barrier. All the earth essence pulsed chaotically throughout Essence of Disorder, although the diamond earth elemental was better off, being a supreme earth elemental summon. Although Essence of Disorder caused several cracks to appear on its massive body, that did not end up being enough to shatter it thoroughly. Even so, the Earth Mage on the other side was forced back. 
Originally, when reduced into a state of passive defense by Long Houchen's Divine Light Waltz, he was hoping to rely on the Diamond Earth Elemental to reverse the situation. But who could expect that not only was the situation not reversed, but furthermore, he now had to suffer the attack from the Six Elemental Essence of Disorder. Divine Light Waltz was also somewhat affected, but that domain technique was of a higher level, and furthermore used Long Houchen's supremely pure light, hence it was less affected than his opponents. Crack. The starry diamond barrier smashed to pieces, Divine Light Waltz now looked about to cut through that Earth Elemental Mage. This Earth Mage kept performing outstandingly. In a flash of white light, the diamond Earth Elemental shifted its position, arriving in front of him, and blocked Divine Light Waltz midway. However, the Earth Mage's domain was ripped apart alongside the Earth Diamond Barrier. How could it recover instantly? The Diamond Elemental had a massive wound, Earth Element having gotten splattered across in front of Divine Light Waltz's terrifying cutting force. A body which was originally already full of cracks was almost split in two on the torso level. After Divine Light Waltz vanished, Longhouchen swung his sword in the air once again. This time, his body was surrounded by an intense purplish golden gloss. Sword Intent and Sword Soul were wielded harmoniously, with Hao Yue's bloodline force added to that. A purplish gold sword light transpired through the sky, making way into that massive wound of the Diamond Earth Elemental. In a flash of yellow light, the Earth Mage's body flashed across to avoid getting taken down alongside his summon. The Diamond Earth Elemental was extremely powerful offensively, but although it wielded great defense, in the end it was not able to compare with the Starry Diamond Barrier which benefited from a domain support. Pop! The massive body crumbled, smashing to the ground. Hao Yue appeared in front of it once again, sweeping his tail to instantly crush the Diamond Earth Elemental in two, sending fragments flying. At the same time, the six huge heads roared, unrestrainedly launching six breaths at the Earth Mage. The Earth Mage was already quite panicked. The Starry Diamond Barrier couldn't recover in such a short time, as he was having to face Hao Yue's attacks, he was only able to launch series of low-level Earth Barriers. The battle having reached this point, the outcome was already without suspense. Long Houchen's figure flashed, and he appeared behind the mage as Elemental Obliterating Halo was liberated. The Starry Diamond Barrier could block the Elemental Obliterating Halo. This low-level barrier couldn't withstand it so easily however. Adding Hao Yue's attacks from the other side, it took only one minute for this Earth Mage to choose to concede. Fourth Qualification from the Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope At this point, Bright Glimmer of Hope had the complete upper hand in this individual competition. They basically only had one round left, although another knight had made it to the top six, he did not have much strength left, and so the final matter was to see whether Li Shengji would make it to the top three. In the fifth round, every winner could gain 16 points, thus causing great variations in the total points. Bright Glimmer of Hope had four members qualified from the fifth round, bringing them 64 points in total. Adding that to their previous 96 points, they had in total 160 points. The Knight Temple and Mage Temple's qualified member brought them respectively to 105 and 98 total points, ranked second and third. The other three temples' total points remained the same, 58 for the Spiritual Temple, 34 for the Assassin Temple and 24 for the Warrior Temple. At this point, Bright Glimmer of Hope already led by a wide margin, leaving no suspense for who would become champion of the individual competition. Before this gathering, no one could expect the individual competition to end up with such results. There had never been a single temple showing such impressive results in all the past temples' great gatherings. For sure, luck had its role for these results, in addition to the secret help from the Knight Temple they benefited from. But without sufficient strength, there's no way they would have made it so far. Amongst the four, three had domains of their own, and one had eliminated a domain-wielding opponent. Be it in technique, strategy or strength, Bright Glimmer of Hope fully deserved to call themselves a title Demon Hunt Squad. Chapter 712, Purplish Gold How U.S. Sword, 2 Sixth Round, Start Chen Zidian's voice was still full of grandeur, as the final rankings round for the individual competition started. Long Hao Chen immediately returned to the lounge upon the end of his match. What he wanted the least was to be in the first match. As long as he would not be the first, he would have some time to recover, due to the Heart of Eternity's formidable recovery, which filled him with confidence on this aspect. It is unknown whether the Light of Selection had its own will to make things like that, but its first light lit on Long Haochen, while the other one accurately illuminated Li Shengji's body. When the two Lights of Selections had settled, the whole Alliance's great stadium was visibly in total disorder. The first match of the sixth round was unexpectedly opposing Long Haochen and Li Shengji. One could say that this was the most crucial battle out of the whole individual competition. If Li Shengji managed to defeat Long Haochen, although the Mage Temple's total points would still be behind Bright Glimmer of Hope, it wouldn't be by much. And with Li Shengji figuring in the top three, even if the other two spots were to belong to two members of Bright Glimmer of Hope, the number one powerhouse of the Alliance would surely be acknowledged by a lot to be him. It wasn't easy to say whether this battle was fair. Long Haochen's consumption against the Earth Mage was certainly not as great as what Li Shengji had exerted against Chen Inger, but Long Haochen had just finished his previous match, while on the other side Li Shengji was the first one of the previous round to go on stage. But, no matter what, since the Light of Selection had made its pick, it wouldn't be changed now. Long Haochen had a quite severe expression, while Li Zhengzhi looked quite happy, obviously pleased with the Light of Selection's choice. Going up against Long Haochen was his most desirable outcome. 
The two of them faced off each other. The instant they made it on stage, the whole audience went totally silent, devoid of the slightest whisper. Long Haochun placed his right fist on the left of his chest, performing a standard night salute in front of Li Zhengzi. Greetings, Temple Head Li. Li Zhengzi revealed a humble smile, deeply moved he declared, I really didn't expect you to be my final opponent in this temple's great gathering. Do you remember what I told you a few years back? That the next temple's great gathering would be the time for you to challenge me. But you have shifted this time ten years ahead. The future is a world for you youngsters, but what I have said doesn't change. If you want to take my place in challenging the demon god emperor, you must defeat me. Come, show me whether you are able to achieve this. Long Haochen nodded lightly and moved his right fist horizontally for another salute before his six wings that had vanished just a bit earlier reappeared, bringing him aloft. Li Shengji started a rapid chant, shifting his gaze to be locked onto Long Haochen. A dense green light spread as his chant carried a fantastic rhythm to the ears of everyone present. Long Haochen did not opt for an offensive approach in the same way as the previous light speed flash. The heart of eternity pulsed intensely on his chest to recover his spiritual energy, and in the meantime, his right hand was pointed in front of him, summoning the divine unicorn Star King back to his side. Star King, lend me your strength. Long Haochen groped his head. Star King nodded lightly, extending his wings, as a dazzling starlight of seven colors shone on its horn. The next instant, the seven colors spread again, covering Long Haochen and his mount in their scope. Long Haochen rode Star King, the multicolored starlight falling and going back up, to form a multicolored pillar of light, going all the way to the top of the barrier. Although Star King had already become a divine unicorn, its foundations were still the same, a starlight unicorn king's. This was its star domain. Originally, for the sake of assisting Long Haochen, he had once forcefully used this skill. But now that it reached the ninth step of cultivation, utilizing star domain couldn't be more easy. Although it was still not a genuine domain, it was very close to that. A light essence of incomparable intensity gathered inside Long Haochen's body in the midst of the heart of eternity's intense pulse, his spiritual energy was replenished at a frightening speed. Star King's eyes lit up, and with a long hiss, the horn atop its head lit up, wrapping Long Haochen in itself in light, so that their silhouettes were hidden from the outside world. Everyone had their own trump cards, just like Li Zhengji had yet to use his most powerful ability, Long Haochen also had yet to reveal his most powerful mode. When facing Yang Haoyu, he did not have the opportunity to unleash it, as he had to utilize his domain non-stop and resist the opponent. But right now, when facing Li Zhengji, and as this was most likely his last match, why would Long Haochen show any more reservations? The multicolored radiance vanished, and when Long Haochen reappeared to everyone's sight, the audience couldn't help but gasp at the sight of him. Right now, his whole body was shining under the illumination of his multicolor armor, flowing with multicolored light rippling out. From the looks of it, he appeared to have a demeanor very close to Divine Knights. The multicolored light was a sign of Divine Tools, the Divine Unicorn transformed into a multicolored armor was equivalent to a Divine Tool level armor. And, he benefited from the extreme boost from Star Domain, which had replenished Long Haochen's used-up spiritual energy, making 80% of it available to him right now. As a supreme level transformed mount, the Divine Unicorn which seemed to be just a supportive character, and furthermore not up to much, was visibly underestimated by a lot. As it turned out, although Star King had just evolved recently, and had yet to acquire a lot of a Divine Unicorn's abilities, he was still a genuine Divine Unicorn. The Divine Armor put on him, Long Haochen's eyes leaked a dazzling glow. Adding to that his six-winged appearance and extremely handsome face, it drew the gazes of all the females present to him. How you a? Long Haochen shouted loudly at once. In a dazzle of purple gold, Hao Yue reappeared by his side, this time turned into a purplish golden radiance rushing forth toward Long Haochen. The spectators had all witnessed Hao Yue's armor transformation. That's also what happened in the match between Long Haochen and Yang Hao Yue, which combined with his domain's evolution enabled him to achieve victory. Could he be planning to equip double armors? Thought most. However, they rapidly realized their mistake. Hao Yue did not transform into his armor form, but into a gigantic sword, appearing in Long Haochen's hands. The Divine Unicorn Armor and Hao Yue transformed into a purplish gold Hao Yue sword. That's Long Haochen's strongest mode, even in a situation without the use of any equipment from him. Chapter 713, Terrifying Purplish Gold Hao Yue Sword, I. It was the first time for Hao Yue to transform into a sword. Compared to Long Haochen's other two divine swords, Hao Yue's transformation was much more massive in size. The sword itself was over 3 meters long, colored purplish gold, with a 1 meter long hilt. Long Haochen also needed to use his two hands to wield it correctly. This ultra-large sword had nine lines stretching from the handle up to the sharp point. Six mini Haoyue heads extended from the thick blade, all spouting as if the edge came from their breath. While gripping this heavy sword, Long Haochen felt an incomparably tyrannical power surge out from this heavy sword. Linked with the bloodline force in him, its power seemed as if an extension of his own body. As a knight, Long Haochen had a keen link with his weapon. In front of this purplish gold Haoyue sword, even blue rain, hibiscus of light of the aria of the goddess of light seemed lackluster. Imperceptibly, he sensed the aura of a six elemental essence of disorder surging out from this gigantic sword. How could he imagine that Haoyue would reach such a level of power after transforming into a sword? 
As Long Haochen's two magical beast companions transformed into equipment forms, on the other side, Li Zhengji's forbidden spell was done getting cast. An immense green shadow appeared behind him. Wind God Summon. An immense wind god looking the same as Li Zhengji appeared out of nowhere. Right off the bat, that massive figure was 15 meters long, but bizarrely, its volume compressed itself, and in just a little while, it reached a length of 5 meters. Although it remained relatively huge, that made it a lot nimbler. All clad in greenish golden armor, it wielded a pair of axes. That was Li Zhengji's wind god summon, clearly different from the wind god used against Chen Ning'er. Not only its weapons differed, but it gave off an entirely different feeling. Li Zhengji's whole body flashed in green color. In a flash, he entered in the midst of the wind god, whose eyes lit immediately as if infused with intelligence. Single-mindedly looking at Long Haochen, its axes pierced through the sky, and a hurricane burst out. That was the wind god domain's first domain technique, hurricane. Waves of golden light surged in tides, flocking frantically towards Long Haochen. Long Haochen remained very calm, and his divine unicorn turned into a multicolored armor liberating flashes of golden light, accompanying the release of the light god domain. Two brilliances of golden and green color clashed each other. Due to Li Zhengxi's domain technique, the instant the two brilliances flashed through the sky, Long Haochen's light god domain had a burst of power. But one could clearly see that where the two great domain techniques clashed, a white fire was ignited. Wind blew through this white flower, causing a remarkable shaking as well as a rise of strands of blue flames. Elemental Suppression This was an elemental suppression appearing in the midst of a contest of domains. From Long Haochen's view, this was the last match of the individual competition, so he no longer showed any reservations. The power of the light god domain came out in full swing, erupting all around. The light essence of extreme purity was sufficient to suppress powerhouses of any elemental attribute. Li Zhengxi's domain technique also wielded some of the wind god's power, and at his cultivation level, his wind attribute was compressed to a great extent since long ago, but an insurmountable gulf still separated it from Long Haochen in terms of purity. Long Haochen's light attribute came not only from his scion of light physique, but moreover from the upgrade of the divine snail, shield of sun and moon and the assimilation of a luxus physique as a scion of light. The three great light entities reached such a level that even if the goddess of light herself were to came out in front of him, her spiritual energy's purity may not even be a match. So, Light God was truly a well-deserved name. Li Xingxi's domain was named Wind God, but that was just a name, not the true Wind God's power. Even if the purity of his attribute were to be a match for Long Haochen, wind remains inferior to light. As a result, although Long Haochen's Light God domain looked constricted, he actually had the advantage in the clash of domains. The Wind God made its move. Flashing across, it arrived at the point of collision between the two domains. Waving the blade in its hand, it immediately sent a greenish-gold ray flying through the Light God domain, carrying along a hazy mist. Even if this blade was still far from Long Haochen, he felt very clearly its sharpness, perfectly combining blade intent and wind. Long Haochen felt secretly alarmed. Li Zhengji was a mage. But even in this capacity, he managed to deploy blade intent with his sheer technique. That was really a shocking talent. Long Haochen didn't avoid, neither did he shrink back. In this situation, if he were to retreat, Li Zhengji's attack would certainly make way inside the Light God Domain, and thanks to his own Wind God Domain, he wouldn't get too much affected by the Light God Domain. But more importantly, should his domain be breached through, Long Haochen would be unable to utilize the Divine Light Waltz he had just comprehended recently. So, Long Haochen faced the attack, coming up after his figure flashed. Wielding the purplish gold Haoyue sword in his hands, he performed a downwards hacking motion. A purplish golden sword ray was abruptly released from the purplish gold Haoyue sword, but to Long Haochen's shock, his sword soul was actually unable to merge into Haoyue's sword form. This gigantic sword gave off the feeling that it would reject everything other than his spiritual energy and sword intent. The purplish golden sword ray was over one meter long, vastly contrasting with Li Zhengji's wind god blade ray. But these two powerful lights produced an unexpected scene at the time of their clash. The current wind god was entirely under Li Zhengji's control. With the long blade in its hand, as well as his hurricane domain technique aiming at Long Haochen, he believed with certainty that this strike would at least send Long Haochen flying away. Then he would keep using the Wind God domain to assault Long Haochen's domain over and over. Although his opponent had the advantage in terms of sheer domain strength, he had already comprehended two domain techniques, and, his research and understanding of his own domain surpassing Haochen's by far, he was confident in being able to surpass Long Haochen and achieve a final victory. But the instant his long blade came into contact with Haochen's purplish gold Haoyue sword, Li Zhengji felt indescribable surges of terror from his brain, and immediately, the sword rays emitted from that long sword turned purple. In a flash of purplish gold, a rainbow light seeped out from the massive sword in Long Haochen's hands. That terrifying power full of destruction and havoc forced Li Zhengji to draw back swiftly as he flipped his long blade, forcefully cutting his connection with the blade rays. Everywhere those purplish golden sword rays passed, the hurricanes within the wind god domain were smashed to pieces, as the rays would keep traveling until reaching the defensive barrier on the edges of the field, causing it to tremble violently before piercing a hole inside, passing through it, and smashing into the ceiling of the alliance's great stadium. To say nothing about Li Zhengji's dilemma, even Long Haochen himself was shocked. He absolutely didn't expect Haoyue's sword transformation to reach such a terrifying level. This seemed to be beyond the power of any ordinary divine tool. 
When sensing it, that purplish golden sword ray did not give off an excessively powerful feeling. But Li Zhengji's wind elemental spiritual highland was simply routed upon contact. This was already beyond divine power. From the purple gold Hao Yue's sword, Long Haochen could feel clearly a frantic demeanor seeking for destruction. He subconsciously lifted it horizontally. Immediately, a purplish golden curtain of light extended, sweeping away all the hurricanes everywhere it passed. Li Zhengji's wind god domain became full of cracks, appearing close to collapsing at any time. After a short time of shock, Li Zhengji came back to his senses. Once again waving the long sword in his hands, a small-sized wind blade was shot out, aiming straight at Long Haochen. That was the second domain technique he also had to use in his fight against Chen'er, freedom. This domain technique filled with the true essence of wind took a flash to arrive in front of Long Haochen, who slightly drew back, pointing the purplish gold Hao Yue's sword forward. Dang! A sonorous sound reverberated in the air. The wind blade ruptured, but countless gales swept at Long Haochen's direction. The purplish gold Hao Yue's sword was waved once again, and from it came out a drizzling brilliance. In just a split second, that explosive wind blade disappeared completely in the midst of purple rays. This was the six elemental essence of disorder combined with his bloodline force. After making this short attempt, Long Haochen gradually came into the realization that the whole earth was in his grasp with a sword in his hand. This was the tyrannical bearing brought by Hao Yue. This was a super divine tool that only he could control. Although he did not know how Hao Yue achieved this, no one could deny the power of a divine sword that could even stand in front of Li Xingji's second domain technique. However, after a short time of interaction, Long Haochen also realized some issues with the purplish gold Hao Yue sword. First, this divine sword could only be infused with pure spiritual energy, and consumed his spiritual energy massively. Three sword strikes had depleted over 30,000 of his spiritual energy. In the meantime, when using this divine sword, no offensive technique could be used alongside it. Only pure slashes and strikes. This was with Hao Yue in a six-headed state. If the purplish gold Hao Yue sword was already so powerful, then when he would evolve to an eight-headed state, what terrifying level would this sword transformation reach? Chapter 714, Terrifying Purplish Gold Hao Yue Sword, 2 Despite the significant use of spiritual energy, Long Haochen could still bear up thanks to the Heart of Eternity's help in regenerating his spiritual energy. Also, the Divine Unicorn's armor transformation supplemented him with about 200,000 backup spiritual energy, enough to maintain his battle state. Seeing his essence of wind broken so easily by Long Haochen, Li Zhengzhi's face became incomparably tense. He began to realize this battle would perhaps be unlike what he had foreseen. Not only did it turn out challenging, victory was furthermore getting further and further from his grasp. But as the head of the Mage Temple, a vastly ambitious powerhouse, there's no way he would give up so easily. Li Zhengji knew that the greater one's ability, the greater would be its cost of use, Long Haochen's divine sword was certainly not simply waved around. And thus, when the long blade in his hand struck once again, several bursts of freedom, essence of wind flew at Long Haochen, forming a full powerful assault against him. Long Haochen strode steadily towards the opponent. Right now, his light god domain was compressed twofold, making it easier for him to economize his spiritual energy. With the terrifying power of the purplish gold Hao Yue sword, the wind god domain was no longer any threat for him. Nine lines of purplish gold patterns lit up on Long Haochen's forehead, even his eyes turned a purplish gold color. Although the purplish gold Hao Yue sword continuously transferred its will for destruction and havoc, as the wielder of a light god physique, Long Haochen's heart was, just like the heart of eternity, not so easily contaminated. In front of the divine sword, Li Zhengji's freedom, essence of wind was not of any use. The wind was shattered in the air as the distance between Long Haochen and Li Zhengji kept diminishing. After Long Haochen stepped into the wind god domain, he occasionally slashed his purplish gold Hao Yue's sword in front of him, causing the domain to recoil from its path. Right now he constantly scattered and smashed it, and when he had completely destroyed the wind god domain, Li Zhengji would naturally not be able to sustain his domain technique anymore. On the lounge of the night temple, Yang Hao Yue was seated beside Chen Zidian, a look of shock on his face. Murmuring his thoughts aloud, he muttered, Originally I was thinking that I had let this youngster win. I really didn't expect that he was the one to go easy on me. His magical beast is actually strong to such an extent. No wonder even demon god pillars get destroyed. Chen Zidian let out a laugh, the new generation will always replace the old and let it rest peacefully. What a mysterious thing. In those years, when your cultivation surpassed mine, I was in the same situation as you are right now. However, compared to Haochen's nature, his magical beast seems overly tyrannical. Yang Haoyu let out a laugh, there is no need to worry about this point. This magical beast may be extraordinary, but they are linked by blood contract. Chen Zidian nodded, this young guy is really perseverant. He's only taken out all his cards in this last battle. From the looks of it, this magical beast's divine sword transformation could be called Domain Killer. Li Zhengji's Wind God Domain can not only utilize two domain techniques, but moreover, it has undergone an evolution. However, a domain of this level cannot stop in the slightest this purplish gold sword. I'm afraid that no domain could possibly stop it, as long as Haochen's cultivation grows enough, challenging the demon god emperor in the future is not impossible to him. Yang Haoyu's look became especially brilliant, if he manages to obtain the approval of the divine throne of eternity and creation in addition to this divine sword, humanity's chance will truly have come. His bright glimmer of hope truly deserves this name. 
The outcome of the ongoing battle was already gradually getting obvious. Long Haochen's Light God Domain was already fully compressed, and Li Shengji's Wind God Domain was in an unstable situation, and could crumble at any time now. Li Shengji's true essence of Wind's power was lessening by the second, while the Divine Sword in Long Haochen's hands was only getting more and more imposing. The purplish gold Hao Yue Sword's consumption of Haochen's energy was truly massive. Even his Heart of Eternity's massive regenerating speed was unable to keep up with this consumption. That didn't even account for the previous battle that his spiritual energy had yet to recover from. Li Shengji suddenly let out an upward shrill, as the Wind God domain full of cracks abruptly crumbled. Lifting high the blade in his hand, all the green light was absorbed in its midst. Immediately, the scenery in midair was replaced with a bolt of green lightning, flashing green to reach out in front of Long Haochen. This blade strike came without warning, but its great power surpassed all the previous attacks by far. Only Li Shengji truly knew that this, his incomplete third domain technique, was close to a self-incarnated domain, although it had not quite reached that level yet. All of a sudden, Long Haochen could only defend. He truly deserved to be called a genius, even in such a difficult situation, he still managed to perform divine obstruction. The green light and purplish gold sword tip collided, and for the first time the green side held the advantage. That clear green lightning had countless designs on it, electric light curling all around, and pressured Long Haochen and his divine obstruction into drawing back. The gigantic sword in his hand drew back. Right at this time, a terrifying roar sounded out from Long Haochen's heavy sword. That was an unwilling roar, full of majestic offense. The divine unicorn armor on Long Haochen abruptly turned purplish gold, and then Hao Yue's figure appeared on Long Haochen's back. The outer two bulges on the figure slowly split, revealing two purplish gold heads. Then, the eight large heads abruptly roared to the sky. Long Haochen felt an immense surge of power from his body and heavy sword bursting out, as his divine sword split forward as he shouted. The green lightning finally shattered and was completely engulfed by that purplish gold colored sword. The purplish gold sword ray flashed through the sky, aiming directly at Li Shengji. That previous blow was Li Shengji's last offense. Seeing that purplish gold sword, now several folds stronger than before, aimed at himself, Li Shengji gasped secretly. He unexpectedly did not even attempt to defend, staring at that purplish gold sword striking his own body. That's because he knew that even if he put all his strength into defending, there would still be no way for him to block this strike. BZZ. The purplish gold Hao Yue sword was waved to the sky, with both Long Haochen's arms feeling an intense shaking. The purplish golden sword that looked close to arriving in front of Li Shengji turned and rushed in an oblique arc, reducing the defensive barriers of the Alliance's great stadium into mud and piercing through its defenses completely. Everywhere it passed, everything in its way turned into nothingness, disappearing from sight. With an undulating halo, the purplish gold Hao Yue's sword turned into a streak of purplish gold light that disappeared in Long Haochen's hand, and the divine unicorn armor on him reverted to being the divine unicorn. Star King supported Long Haochen with his body as Long Haochen slumped beside him. Long Haochen's face was as pale as a piece of paper. As Haochen let out a large spit of blood, Star King stopped him from falling. Wind God's descent gradually dispersed, leaving behind Li Zhengji, who was standing there with a sluggish look on his face. Looking at Long Haochen leaning against Star King, he had a complicated look in his eyes. Long Haochen won not only this battle, but also the respect of all the present onwatchers. That last sword strike was deflected to Long Haochen's utmost for the sake of sparing Li Zhengji's life. Otherwise, given the purplish gold Hao Yue's sword's destructive power, Li Zhengji would be dead without a doubt. Although Long Haochen was down, the spectators on the terraces all stood, enthusiastically applauding. Li Zhengji had the look of a dead fish for a whole minute before gradually coming back to his senses, with a mix of disappointment and relaxation on his face he approached Long Haochen slowly and held him up. Long Haochen's physique was dowdy, with the existence of the Heart of Eternity, his spiritual energy was regenerating at all times. Every pulse of the Heart of Eternity helped recover a large amount of spiritual energy. So, although his insides felt like it was all burnt, he still did not collapse. You have won. Li Zhengji nodded to Long Haochen. You are now already qualified to challenge the Demon God Emperor. The future of the Alliance shall be left to you. I believe that you will be able to lead the Alliance to thoroughly change this era of darkness. Saying so, Li Zhengji patted Long Haochen's shoulder before turning around to exit the field. Although this was only the first of the four stages of the competition, losing to Long Haochen finally caused earth-shattering changes to appear in Li Zhengji's attitude. He understood very clearly that, after the end of this stage, bright glimmer of hope's position would go up much higher. Under Star King's support, Long Haochen slowly walked out from the field. Kyer and his other companions were waiting for him there, and the instant Long Haochen was out from the field, Kyer immediately welcomed him, giving him a tight hug. After putting forth so much effort, Long Haochen's plan was finally nearing completion. The first match of the sixth round, Long Haochen had won it. The second match opposed Kyer to the only remaining knight. Given that this holy knight's previous consumption was too large, he finally chose to retire from the competition, so Kyer achieved victory without a fight. Third match of the sixth round, was Wang Yuan Yuan vs Lin Exian. Although Has Drugs Bro was absolutely unwilling, he finally conceded under Wang Yuan Yuan's threatening gaze. 
Now that the matches were all over for the sixth round of individual competition, and Bright Glimmer of Hope had terrifyingly managed to grab the whole top three for themselves. Every winner of the sixth round earned 32 points. So far the ranking for the individual competition was as follows, Bright Glimmer of Hope 256 points, Mage Temple 105 points, Knight Temple 98 points, Spiritual Temple 58 points, Assassin Temple 38 points, Warrior Temple 24 points. However, the competition was not yet over. After the sixth round of the competition was over, Long Haochen, Kyer, and Wang Yuanyuan stood in the middle of the field according to Chen Zidian's instructions. Chapter 715, Terrifying Purplish Gold Hao U.S. Sword, 3. Long Haochen, Kyer, Wang Yuanyuan. Do you three want to keep undergoing the round robin tournament? Chen Zidian asked solemnly. As if everyone had predicted this outcome, the three of them replied simultaneously, keep going on. Two choices were possible at this point. One was to terminate the tournament, while the other was to keep going on. Every winning match would then reward an extra 10 points, for a total of 3 matches. Should someone defeat the other two, that would rank him or her number 1, thus earning yet another 20 points. These extra rounds were still part of the 7th round of the tournament. In other words, the final champion could almost double his 64 total earned points. Long Haochen declared in a clear voice, reporting to referee, Wang Yuan Yuan and I are conceding. Kyer looked at Long Haochen in shock. He was bright glimmer of hope's pattern, so this individual competition's champion should rather be him. Long Haochen smiled to her, at the time of the Demon Hunter selection, you conceded in the competition for my sake, for me to finally hurt you. I am now giving this championship back to you. Moreover in my heart, you are the one I will never be able to defeat. Kyer gave him a warm gaze, idiot, in my eyes, this is all unimportant. But it is important to me. I don't want you to have any memories of feeling wronged. We will have many more challenges to face, where I will be giving my all to protect you. No one objected to Long Haochen and Wang Yuan Yuan's surrenders. This was within the rules, and was something that could only happen in the case of the three top seats being taken by a single temple. But actually, even the strongest knight temple had never achieved that in the past 500 years. Having won these two matches, Kyer earned an extra 20 points and became champion, thus bringing in another 20 points in addition to the 64 total points for the seventh round. That way, another 96 points was added to Bright Glimmer of Hope's point total. And now, after this first stage terminated, Bright Glimmer of Hope had an astonishing 352 total points. Thus the first out of the four stages of the temple's great gathering, the individual stage, came to an end. The final winner was the Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope. At that very moment, the powerhouses from the six great temples were all unconsciously standing up, clapping for Bright Glimmer of Hope. Even the legendary figures Chen Zidian and Yang Haoyu did so. The initially mysterious Demon Hunt Squad became the eventual champions. Perhaps luck was a part of the process, but they had mostly relied on their own strengths. Just look at these youngsters. They were all below 30 years old, with the youngest of them around 25. But such a demon hunt squad was already standing at the peak of humankind. Hope was emanating continuously from them. Nightfall After returning from the celebrations that took place in the Alliance's headquarters, bright glimmer of Hope's members returned to cultivate in their own rooms. After all, the temple's great gathering had just gotten started, and although they were holding a large lead already, the rest of the competition also had its shares of opportunities. The temple's great gathering went at a very fast pace. The next day came the contest for the highest spiritual energy. The highest three in this aspect were undoubtedly their three gods' chosen ones, Long Haochen, Kyer, and Chen Inger. But they did not hold much of an advantage in total spiritual energy, after all, their age was an important factor to take into account. According to the rules, every year of age below a hundred years old was to be accounted for a thousand spiritual energy, and every year of age above that was to subtract a thousand spiritual energy. The three of them had their spiritual energy totals above two hundred thousand, since they were all domain wielders. Thus, although their spiritual energy totals did not really stand out in the scale of the alliance, they still held a good competitiveness. As the others went back to cultivate in their own chambers, Lin Xian entered a room on his own, stealthily making his way into the Mage Temple side. Naturally the Mage Temple's guards recognized him, in his identity as the grandson of an auxiliary head, in addition to his originally high position in the temple, of course no one stopped him. On the highest floor of the Mage Temple's inner quarters, Lin Xian stopped in front of a certain room, knocking on the door after hesitating for a bit. Come in. Lin Chen's aged voice came out from the room. Lin Xian pulled the door open and entered. Lin Chen's office was very large, covering an area close to 200 square meters. There were leather sofas for guests, bookcases lined two walls, and to the side, a huge ancient wooden desk. Lin Chen was seated behind his desk, a book on magic in his hands. Grandpa. Lin Xian bowed to Lin Chen before joining his side. Lin Chen closed the book in his hands, lifting his head to glance at his grandson, you shouldn't have come. Your bright glimmer of hope having achieved such results, your return to our mage temple would very likely cause complaints. Your comrades wouldn't be happy over that. Lin Xian chuckled, let them complain, so what? As for my comrades, they won't suspect me. I am honorably visiting my grandfather. So what about that? 
Lin Chen laughed, you brat, stop giving me this bullshit. You still remember about your grandfather? Tell me, what have you come to me for? Li Exxon let out a laugh, but did not immediately speak, still having some hesitation on his face. So? You're not like yourself, if you have something to say, say it. Hearing his grandfather's manner of speech, as if building his resolve, Lin Exxon firmly declared, Grandpa, I want to learn Saint Sun curse from you. What? Lin Chen was in great shock, standing abruptly, unaware his chair falling down to the ground. Giving a blank look to his grandson, Lin Chen's aged face seemed to twitch due to excitement, you. Are you for real? Lin Exxon nodded vigorously, Grandpa, I want to learn Saint Sun curse from you. Although it caused the loss of father and mother back then, the spell itself is not to be blamed. More importantly, I need this power. As my comrades are getting stronger and stronger, I also need strength in my own training as well, so that I don't drop behind and can follow them in the conflict against demon kind. So please, pass Saint Sun curse on to me. I will be certain to carry forward this secret technique, and research it as the base of my own domain. Lin Chen looked at Lin Exxon, remaining silent for several seconds. On this day of great discouragement, he absolutely didn't expect his grandson to actually bring him such a pleasant surprise. Although Lin Chen had broken through the ninth step already, his heart was like dead due to Lin Exxon's disappearance. These five short years felt as long as ten years to him. Lin Exxon's final safe return was like a spark of life pouring back into him. He no longer had any hope other than for his grandson to come back alive. And in the rest of the temple's great gathering, Lin Exxon gave him even greater surprises. On this day after only a few short years, Lin Exxon's cultivation had actually already broken through the ninth step, and was already no inferior to his own. The Heart of Fire was really far stronger than before, and he had actually even made it to the top six of the competition. Such achievements reassured Lin Chen greatly, he may be taking part as a part of Bright Glimmer of Hope, but so what about it? In Lin Chen's eyes, Lin Exxon had already been walking on a path of his own. His grandson being already so powerful, he had no will to importune Lin Exxon, after all Saint Sun Curse had been an immense burden in Lin Exxon's heart. For him to now be willing to learn offensive magic was already huge progress. At that very moment, Lin Exxon was standing in front of him, unexpectedly asking him about learning Saint Sun Curse to inherit a generation of Lin Chen's efforts. How could that not excite him greatly? No, that was already beyond the description of the word excitement. This grandfather was simply on the verge of collapse from bliss. Lin Exxon supported his dazed grandfather's body, giving off a laugh, don't get excited. If something bad happens to you, who will be there to teach me Saint Sun Curse? Just look, I will definitely make your creation a mass destruction weapon in the future, to scare all demon kind witless as the dark era will come to an end. Grandpa, please live well until that day comes. Lin Chen's body shook slightly as he nodded consecutively, all right, all right. I will be sure to wait for this day, for sure. Come, I am bringing you to the experimental field to teach you Saint Sun Curse. Although it was already nighttime, Lin Chen's excitement had affected him a bit too, as the grandson was also pulled outwards. Lin Exxon was not part of tomorrow's competition, so he naturally had no qualms staying up all night. Grandfather and grandson excitedly left the room and proceeded for the magic experiment room. A short time after they were gone, another nearby door opened close to Lin Chen's office. Li Zhengji came out from within, looking towards their departure route, appearing in great ponder. Who knew what he was thinking? The temple's great gathering's individual competition was over, but the masses in Holy City were not the least relaxed, but instead even more excited. The competition kept going, and today the priest temple was also part of the festivities. The total ranking was bound to change accordingly, after the priest temple underwent their first round of spiritual energy assessment, it brought them a final total of 60 points, a result close to all the previous sessions. Today, every temple would send their strongest three people for spiritual energy assessment. A huge crystal pillar was erected on the center of the field on the previous evening, specialized for spiritual energy measuring. Right now, the six great temples had all already dispatched three of their people, and Bright Glimmer of Hope was no exception. Chapter 716, Victory by a Large Margin, I. Because of the previous individual competition, the spiritual energy levels were understood to some extent from the mutual encounters. So this spiritual energy stage did not hold too much suspense. As the champions of the individual competition, Bright Glimmer of Hope's Demon Hunt squad would be the last one to appear. This was one of the benefits they had gained. Like the individual competition, the spiritual energy contest did not allow the use of any equipment or boosting pills, everyone was to rely on their individual strength. A total of 21 individuals already formed a circle around the crystal pillar. As the chief referee, Chen Zidian was standing the closest to the crystal pillar's side. Everyone would need to go through his inspection first, so cheating was completely impossible as long as the one on watch was him. Chen Zidian indicated to the warrior temple's head Xiao Yonghao, based on the ranking of the first round, the spiritual energy measuring will be taking place in the reverse order of the first competition's ranking. The warrior temple shall go first. Xiao Yonghao nodded and stepped forward to get measured alongside two powerhouses of the warrior temple. In terms of overall strength, the warrior temple was the weakest of the six temples. But they had the greatest population amongst the six great temple, after all, the standards for becoming a warrior were pretty low. 
Xiao Yonghao was the first to step forward, lifting his right hand and placing it on the crystal pillar. Immediately, the transparent crystal changed into another color. A red color rose from the bottom of the crystal pillar, slowly going up to reach a height of about 33 meters, at around a tenth of the pillar. Then it turned orange in color, and kept rising up to gain another 33 meters and turned yellow. The colors within the crystal pillar started to slow down as they ascended, and Xiao Yonghao's look became extremely heavy, his forehead dripping with sweat. From the distinction of colors, red corresponded to a hundred thousand spiritual energy, orange to another hundred thousand spiritual energy. The fact that he had reached the yellow area signified that Xiao Yonghao's spiritual energy had already surpassed two hundred thousand. His age having already crossed a hundred years old, he could only rely on his own strength for this trial. Finally, the color within the crystal pillar stopped rising after a bit over a half of the yellow area, then Xiao Yonghao's bar stopped going up. Letting out a light sigh, Xiao Yonghao finally relaxed as an immense golden number arose, floating atop the crystal pillar. 271,364. This was Xiao Yonghao's total spiritual energy. The other two powerhouses of the warrior temple came next. Their cultivation levels were still quite a bit behind Xiao Yonghao, and they were not yet domain-wielding powerhouses. The two of them were about the 200,000 mark. Finally, with the addition of the age bonuses, the warrior temple reached a total of 694,160 points. These results were a bit underwhelming. After the warrior temple came the assassin temple. Their situation being a bit better off, their spiritual energy totals reached 783,200, which could be considered not bad. The spiritual temple having obtained a total of 58 points was a bit below the 60 or so of the priest temple, making them the third party to go. Thanks to the strong display of their head Chen Hongyu, they had a final spiritual energy total reaching 832,241, far above the previous two temples. The priest temple was truly a bit lucky in their first stage of the trials, and did not hold much of a dominance in this second stage. In the end, their spiritual energy total barely reached above 800,000, but was quite below the spiritual temple. So far, four temples' rankings were settled. Now only the mage temple, knight temple, and demon hunt squad bright glimmer of hope had yet to go. All knew that the true chance of achieving victory had come. No one was optimistic about bright glimmer of hope in the spiritual energy count rankings. Although they had the advantage of their age, there was no way their total strength would add up to 900,000 or more, so the only question left was who of the mage temple or the knight temple would be placed above the other. The mage temple had Li Shengji, Mo Wa, and that mage with the greatest defense who controlled an earth elemental domain. The darkness mage, Mo Wu, and the earth mage were both close to 300,000. Add to this that they were below 100 years old of age, and they gained some bonuses, the mage temple already reached close to 610,000 after the two of them passed. Li Shengji was the last one to set out. Within the crystal pillar rose several colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, and it finally entered a blue area. Although a lot of people had guesses about Li Zhengji's cultivation level, they still could not help but cry out in alarm. This meant that his internal spiritual energy was already above 400,000. Finally, the pillar stopped in the blue area. Li Zhengji's spiritual energy was over 420,000, and adding to that the scores of the other two mages, the mage temple had surpassed a million, reaching 1,007,423. Could the knight temple surpass the mage temple? The Knight Temple very rapidly gave them a strong response. The Knight Temple's three did not include the Divine Knight, Long Tianyu, but were under Yang Haoyu's lead, with that ultimate shield of the Knight Temple, and the one who made it to the top six. As the three knights stood, Li Zhengji's complexion immediately became a far more unsightly sight to behold. The ultimate shield was the first to go up, his spiritual energy set just above 320,600. The Knight who made it to the top six was the second one to go, his spiritual energy fixed beyond 332,800. Finally came Yang Haoyu's turn. He calmly approached the crystal pillar, lifting his right hand to touch it lightly. A shocking scene surfaced. The pillar's colors surged out at once, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, then finally entered a turquoise area. Number one of the Temple Alliance. That was absolutely not just a simple name. Yang Haoyu protected the Knight Temple's honor with his strength, his internal spiritual energy reaching past 568,000 to exceed Li Zhengji's 420,000 by a large margin. In the end, the Knight Temple surpassed the Mage Temple's total points by 120,000. After this stage, the two temples' rankings was bound to change. Bright Glimmer of Hope was the last one to go. Chen Inger whose internal spiritual energy reached 170,000 was the first one to go. Kyer, whose internal spiritual energy reached 190,000 was the next one to go. At this point, a lot of people were secretly sighing inwardly. This Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope was, after all, still young. They truly couldn't establish any dominance in this spiritual energy contest. Finally came Long Haochen's turn. He was the only bright spot bright glimmer of hope had, thanks to the heart of eternity. His internal spiritual energy broke through 300,000, before finishing above 310,000. Thanks to these few days' matches and comprehensions, Long Haochen's cultivation had progressed to some extent. If the heart of eternity's extra 90,000 was not counted, his internal spiritual energy would be reaching about 220,000. 
In the end, the results of the three totaled over 570,000. This time, the superiority of the age bonus became the spotlight. Long Haochen was 25 years old, Kyer 24 and Chen Ninger 28. This added over 233,000 to their spiritual energy total. This gave them a final amount of over 800,000. Funnily enough, maybe due to an affinity with the God of Luck, although their total of spiritual energy was below the spiritual temple, it still surpassed the priest temple, and by just 13 points no less. Finally, the Knight Temple was the uncontroversial number one in the contest of the highest spiritual energy, followed by the Mage Temple, the Spiritual Temple, Bright Glimmer of Hope, the Priest Temple, Assassin Temple, and Warrior Temple. After this stage terminated, a variation happened to the rankings. On the basis of the rules, the number 1 gained 200 points, the number 2 gained 150, the number 3 gained 120, the number 4 gained 90, the number 5 gained 60, and the last one had none. Because of the addition of Bright Glimmer of Hope, the 6 sides became 7, and thus the number 6 would gain 30 points, and the last one none. So, the ranking was as follows, Bright Glimmer of Hope 442, Knight Temple 280, Mage Temple 255, Spiritual Temple 178, Priest Temple 120, Assassin Temple 64. Although Bright Glimmer of Hope was only number 4 of this stage, because of their overwhelming advantage from the first stage, they still had a large lead. While the Knight Temple overtook the Mage Temple, the Warrior Temple remained the most miserable. Although the previous two rounds of competition were quite frantic, the true rankings would only be determined on tomorrow's meeting. That's because the third round of competition, Domain Contest, was the most valuable one in terms of points. Based on the rules, the number one would earn over 500 points. And furthermore, now that this was not a six-sided contest due to the addition of the seventh party Bright Glimmer of Hope, those numbers would very possibly end up higher to some extent. These matches would very possibly include some turns of events, after all, Long Haochen's group only had approximately a 150% advantage compared to the Knight Temple. So at the end of today's competition, Long Haochen's hurriedly brought his comrades back to the Alliance's headquarters. Lin Xian hasn't returned yet? Long Haochen asked Sima Xian. Sima Xian shook his head, not yet. He told me last evening that he would look for his grandfather to study magic, and has not given any news since then. Long Haochen nodded lightly, faintly able to guess what Lin Xian was wanting to study. Because there was no need for him in the second and third stages, Lin Xian's absence had no influence on the flow of the competition. Captain, let me go up tomorrow. Wang Yuan Yuan proposed determinately. Chen Inger immediately asked anxiously, Yuan Yuan, you can't be planning to fight over it with me. This third stage permits the use of equipment, so with my spiritual saint robe, I will definitely not suffer a loss. In the third domain competition, each party was to send three people, all of whom must be domain-wielding powerhouses. Bright Glimmer of Hope had four of these, amongst whom Long Haochen and Kyer would certainly be sent. So, the third seat was naturally to be picked amongst Wang Yuan Yuan and Chen Inger. Chapter 717, Lead by a Large Margin, 2 These two girls ordinarily got along extremely well, but they couldn't help but have a dispute right now. Long Haochen laughed and remarked, don't argue. Let me make an analysis, this way you should both agree on who we should send. The first and second stages of the competition were both for evaluating individual strength. And that's just one's pure strength, without accounting for any equipment. That was the pure strength evaluation of the temple's great gathering. The later stages are for evaluating strength as a whole. So equipment are allowed in the last two stages, which thus reflects the level of the six great temple's resources as well. The greatest contenders are still the mage temple and knight temple. In the third domain battle, we have only one goal, and that is to become the final champions. Huh. Because of Long Haochen's declaration, everyone had queer feelings, because they were actually not so confident in their own strength. A domain stems from one strength, so even if they had a few divine tools at their disposal, what assurance could they have in front of the six great temples countless years of accumulated resources? Long Haochen continued, the final stage is a team battle tournament. Although we are mostly pretty okay in terms of equipment, that is not the case for everyone. In particular, Wen Zhao, Duan Yi, and Brother Zhang's equipment are rather lacking. So we should rely on the synergies between all our vocations in the team battle, although I don't have an absolute confidence in being able to achieve victory. But, the domain battle is the most richly rewarded one. We should not give up on this one. The domain battle is a pure contest of domains, as well as a display of matching domains. The first requirement is that the confronting domains are not allowed to clash with each other, but should complement each other. Relatively speaking, my light attribute and Kyer domain of purification are pretty synergistic. But Yuan Yuan's blood domain and Kyer's domain of purification conflict to some extent. Although Inger's beast god domain cannot produce synergistic combinations with ours, at least it won't conflict. Adding to that the saint's spiritual robes boost, she's the most suitable to join us in battle. After Long Haochen's explanation, Wang Yuan Yuan was immediately disappointed, while Chen Inger smiled at her. Han Yu said, boss, since tomorrow's domain battle is so important, shouldn't we train for it? Long Haochen shook his head, there's no need. Don't worry, I am really confident. As for where this confidence stems from, let me keep the suspense for now. You will come to understand tomorrow. Reaching this point, he revealed a mysterious smile. It was not that he did not want to disclose it, but if this secret were to leak, some changes would surely appear in his comrades' expressions. 
Although that method could not be called cheating, not letting it be known by too many was the best. The next morning, when they proceeded for the Alliance's great stadium, Lin Xian still had yet to be back. Long Haochun did not send another to look for him. Although Lin Xian had an emotional disposition, he was still reliable. He believed that he would definitely be back for the team competition tomorrow. After a few days of reparation, all the magic projectors in the Alliance's great stadium were back to its best state. The distance between the Alliance's headquarters and the Alliance's great stadium was close. Going through a passage in the warrior's entrance, the powerhouses from the six great temples and bright glimmer of hope proceeded towards the stadium. The area outside the walls had long since filled with people. At the sight of Long Haochun's group, cheers immediately came from them. Bright glimmer of hope, bright glimmer of hope. The masses were not in chaos, although there were many, their shouts were uniform, and the fanatical looks on their faces and their cheers were more enthusiastic than any competing powerhouses. These days, the Night Temple intentionally propagated the news of the accomplishments of the Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope to the whole holy city as well as every city and village in the Temple Alliance. Their records of killing demon gods, their interventions in the Holy War, and more importantly, that they were the first Demon Hunt Squad to have destroyed Demon God Pillars. Two Demon God Pillars had already been destroyed, smashed in their hands. Even the humans that were the least informed on demons knew that the 72 Demon God Pillars were their root. The Dark Era had already been ongoing for over 6,000 years, all the while a Demon God Pillar had never gotten destroyed. What meant the news that Bright Glimmer of Hope had destroyed two of them? It meant hope. Feeling the cheers of the masses, every member constituting Bright Glimmer of Hope were full of fervor. For the sake of the Alliance, for the sake of leading all humankind on the way out of darkness, they must fight courageously, and make themselves even more powerful. After treading into the Alliance's great stadium, Long Haochun nodded to the others before making his way alongside Kyer and Chen Inger. They arrived pretty early. Inside the field, the only ones present were those from the spiritual temple and priest temple. The other temples had yet to arrive. The spiritual temple and priest temple's team leaders were Chen Hongyu and Elder Ling Long Haochun nodded to the two before greeting them. Elder Ling returned a smile, and Chen Hongyu gave off a snort. He was visibly still unhappy about losing to Long Haochun. Chen Hongyu remarked unhappily, Grandpa, what are you snorting for don't tell me you cannot bear a loss at this age. Chen Hongyu glared at her, truly a girl of age. You girl, not making a contribution for our spiritual temple is one thing, but now you're helping outsiders in beating your grandpa? Chen Inger gave off a smile, before running off to Chen Hongyu's side and coquettishly grabbing his hand, as well as pulling his beard a bit occasionally. Due to this Chen Hongyu did not know whether to laugh or to cry, his face easing up, as he spoke a few sentences in Chen Inger's ears. Chen Inger remarked proudly, I knew it, you have a sharp mouth but a soft heart. You have clearly good intentions, but won't express them properly. I knew that grandpa treats me the best. Chen Hongyu severely said, this is not being good to you, but thinking about our spiritual temple's future. You girl, are the same as before. You're already grown up, so remember your duties. Yes. Chen Inger stood straight and made her salutations. But when she turned off to run back to Long Haochun's side, her laughing playful face betrayed her true thoughts. Anyway, from her childhood to now she had never really feared Chen Hongyu. Chen Hongyu shook his head with a helpless feeling. No matter what, the decision that was already made could not be changed anymore. From the looks of it, this dear granddaughter of mine won't ever gain the lead of bright glimmer of hope. A short time later, the competitors from the other temples were there as well. The participating individuals were slightly different from yesterday, but the difference was not big, and the terrain did not change much either. That long crystal pillar from yesterday was not there anymore, replaced by a huge crystal ball. This crystal ball was 5 meters long in diameter. Placed in the middle of the field, it appeared colossal. On its pedestal seemed to be sculptures made of precious stones. The crystal ball itself was light blue, and emitted faint waves of spiritual energy from within. Long Haochun was informed ahead of time by his grandfather that this crystal ball was called Saint Bede, a divine tool beyond divine tools. Made from a special crystal, it could bear a massive input of spiritual energy. After getting remodeled with magic formations, its insides became extremely stable, revealing its ability of elemental assimilation. Simply said, this Saint Bede was a divine tool incarnating elemental obliterating halo. It had an ability similar to elemental obliterating halo released on its surface, and even the demon god emperor wouldn't manage to breach through it. But its enormous tolerance to spiritual energy caused a rather weak physical resistance. The Saint Bede had practical uses, with sufficient control, one could use it in battle for its power of swallowing forbidden spells. The heads of the Alliance were the ones in control of it throughout history, but, due to the internal strife between the six great temples, although the Saint Bede had an important efficacy, because of its emblematic value, it was not permitted to bring it out in the Holy War. It could only serve as a final means of defense for Holy City. Long Haochun's mental force being overwhelming, when standing beside the Saint Bede, he silently sensed the changes in it. Very rapidly, his face now had a look of shock. That's because he could not sense any emanation of spiritual energy from the Bede. But when his senses made way, it would get swallowed by this Saint Bede. In other words, it could swallow not only spiritual energy, but even mental force as well. When Long Haochun's rich and powerful mental force made way inside, with the feeling of entering a vast sea dot. 
When used appropriately, this Saint Bede was bound to be exceptionally effective against unexpecting enemies. For instance when Long Houchen was caught by the Demon God of Deep Vision's Deep Vision Godly Pool, this Saint Bede could have cancelled it, and even inflicted serious damage to the Demon God of Deep Vision. While Long Houchen was in the midst of pondering over the Saint Bede, the chief referee Chen Zidian made his way. Glancing at the 21 people around the Saint Bede, he nodded, Are you all ready? Long Houchen came back to his senses, and replied alongside the others, Ready. Chen Zidian declared, Then start. His right hand giving a pat to the saint bead, a soft light essence was poured within, instantly turning it into a light gold color, slowly arising from its base. Long Houchen then realized that that pedestal was actually not for amplifying the saint bead, but for limiting it. When the saint bead ascended, a terrifying engulfing force rose from within it. Long Houchen finally understood right now why the saint bead was used in the domain battle. That's because if one was to not utilize a domain, the spiritual energy into one's body would get swallowed by this saint bead. This was the first time he encountered such a situation. From the looks, the Saint Bede was really even more terrifying than any other divine tool he had ever encountered before. Chapter 718, Large Margin Victory, 3 Tyrannical waves of spiritual energy circulated through the air as Long Houchen strode forward, forming a triangle with Kyer, Chen Inger, and himself. In the meantime, a drizzling brilliance came out from his body, shrouding the three of them. Both hands reaching out in front of him, the Light God Domain's golden light was immediately poured inside the Saint Bede. A mysterious phenomenon arose then. When his domain came into contact with the Saint Bede, the swallowing force on it immediately weakened significantly. The Saint Bede was then turned into a golden color. The powerhouses from the six great temples all poured their own domains into the Saint Bede, and immediately, under the powerful domain's urges, it released brilliant color, illuminated brightly. However, Long Houchen very rapidly had a feeling of pressure. This pressure stemmed from the Saint Bede, which released a powerful absorption force. The only benefit was that while his domain power was poured into the Saint Bede, Long Houchen's mental force traveled through it besides. This way, he had a way out, in other words, should he be unable to bear this swallowing force any longer, he could at any time control his own domain to break away from the Saint Bede. But, doing so would mean his elimination from the domain battle. Long Tianying had told once him that in case his domain should break away, he would suffer the impact force of the other domains within the Saint Bede, and directly leave the area of the Saint Bede, stop from coming back. The pressure the Saint Bede inflicted on Long Houchen was not so remarkable. His Light God domain reached an extremely high level and had a very potent automatic control. So although the Saint Bede's pressure was present, it only caused a consumption of his spiritual energy and no more. An even greater pressure was going towards the other powerhouses of the six great temples. Inside the Saint Bede was a great expanse of chaotic space. After the domains entered inside, they could only be controlled to evacuate or stay, and couldn't attack or defend while inside. So, 21 domains were in the midst of struggling with each other inside the Bede. At this time, coordination was visibly very important. The three domains from each side had to enter together with no distinction, and when making their way inside, remain connected. While inside, this connection would remain for the entire duration. Kyer and Chen Inger were powering their own domains. Kyer's domain of purification was almost instantly mixed with Long Houchen's Light God domain, and Chen Inger's Beast God domain surrounded theirs. The spiritual Saint Robe's great power manifested with no doubts. Right now, the domain resulting from the unity of the three inside the Saint Bede looked like a monster, filled inside with holy and purifying power, and myriad beasts surrounding them outside. No matter which other temple's domain would attack, it would immediately be repelled and sustain quite a powerful shock. Don't forget that right now, Long Houchen's group had full access to their equipment. Kaya used naturally the sickle of the God of Death, and her domain of purification's destructive power gained a several folds power boost. Chen Inger Saint's spiritual robe supplied her with a close to limitless spiritual energy. In battle endurance, even Long Houchen and his heart of eternity would not be a match against her. As for Long Houchen, he was fully equipped, with the Golden Foundation armor on him, and the Divine Unicorn behind. If not for consideration of his excessively tyrannical power, for fear that it would affect the fusion of their three domains, he would even have called out Haoyue. The greatest boost Long Houchen had did not come from the Divine Unicorn or Golden Foundation armor, but from the Divine Snail Shield of Sun and Moon in his right hand. A soft multicolored radiance was exuded from the Divine Snail Shield of Sun and Moon, boosting all the aspects of his Light God domain. The holy spiritual energy of the Divine Snail Shield was just as pure as Long Houchen's, and furthermore it had an extreme defensive power. Under its boosting effects, Long Houchen's group of three's domain fusion became incomparably stable. Three divine tools for three individuals was an extremely rare display, even for the six great temples. The most important in the domain battle was not one's attack but one's defense. The holy bead being a space of chaos, no one could control attacks. All they could do would be to strengthen their defenses to the greatest extent, to possibly last for the longest time possible inside the saint bead, thus obtaining an even better ranking. With equipment authorized, the six great temples trump cards came to view. The knight temple's participation in this battle was impressively led by Long Tianying, with Yang Haoyu at his side, as well as the supreme shield knight. Long Tianying's divine throne was a divine tool obviously, Ang Haoyu had his starry sky mythological beast's assistance, which reached the divine tool grade as well. The supreme shield knight also had a huge shield in his hand, 3 meters long and 2 meters wide, a terrible pagoda shield emitting a dark golden gloss. A multicolored halation flickered in the midst of that dark gold. 
A Divine Tool Ranked Shield This was the first time Long Chen saw another Divine Tool Ranked Shield than his own Divine Snail Shield. Now, the three knights all had a divine tool of their own in this domain battle, and furthermore, a divine throne being such a famous object in the Temple Alliance, was not only a divine tool, but moreover a special set. Right now, the most domineering domain in the Saint Bede was these three knights. The spiritual energy they totaled was over a million, they had three divine tools, and the strongest Yang Haoyu in their ranks. The addition of these elements put the three knights to an invincible position. Compared to the union of their domains, the other side's domains were clearly no match. Only second to the Knight Temple was the Mage Temple. Three mages waving a staff in each of their hands, with Li Zhengxi's green staff releasing a multicolored gloss as well, the sign of a divine tool. Meanwhile, the same applied to his green magic robe, which was to say that he had at least two divine tools on his person alone. But his two helpers had no divine tool, both were clad in sets of epic tier equipment, which still provided a pretty good boost. The three mages and knights had their different strength. After their domains entered the saint bead, they did not hold any advantage, but kept chanting from beginning to end. Thanks to Long Houchen's mental force's considerable level, while controlling his side's domain, he also probed on the changes of the other united domains, finding out that as the three mages kept chanting, the mage temple's side's domain was swiftly integrating, becoming more and more integral, and showing traces of rising to a higher level. What a great mage temple! They were making use of magic's features to make their three domains into a domain of a kind of chaotic magic. No wonder Li Zhengji was so fearless, they really had made their preparations ahead of time. The other temples all had their own features, but were somewhat lacking compared to the mage temple and the knight temple. The most miserable was the warrior temple. From the looks of it, the warrior temple still had a good foundation. Under Chiu Yonghao's lead, these three participating warriors had not even a single piece of epic tier equipment, all were clad in legendary tier equipment. This was clearly pitiable, as, in fact, they were representatives of the warrior temple's strength. So the warrior temple's side was clearly the weakest out of the seven domain unions. But because of the sharpness of Chiu Yonghao's sword in tenth domain, they could still persist for some time. Long Houchen was not the least bit worried, having a calm smile on his face, exercising control over the relinquished territory of their side's domain. Because Chen Inger's beast god domain was the outermost, her spiritual energy consumption was much higher than Long Houchen and Kyer, but thanks to the overwhelming spiritual saint robe, this was no issue for the time being. In the meantime, having Chen Inger's protection made Long Houchen and Kyer's spiritual energy consumption the lowest possible. Chen Hongyu and his two comrades felt tinges of helplessness as they deployed their own domains, occasionally looking at Chen Inger in great pain. If this girl clad in the spiritual saint robe was on their side, Chen Hongyu would have felt absolutely confident in being able to contend against the knight temple and mage temple. His mythological beast's domain could easily meld with the other two great summoners' domain in one. If Chen Inger's beast god domain and saint's spiritual robe were added to the lot, he could even utilize the mythologic beast array inside the saint bead, matching the knight temple and mage temple sides. As time passed, the diverse temple's trumps were released, and an hour had already gone by in the blink of an eye. They were all struggling in their own ways, but on the surface, no side was close to being unable to endure anymore. Chen Zidian stood calmly, observing the domain's contest. This Saint Bead was truly miraculous, even someone so strong as him would not dare attempt to pour his own domain inside, especially with the 21 domains currently within. However, his powerful mental force enabled him to probe at the conflict between the seven parties within. Another hour passed, and noon was drawing closer. This time, some changes in the situation were visible. The most inferior party would always be the most conspicuous and this time was no exception. Right now, the three powerhouses from the Warrior Temple were all dripping with sweat. Their domain unions inside the Saint Bede were shaking violently at each collision. Clearly they would not be able to keep up for much longer. No one dared force things in this domain battle. The reason was simple, if some accident occurs, the domain will shatter within the Saint Bede, resulting in great damage to one's strength. Chapter 719, Long Houchen's Chance Encounter, I. When two hours had passed, Chiu Yonghao finally let out a deep sigh, retiring alongside his two mates. A powerful surge of power was expelled from the Saint Bede, pushing them to the edge of the stadium. The warrior temple situation was now irreversible. So far, they had fewer than 30 points in total. Xiao Yonghao's unsightly complexion reached almost the point of bleeding. He did not keep watching, turning around to leave the stadium, heading back to sulk in his terrace. With one less competitor, the clashes inside the Saint Bede not only did not reduce, but instead became even more frantic. In particular, after the mage temple's domain gradually united, its power expanded more and more, with the fusion of wind, darkness, and earth. Their domain was like magic, and the overlaid boosts on it looked no weaker than the Night Temple. It was because of their increasingly domineering performance that the Warrior Temple was forced to back down. The Assassin and Spiritual Temple were approaching a crisis, shaking violently on every one of their clashes with the Night Temple or Mage Temple's domain, sustaining heavy shaking. Bright Glimmer of Hope's side was better off. The three of them kept their domain stabilized, contributing under Long Houchen's guidance to their own part. Although Chen Inger had a large consumption, their situation was rather good still. After the warrior temple fell down, the priest temple became the most endangered side. 
They were neither expert in attacking nor defending, and although the three great domain-wielding powerhouses under Elder Ling's lead were coordinating pretty well, they were unable to come up with effective countermeasures to the repeated clashes, and thus naturally had their consumptions going faster than the other temples. Right now, the three priests had very unsightly looks on their faces, looking about to possibly retire from the competition at any time now. Now that it was midday, Long Haochen who had been staying calm so far along suddenly lifted his head slowly, with his eyes flashing with an especially clear brilliance. The instant his head was lifted, his momentum first affected Yang Haoyu and Li Shengji, whose cultivations were the highest out of everyone present, and were the ones following Long Haochen with the most attention. Catching sight of Haochen's glistening eyes, Yang Haoyu felt a chill. They both understood that something was going to happen. Just as expected, Long Haochen's next action shocked all the domain-wielding powerhouses present, even including Chen Zidian who almost lost his voice in alarm. A drizzling brilliance flared out from the chaotic domain of Long Haochen's group of three. This golden light was characteristic of Long Haochen's light god domain, and it had a congealed white color on its outer part. Is he going mad? In the seven parties' domain clashes, each parties were to stabilize their domain's union, strongly defending their positions, while doing their utmost to avoid excessive consumption. But right now, Long Haochen was unexpectedly spreading out his domain within the Saint Bead. Although it looked as though his domain was integrating Kyer's domain well, even this way his unleashed domain would become a public target of all the temple's attacks, it would very possibly lead next to their elimination. But a scene that shocked everyone present followed. After the five great temples' union domains clashed with this golden white radiance, they were expelled. This radiance contained very special fluctuations of spiritual energy. That seemed to be a paramount existence, in front of which the colliding domain felt as if encountering a totally red-hot piece of metal in the midst of melting. So the powerhouses from the other five temples had no other choice but to contract their domains, so as to avoid further collision. Were they using magic fusion? Li Zhengji was astonished, he did not expect the fusion of Long Haochen and Kyer's domain to actually show such a powerful might. But, in reality, the domain's influence was mainly exerted from Long Haochen and Kyer's domain union. Only Bright Glimmer of Hope knew about the associated level of amplification. Long Haochen and Kyer's domains were already at a very high level, the Light God domain's incomparable purity could be called number one of the whole continent with no hesitation, whilst Kyer's domain of purification had the power of purifying all negative things, especially the powers of darkness and death. When the purest Light God domain encountered the most purifying domain of purification, a mystic change was produced. Its light received a reaction of fondness from the purifying energy, just like the love between Long Haochen and Kyer, devoid of any estrangement. After the two parties' mutual integration, it became a domain of divine light of purification, boosting the purifying force with light's amplification to make it reach an astonishing level. This instant, it actually managed to suppress the attacks of all five other united domains. Of course, in this state of union, Long Haochen and Kyer's consumption went up several fold, and increased the stronger the other domains' attacks were. After a short time of shock, Li Zhengji couldn't help but purse his eyebrows. Despite the short time he had dealings with Long Haochen, he had a good understanding of his character. To his knowledge, despite his young age, he showed a far steadier character than his contemporaries, and wouldn't make any move without a name. His sudden expansion of the domain surely had some basis. But, what could he be planning? Such a large expansion was an easy thing to accomplish, but hard to undo. Even they shouldn't find it easy to withdraw it after such an expansion. Very rapidly, a reply came from him. After shaking the other domains, the Light God Purification Domain's purifying white suddenly disappeared. In other words, only Long Haochen's Light God Domain remained. So this way, in the next encounter he would have to resist over ten other powerhouses' domains on his own. But a shocking scene took place this instant. Those golden light rays suddenly retracted, and Long Haochen suddenly exerted a forceful control of his Light God Domain. The others were unable to exert control within the Saint Bead, but he managed it. His Light God Domain was compressed like a golden rope, and lightly connected with the Priest Temple's United Domain which looked like it could quit at any time now. The instant the two domains made contact, the Priest Temple's three powerhouses had looks of unbelief. Immediately, the three domains were unable to keep control, and joined the side of Long Haochen's three. These three priests' domain union was compressed in a flash, blending within Long Haochen's Light God Domain. This. The emergence of this scene left the three powerful knights of the Night Temple full of disbelief. Who could have thought that Long Haochen would make such a shocking move to forcefully integrate the Priest Temple's three powerhouses' domain within his own? This way, his domain incorporated six domain strength. Don't think the Knight Temple and Mage Temple are invincible because of their powerful displays. They were in the end only three people. Long Haochen's side had integrated the three priests' domains, thus causing a sharp increase of its power, completely surpassing the Knight Temple and Mage Temple's two sides. The three priests immediately understood the situation after a short period of shock. Furthermore, while under the Light God domain's wrapping, their domain benefited from a mutual integration of higher perfection. And after the three priests got a clear feel of their domain within the Light God domain, they felt it become more and more pure. This gave them a wide joy. They realized this time the extent of the Long Haochen's domain. Perhaps his cultivation was still lacking, but his domain's grade was perhaps unmatched within the whole alliance. The three priests very rapidly steadied their feelings, and Elderling even had a thin smile on his face. He vaguely guessed that Long Haochen was exchanging gifts. 
The favor of letting them have the qualifications to enter the illusory shrine of back then, this youngster was now repaying it. Amidst the temple's great gathering, even after so many rounds, there had yet to be such a situation where two temples' united domains joined together. Not due to unwillingness, but lack of capability. Long Haochen's conduct looked simple, but actually, this was something even the number one powerhouse of the alliance, Yang Haoyu, was not able to reproduce. Controlling one's domain within the Saint Bede was just far, far too hard. The factors of Long Haochen's success were, for one, the assistance of Kai'er's domain of purification, but also because of his domain's high grade, and his own high mental force. But even so, he had to first deploy the domain to a high enough scale, before retracting it back. A great trick was used up in the midst of the later process, when compressing it back, he had to create a connection with the priest temple side, to compress theirs as well. Relatively speaking, this wasn't too difficult with control, but wasn't doable by any other temple's domains. Moreover, and more importantly, Long Haochen's Light God domain was able to instantly achieve assimilation and fusion with the priest temple's domain. Under the Light God domain's gentle domination, the priest's domain did not show any resistance. Even these three priest temple powerhouses were pulled to Long Haochen's side due to the domain's attraction. Just by relying on these two things, Long Haochen managed to gain the use of the priest temple's three great domains. Chapter 720, Long Haochen's Chance Encounter, 2 Elder Ling's smiling expression became more and more pronounced. Long Haochen's domain integration not only made the domains of the three of them even purer, it also gave great benefits to their cultivations. Also, the six people's united domains gave rise to a stronger side, putting them into an invincible position. This way, even if in the end the priest temple was eliminated earlier on, they could still perhaps surpass the knight temple and mage temple. This could be called a great opportunity, as they were originally supposed to get eliminated soon. This was Long Haochen's secret trump that he thought of after Long Tianying gave him a detailed description of the contest to take place within the Saint Bede. His light god domain commanded all holy spiritual energy. In this domain contest, although gaps existed between the six great temples' powerhouses, these gaps were not too wide. By uniting with another side, he was sure to be the last remaining one. Bright glimmer of hope was originally in the top three of this domain battle in strength, but in a direct clash they wouldn't necessarily achieve victory against the knight temple and mage temple. But with the addition of the priest temple, they gained a gargantuan advantage. Long Haochen actually had several more choices. They could have relied on the warrior temple as well, after all Chiu Yonghao was also a light user. But the warrior temples three used different spiritual energy attributes, and relied on Chiu Yonghao stripping their fields to force things between them. This complicated things, the situation within the spiritual bead was frantic, and Long Haochen did not have such a wide energy. So he had no other choice but to give up on that option. The next pick available were the Knight Temple and Priest Temple. The Knight Temple's three powerhouses were also light users, and pretty close to Long Haochen. But don't forget that these three were really strong. Long Tianying had his Divine Thrones amplification and Yang Haoyu had the Starry Sky Domain. Long Haochen wouldn't be able to subdue them so easily with his Light God Domain. And, the other temples could very likely show dissatisfaction. So Long Haochen finally figured he may as well pick the Priest Temple. The three priests' gentle domains would show the least rejection in front of his Light God Domain, and the Priest Temple was originally in a weak position amongst the six temples. Pulling them to his side would not affect the struggle between the Knight Temple and Mage Temple. Long Haochen chose a timely decisiveness, right when the Priest Temple was about to get eliminated. This way, the Priest Temple showed a much higher acceptance toward his domain's assimilation. This avoided them the embarrassment of having to quit. Long Haochen's plan was without doubt a success. Seeing the smile on Elder Ling's face relaxed him greatly. Their new state of stability and benefiting from the Light God Domain's amplification stabilized the three priests' domains. The verdict was clear. Long Tianying shot a glance to Long Haochen with a gloomy feeling, secretly thinking, this brat is actually taking advantage of the priest temple in such a way. Even if he couldn't unite with Brother Yang's domain, he should have consulted us ahead of time, just a Brother Yang quit and that's all. However, his gloominess only continued for a short time before he returned to normal. He secretly found the situation funny, if his grandson really did so, they could be afraid that the other five temples would show a collective disagreement. This guy was really intelligent. The domain battle kept going with no suspense, and an hour later, the assassin temple and spiritual temple withdrew in succession. The knight temple, mage temple, and the side formed by Long Haochen and the priest temple stood in confrontation. This time, neither of the three parties gave a way out. Long Haochen calmly and relaxedly controlled the united domain's defenses, showing no traces of panic. Neither the knight temple nor the mage temple would, upon contact with their domain, induce a large consumption. However, he had some bias in him after all. When the Knight Temple's side rammed in, because they were light element users as well, they had far smaller consumption than the Mage Temple's united magic side. When Long Haochen and Kyer's mixed domains occasionally appeared, every one of the Divine Purification Light's attacks effectively weakened these two temples. The fact that the Priest Temple's three powerhouses had loosened control over their domain to hand its control over to Long Haochen really gave him the strongest backing possible. Under these circumstances, the outcome came with no suspense. When the day was dimming, the three powerhouses formed the Mage Temples were finally expelled from the Saint Bede. The Mage Temple having having already gotten beaten, the Knight Temple had no reason to keep persisting, anyway they had no way to stand above Long Haochen's group. Therefore the three knights simply gave up directly. 
Afterwards, Long Houchen's three and the priest temple separated their union, and the three powerhouses from the priest temple voluntarily renounced with no hesitation, Long Houchen, Kyer, and Chen Ying are finally departing the Saint Bede at the end. The match being over, results were announced. When the warrior temple's head Xiu Yonghao returned to the field, his complexion was just as unsightly, 24 points was simply the lowest score in history. The chief referee Chen Zidian announced, the domain battle of the temple's great gathering has ended. Number one is Bright Glimmer of Hope, number two, Priest Temple, number three, Knight Temple, number four, Mage Temple, number five, Spiritual Temple, number six, Assassin Temple, and number seven, the Warrior Temple. In view of this year's edition of Bright Glimmer of Hope, and after consultation with the elected staff, the number one's reward has been increased to 600, and the last fives gradually falling down to 100, with the last position receiving none. The point counts are as follows, Bright Glimmer of Hope, 1042, Knight Temple, 698, Priest Temple, 620, Mage Temple, 555, Spiritual Temple, 378, Assassin Temple, 164, Warrior Temple, 24. The gap between Bright Glimmer and the rest aside, the Priest Temple could be described the greatest winner aside from Bright Glimmer of Hope, having surpassed the Mage Temple in one move, by rising to the third position. Such a grand event had never happened in the history of the Temple's great gatherings, for a moment, both the Priest Temple's head Ling Shao, and Elder Ling were beaming with joy. Their looks toward Long Houchen's crew were full of goodwill. Chen Zidian kept going, tomorrow, the last stage will be going. Due to the high quantity of contestants, and the permitted use of equipment, the battlefield will be the sky. The individual competition had already had the field wrecked out, to say nothing of a team competition. That would be 10 against 10, in battles with no restrictions in equipment. With a few divine tools addition to the drive of several powerhouses of the ninth step, to say nothing about the temple's great gatherings field, even Holy City could as well be torn open by them. So having the team battle stage go on an aerial stage, and that must be at far altitude and far from Holy City. Chief Referee. Right at this time, Chen Hongyu stepped up, nodded lightly to Chen Zidian. So? You have something to say about that Hongyu? Chen Hongyu unhappily claimed, Chief Referee, I trust that you have seen the process of the previous domain battle. I believe the Demon Hunt Squad bright glimmer of hope to have not won fairly. Seeing the Priest Temple stand above them, Chen Hongyu once again took offense. Is that really so? Alright, then please express your views, you contestants from the other temples. Tianying, you start. He shifted his glance toward Long Tianying. Long Tianying replied with a tranquil smile, I have not seen Long Tianying pull out any dishonest trick. Although we also lost, I am sincerely convinced in my loss. I am indeed his grandfather, but will still speak my view. Let me ask all of you, even if you knew about this method, who of you could having done it? I can say that I couldn't. Long Houchen's strong control over his domain enabled him move unhindered within the whole Saint Bede, absorbing the three domains of the Priest Temple in a flash with control and integration. That was a display of unconditional strength. Let me ask once again, would any of you have acted differently in front of the same good chance? When left with the choice to either drop out or join hands with bright glimmer of hope. Hearing Long Tianying's response, the nearby elder Ling lightly smiled, Tianying is not mistaken. First putting aside how Houchen achieved it, no one else would have refused such a good deal. We can be considered having taken part in bright glimmer of hope's brilliance this time. The assassin temple Sheng Yu laughed indifferently, shooting Chen Hongyu a glance, responding disdainfully, leave it at that you're no good. Why blame this and that legit thing? What a lacking character. What did you just say? Chen Hongyu erupted in a burst of anger, glaring at Sheng Yu. These two were originally not getting along well, adding to that the factor of the spiritual temple and assassin temple's opposite sides in the temple's great gathering, Chen Hongyu could be said to have really become agitated. Sheng Yu did not give the slightest leeway, so what? Want to fight a duel with your unconvinced? Enough. Chen Zidian shouted, instantly extending an uncorporeal pressure to the whole stage. Almighty person was not just a simple name. How about you, Yonghao? Chen Zidian shifted his glance to Chiu Yonghao. Three of the six temples had already expressed their approvals of bright glimmer of hope. Chiu Yonghao showed a bitter smile, back then, we were already eliminated, and have no clear knowledge of the events that followed within the Saint Bede. Our warrior temple is abstaining from expressing our views. As the mage temple's best comrade, Chiu Yonghao couldn't directly support the demon hunt squad bright glimmer of hope this time. But he had his own view, in the midst of disappointment, he had a few thoughts. For the sake of the warrior temple's future, he must plan ahead, first of all by not offending the demon hunt squad bright glimmer of hope. They absolutely didn't expect their strength to reach such lengths. After three stages, they were in the lead with over a thousand points. Both the knight temple and mage temple would find it close to impossible to reverse the stakes in the final stage. Long Houchen's powerful purplish gold Hao Yue sword, and the divine tools the three of them showed today, were all demonstrations of bright glimmer of hope's great assets. Chapter 721, Long Houchen's Lucky Encounter, 3. Chen Zidian nodded. Out of the six great temples, three were on their side and one neutral, so there was no need to even ask the mage temple to come to a conclusion. However, out of respect for the mage temple, Chen Zidian looked at Li Shengji with an inquiring gaze. Li Shengji remained very calm, as if no longer affected by the gloom of his mage temple receiving the fourth position in the domain battle. Chief Referee, Comrades. First of all, I agree with your previous statements. 
Although Bright Glimmer of Hope used some tricks in this domain battle, they managed it with their strength. Without the extraordinariness of Long Houchen's Light God domain, they couldn't possibly have achieved this much. Even if they hadn't united with the Priest Temple, they could very possibly have still ended as the final victors. So, there is no need to dwell any longer on this matter. Seeing Li Zhengji so easily let go of the opportunity of making things hard for Bright Glimmer of Hope, Long Tianying couldn't help but reveal a look of shock. Other than that, I have a suggestion. Li Zhengji continued, the competition having reached so far, there won't be a big change to the final rankings anymore. So, I believe that there is no longer need to conduct the final team battle. The team battle involving so many people, and furthermore allowing the use of equipment, it would very easily result in accidental injuries. This temple's great gathering should just end with the current rankings. Although the temple's great gathering is an important matter taking place once every 10 years, it is also bound to catch Demunkin's attention. All of us are peak powerhouses of our temples, so saving as much time as possible would be the best. So I believe that the most important matter that follows should be to get the alliance ready, and make preparations for the future counterattack against demonkind. Li Zhengzhi's speech did not merely shock everyone present. Li Zhengzhi's statement implied that the mage temple was renouncing on their struggle in this temple's great gathering. Even Long Tianying who did not like him much could but nod in silence. So. This Li Zhengzhi still knows which things to prioritize. Chen Zidian nodded, the temple's great gathering is a symbolic event of once every ten years. Lessening the number of stages must be out of all the temple's agreement. Please lift your hand, all those who agree about shifting the end of the gathering ahead of time. The calm-looking Li Zhengzhi was the first one to lift his hand. Immediately next, the night temple and bright glimmer of hope followed by lifting their own hands. This situation was really the most ideal one in their eyes. The head of the warrior temple Chiu Yonghao gave Li Zhengzhi a glance, lifting his hand, he was filled with secret admiration toward Li Zhengzhi. Knowing when to bow was really an admirable quality. Sheng Yu also lifted his glance, full of appreciation toward Long Haochen and Kai'er. Finally, these two youngsters stood at the peak of humankind. On the side of the priest temple, Ling Xiao and Ling Lao naturally showed no opposition. They had at the present time achieved the third rank, an unprecedented score for the priest temple. If one party was the most willing to conclude the competition at that point, that would no doubt be them. Only one hand was not lifted, and now the only party left was the spiritual temple. All gazes gathered onto Chen Hongyu. Although a tough old man, his scheming heart was rarely surpassed. No matter how unwilling he was to see the spiritual temple achieve fifth, he had to follow suit, for the sake of maneuvering for the standing of the spiritual temple in the new alliance. During the vote, Chen Hongyu seemed to mutter words in a very low voice, voluntarily for Shen Yu to hear them, at least we have more points than some others. Not too bad I guess. This time Shen Yu didn't pay attention. Carrying a smile on his face, he had a calm and easygoing look. Seeing everyone accept Li Zhengji's proposal, Chen Zidian nodded, all right. In that case, I, chief referee, announce the end of the temple's great gathering. The rankings are such, number 1 Bright Glimmer of Hope, number 2, Priest Temple, number 3, Knight Temple, number 4, Mage Temple, number 5, Spiritual Temple, number 6, Assassin Temple, and number 7, Warrior Temple. Tomorrow morning, the six great temples and Bright Glimmer of Hope's representatives shall convene in a meeting to discuss the matters of the new alliance. Yes. Everyone bowed at the same time, bowing to Chen Zidian. No one could deny that this legendary character was the most fitting chief referee that they could have. The temple's great gathering was terminated early after three stages. One could say that this was a really unexpected thing. In the eyes of the later generation, this instance of the gathering was really drawing the start of an unmatched era in history. Li Shengji carried a faint smile on his face, as he walked to face Long Haochen extending his hand in front of him, congratulations, Haochen. Long Haochen gave a sincere response, thank you. Be at ease, I won't disappoint you. Li Shengji returned the smile, I will be waiting for that day you will have a divine throne at your side. The congratulations he gave Long Haochen also meant Tot Li Shengji was abandoning the struggle for the new alliance's leadership. Without this greatest rival they had, the rest would go much easier. Long Haochen nodded, certainly. Long Tianying joined Li Zhengzhi's side, patting his shoulder. The youngster's generation is coming. I originally thought you were very young all along, but now you seem much older Hey. Li Zhengzhi snorted, old Long, although you are not up to much, you gave birth to a good son, and now a good grandson. Hearing his mocking, Long Tianying didn't take it at heart, only laughing heartily, these are found great genes. Chen Hongyu let out a snort, bullshit. I can't see much similarity in the two of you, and he's looking much better. Don't attribute yourself on existing merits. Long Tianying laughed, say as you please. This old man is in a good mood today, I'll take it as jealousy from the two of you. The other temple's leaders were really jealous. Jealous for Long Tianying to have grown such a good grandson. The ability Long Haochen just displayed atop of being on the verge of establishing a new alliance, would really make the Night Temple the absolute leader for the next hundred years. If humankind truly manages to vanquish demonkind, this position would only consolidate even further. So Long Haochen's existence could be said to be settling the Night Temple to the ruling position of the new alliance. Long Haochen bowed to the leaders, while humbly expressing that his achievement of championship was just a matter of luck. The temple's great gathering was terminated, but this was just a start to the new temple alliance. What came next would be even more important. 
Before this session had started, the six great temples had priorly consulted, determining that the changes to the new alliance would demand immediate action. After 6,000 years of settlement, the gap between the Temple Alliance and Demonkind was no longer as large. But why could they only come on to passive beating in the Holy War? Strength was a factor, but was the gap in their strength so large? The answer was indefinite. The most important reason that they remained so passive lied in their mutual policies. Demon Hunt squads proved at repeated times the uses of joining several vocations together. But even now, vocation combination had never happened from the start of the war to its end. The key point of this lied in the estrangement of the six great temples. To resolve this matter was not achievable in a matter of words, but needed deep-rooted changes of the alliance. As a matter of facts, no one was willing to see themselves supervised by another one. But an important factor finally brought this compromise between everyone, and that was the immense threat of demon kind. Four years ago, the Holy War gave the Temple Alliance the greatest comprehension of demonkind strength they ever had. Before that, the six great temples all acknowledged that even if the alliance's attack was insufficient, their defenses were ample. But in reality, even if demon kind had not deployed their full force, and their strongest races had yet to take part from beginning to end, they found it still very difficult to repel the demon offenses. Not only they suffered disastrous losses, but they even narrowly lost some of their forts. The ones that experienced this the deepest were the Assassin Temple, Warrior Temple, and Priest Temple. Their three temples were nearly lost in the assaults of the enemies. Thus, after the Holy War ended, the Sixth Great Temple convened several meetings, gradually consenting to the foundation of a new alliance. For the sake of resisting the demon threat, and for humankind to go on, they couldn't keep moving out of selfishness. No matter how humankind's future balance of power would turn out, their first priority was to maintain the human race, or that talk would not even exist. However, the matter on who should lead this new alliance was discussed for very long. In the end, this session of Temple's Great Gathering was supposed to determine that the most greatly, let your strength talk for you. If not for bright glimmer of hope's sudden addition, one could be afraid that the Knight Temple and Mage Temple struggle would have persisted until the last fight. Li Zhengji's renouncement was not only due to bright glimmer of hope's performance, but also because of the Knight Temple's power. He originally believed that the Mage Temple would completely be able to suppress the Knight Temple, but when things started for real, the Knight Temple managed to stand above the Mage Temple without even their two divine knights taking part. This was a massive blow to Li Zhengji, who did not expect this situation. Now without a doubt, it would be meaningless to keep struggling. There's no way the Knight Temple would leave the commanding position to the Mage Temple. Although the Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope was led by Long Houchen, that was after all a Demon Hunt Squad, and was thus formed with six powerhouses from different parties. These youngsters would be the future leading pillars of the Alliance. So at least each of the temples would have a leading figure amongst their ranks. This was the major reason why Chen Zidian wanted Long Houchen's group to return and participate in this struggle for power. Bright Glimmer of Hope's appearance was sudden, but after deep considerations, all parties gave them their support, which was the hardest outcome which could be considered. Chapter 722 The Union's Chairman, I. Back in the Alliance's headquarters, the remaining prep work aside, the meeting for the establishment of the new Alliance was going to take place in one day. Its length would depend on how long the six great temples would need to come to a consensus. Long Houchen led his comrades back but did not rest, immediately researching until evening. Just as Long Houchen anticipated, has drugs bro remained reliable. He was back when the time would come for the meeting. How come you're only back now, has drugs bro? The temple's great gathering has terminated ahead of time you know? Chen Inger expressed to Lin Exion. Lin Exion had a rare expression of great seriousness on him, I am already aware of that. Captain, these days I have been learning the Saint's Son curse from Grandpa, so. Long Houchen nodded, we are all brothers, no need to justify yourself. Sit too, I will tell you about the circumstances of the meeting we have previously been discussing. Maybe you will have some good suggestions. Lin Exion replied, after sitting across Long Houchen, Captain, before you tell me, I have something I need to report to you. Before my return, Temple Head Li Zhengji came to me, and had a message for you. He said that when the time of the election comes, if our bright glimmer of hope takes only one representative from each temple, he will give us his full support. Long Houchen revealed a smile, Temple Headley took the path I expected. The setup of the new alliance will change a lot of things. One could say that one major aspect is the benefits each of the six great temples can reap. If we want everything to go well, the first thing we need is to keep a balance. Be at ease, I have a plan. One night passed, and the next day, the alliance's headquarters convened a meeting. As agreed priorly, each of the six great temples' participation in the meeting involved 36 people, all of whom were contestants of the gathering. Besides Bright Glimmer of Hope and Chen Zidian, of the 36 representatives for the Demon Hunt squads, there were 20 or so spots for Demon Hunters above the King Grade. So, there were 252 participants in this distinguished meeting, separated in seven sides. Less than 10 people qualified to sit on the raised stage. From left to right were seated the Warrior Temple's head, the Assassin Temple's head Sheng Yu, the Mage Temple's head Li Zhengji, the legendary Chen Zidian, Captain of Bright Glimmer of Hope Long Haochen, the Knight Temple's head Yang Haohan, the Spiritual Temple's head Chen Hongyu, as well as Ling Shao, the Priest Temple's head. The ordering of seats was a great display of the benefits Bright Glimmer of Hope led by Long Haochen had gained. If not for these outstanding results, there's no way he would be qualified to sit on this rostrum unless the Knight Temple promoted him to their new temple head, based on his previous status in the Alliance. 
The one in charge of the meeting was the current head of the Temple Alliance, a chief of the Night Temple, holder of the Divine Throne of Protection and Mercy, and Divine Knight of Defense and Ruling, Yang Haohan. Since everyone is gathered, let us start this meeting immediately. Yang Haohan's calm voice reverberated throughout the whole stage, unobstructed by the facilities around, and spread clearly to all ears. First of all, let me congratulate Bright Glimmer of Hope for having just achieved championship over the just finished temple's great gathering. Then Yang Haohan took the initiative to app loudly, followed immediately by the powerhouses of the six great temples and Demon Hunt Squad representatives below, filling the whole room in warm applauses. This was not just praise for the group of youngsters, but heartfelt admiration. Long Haochen stood up, beating his right fist on the left of his chest, and performing a standard night salute to everyone present, before bowing to Yang Haohan to express gratitude. Yang Haohan said, for the sake of fairness, the six great temples and Demon Hunt Squad sides shall both have 36 representatives, including every one of us sitting on the rostrum. After many consultations, our alliance finally came to a consensus in establishing a new alliance, for the sake of uniting the six great temples forces against the demon threat. Let me now ask if anyone objects the setup of the new alliance, if so raise your hands. Sweeping his dignified gaze to the surroundings, he confirmed that no one raised their hand, then he continued, all right. Since no one is opposed, let us start the discussion over a new alliance. Next, I will detail the context and constitution of the new alliance. From the setup of the Temple Alliance to now, over 6,000 years of history have passed. For 6,000 years we have been accumulating forces in the struggle against demonkind, to gradually finally gain a foothold. But as we were thinking to be steady enough to guarantee self-preservation, or even have a chance to launch a counterattack against demonkind, they thrashed their fists right into our faces. I believe that everyone should remember very clearly the holy war that took place four years ago. The damage that was inflicted to the alliance back then was really disastrous. A great amount of powerhouses met with death in the struggle, and one could say that if not for the fact that the demon god emperor did not lead the strongest three demon clans, this holy war would very possibly have led to the destruction of the alliance, putting the people in terrible situations. Now we know even better that the current loose structure of the alliance is insufficient to resist against demon kind. If we cannot bring out the greatest features of each of our human fighting vocations, we won't ever be able to gain the advantage in this struggle against demon kind. So, the six great temples must unify, giving birth to a whole new alliance. For the conflict between the Alliance and Demonkind, we must have a unified voice and integrate all the forces of the Alliance, gathering them under a centralized power, just like a nation-state. Orders will demand exact compliance, so our powerhouses from the Six Great Temple can join hands just like our Demon Hunt squads to wield the greatest fighting strength. Thus, I have decided that the new Alliance shall be called Temple Union, changing all the Six Temples' government into a centralized government. There will be one Temple Union's chairman, six vice-chairmen, and thirty-six permanent council members. For some important matters, the Union's Council will make decisions by vote, with each Vice Chairman's vote counting as two and the Chairman's vote counting as five. Also, the Chairman will have a veto power. If the six Vice Chairmen all agree, or over 80% of the Council agrees, the Chairman can be removed from the position following my conduct. Changing the Alliance into the Union, as well as all these rules, were already all approved by the six Great Temples after countless discussions. For the sake of guaranteeing fairness, as well as avoiding the issue of an overly powerful central power, the six temples higher-ups had been racking their brains a lot and finally came to this unified conclusion with great difficulty. The most important point of this session of temples great gathering was the selection of this chairman. Based on the previous discussion the six great temples had, the temple which would be able to obtain championship would be the one to bring out the union leader. This was also the reason why the knight temple had invited their strongest knight, Yang Haoyu, who was training in seclusion until then. After the new union's foundation, the union chairman would have an enormous authority. Although that couldn't compare with a monarchical regime's emperor, that would still be a character with great authority. Furthermore, the temple from whence this union leader shall come would be sure to be advantaged. That is why the struggle was so fierce. Anyone against the new union's centralized power system, raise your hand. Yang Haohan calmly spoke these words. Meetings pertaining to a union had been going on for five years. Yang Haohan's question was thus actually just a formality. As expected, the opinion was unanimous. Yang Haohan nodded, good. Next, we will conduct votes for determining the chairman and vice chairman. The chairman candidate is Bright Glimmer of Hope's captain, Long Haochen. The vice chairman candidates are Chiu Yonghao, the warrior temple's head, the assassin temple's head Sheng Yu, the mage temple's head Li Shengji, the knight temple's head Long Tianyin, the spiritual temple's head Chen Hongyu, and the priest temple's head Ling Shao. Everyone should be familiar with these six temple heads. I will next introduce the chairman candidate Long Haochen. Long Haochen, male, age 25 years old. Vocation, retribution and guardian dual knight. Captain of the demon hunt squad Bright Glimmer of Hope. Overwhelming innate internal spiritual energy, bestowed with the scion of light physique. Holy Knight of the Second Rank, and already qualified to obtain a Divine Throne's approval. Previously, Long Haochen had achieved championship in the Demon Hunt Squad selection, thus founding the Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope. The team he led has slain over four demon gods, destroying two demon god pillars. In the Holy War, he gained great merits in respectively the Knight Temple, Assassin Temple, Warrior Temple, and Mage Temple. This session of the Temple's Great Gathering was won by the Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope. This is how he became the Chairman Candidate. If anyone opposes his nomination as Chairman, raise your hands. 
Although a lot of them knew about Long Haochun to some extent, hearing Yang Haohan's introduction of Long Haochun's career, especially the part about his being only 25 years old, raised a short, pitched discussion. But fortunately, no one raised a hand in opposition. Yang Haohan let out a secret sigh. What he feared the most was to see an issue arise in this area. Although a few opposed wouldn't be enough to cancel this decision, that would still have a bad influence on Haochun's future ruling of the new union. So, since no one objects, the matter of the chairman is decided. As for the six vice chairman candidates, does anyone object? The powerhouses from the six great temples still expressed no reaction, but this instant came something unexpected. Sitting on the rostrum, the head of the spiritual temple, Chen Hongyu, raised his hand suddenly, I have an objection. Chapter 723, The Union's Chairman, 2 As a result of the previous day's domain battle, Chen Hongyu had already displayed dissatisfaction. His sudden raising of an objection immediately caught all the surrounding attention. Everyone's gaze landed on him. Chen Hongyu stood up, a calm look on his face, I express opposition to the proposal of making me a vice chairman of the union. Yang Haohan looked at him in shock, doubtfully responding, Brother Chen, you must think it over. You represent the spiritual temple. Chen Hongyu calmly explained, I have already thought it through clearly. I only need to stay as a mere council member. This vice chairmanship should belong to the new head of our spiritual temple. What? A new head? Hearing such words, the whole audience were greatly alarmed. In fact, the spiritual temple and night temple were not the same. The spiritual temple had always had only one head. The spiritual temple's head shifting was an extremely big matter for the temple alliance, the main point being that no one had gotten any prior notice. Chen Hongyu's announcement was just too sudden. Chen Hongyu declared calmly, what is strange in that? Our spiritual temple has always been democratically ruled, centered around a temple head that must have capability. My temple's Chenninger has already reached the ninth step of cultivation and has the mythological beast domain, which is superior to my own. Moreover, she's the first spiritual saint daughter of my spiritual temple, and has inherited the temple's divine tool spiritual saint robe. She couldn't be more fitting to lead my spiritual temple as its head. Therefore, I naturally ought to leave her this vice chairman position. Yesterday evening, our spiritual temple has already given a unified approval. Everyone seated on the rostrum could be said to have all different expressions. Long Haochun had an expression of shock, while the other heads of the temples all cursed secretly, what a wily old fox. How could it not be so? At the time of the temple's great gathering, Chen Hongyu's play was marvelous. Not only did he harshly oppose Long Haochun, he even questioned him in the later domain battle. And upon reaching this critical juncture, he made a full turn by directly handing the temple's ownership over to Chen Ninger. This implied that bright glimmer of hope already had two major positions in the temple union. In the meantime, having one of their people among the vice chairman meant that a situation in which the six vice chairmen would unite to impeach Long Haochun to deprive him from the chairman position would no longer be possible. This favor was simply immeasurable. Even Li Shengji couldn't help but sigh secretly. How calculating. Chen Hongyu's sudden abdication was not only shocking, but could also gain bright glimmer of hope's favor, as well as being a move to indirectly get the night temple to owe him. Truly, it was a profound move. Just after Chen Hongyu said this, he walked away from the raised stage, making a sign to Chen Inger while walking to the side of the spiritual temple in an easygoing manner. Chen Inger was baffled by her grandfather's move, but had no other choice but to go up on stage at that time. Forcing herself to walk up to the rostrum under multitudinous gazes, she took Chen Hongyu's previous seat. This instant, the assassin temple Chen Yu unhappily uttered, This old thing, you're really taking a step ahead of me. I had the same proposal going on, our assassin temple's headmaster has already been replaced by Kair as well. There's no need for words to prove her ability. Everyone has seen her domain of purification, and moreover she's the god of death's inheritor, bestowed with the same spiritual stove of samsara as the scion of samsara of that time. But she has, in some sense, already surpassed the latter. Ever since taking over this inheritance in her youth, she has already been settled as our assassin temple successor. Kaya, come up. From now on, you are the head of the assassin temple and, in my stead, the candidate of the assassin temple for vice chairmanship. Long Haochun was actually not so surprised about Sheng Yu's proposal, after all, it was now a long time since when Sheng Yu had expressed that he'd let Kaya take over his position. As such, Kair also went up. It took just an instant for three places on the rostrum to be filled with members of Bright Glimmer of Hope. Yang Haohan declared, as such, we will proceed with the meeting. Is there any other objection? As he asked that, he didn't expect for there to really be a response. The warrior temple's head Xiao Yonghao suddenly stood up and declared, I am also getting old and am getting no good. Under my leadership, the warrior temple has gotten its worst results in history out of this session of the temple's great gathering. I truly have no more face left to act as temple head. I have already discussed this matter last evening with the rest of our representatives, and today, the seat of the head of the warrior temple shall be left to the younger generation. I hope that under her leadership, the warrior temple will have a brilliant future in the union resisting demon kind. Yuan Yuan, please go up. What? Me? Seeing the look on Xiao Yonghao's face as he watched her, Wang Yuan Yuan couldn't help but feel overwhelmed for a moment. Xiao Yonghao heaved a smile, who else but you could it be? Or, don't tell me you think there's someone else in our warrior temple's younger generation that could contend with you? I have personally watched all the efforts you have put up. The world shall be left to you youngsters. Saying that, he walked out from his original seat. This moment, everyone on the rostrum could truly be said to be overwhelmed with shock. 
Shen Yu passed his place to Kai Er because she was originally his successor, and great-granddaughter as well. As for Chen Hongyu, although his announcement was rather more sudden, Chen Inger's status in the spiritual temple was originally already pretty much the same as Kai er's in the assassin temple. But in the warrior temple, Chiu Yonghao could really be said to have no ties with Wang Yuanyuan, who had never returned to the warrior temple after becoming a demon hunter. Yet his firm decision of leaving her the future of the warrior temple's leadership at that very moment was fully unwavering. This wasn't just a sudden idea Chiu Yonghao just had. Upon Wang Yuanyuan's return when she had come looking for him, as she showed a strength reaching the ninth step, Chiu Yonghao had already such thoughts. Wang Yuanyuan may possibly be a bit lacking compared to Long Haochen or Kai er, but absolutely no one in the warrior temple could match the future her. Even in bright glimmer of hope, her ranking was among the top, already being a domain-wielding powerhouse. With the addition of her original status of being part of bright glimmer of hope, no one was more fitting to represent the warrior temple. Xiao Yonghao had a great understanding of Wang Yuanyuan's character, and as such, he believed that after Wang Yuanyuan succeeded him as the warrior temple's head, she would definitely contribute to its future. Under his gaze, Wang Yuanyuan stood, taking large strides toward the rostrum. When she arrived in front of Chiu Yonghao, she was unaware her eyes had turned reddish, Grandpa Chiu, I. Chiu Yonghao heaved a smile, patting on her shoulder, no need for words. I am not doing this for you, but for the future of our warrior temple. I trust that you will definitely do well. After saying that, he personally pulled his previous chair, and lightly pushed Wang Yuanyuan into it. With a weight off his mind, he walked down from the platform, heading to sit among the powerhouses of the warrior temple. Such big changes actually occurred to the chairman and vice chairman candidacies. Yang Haohan who was taking charge of the meeting was in great shock, but despite that, the meeting had to keep going on. Fortunately, these changes did not impact the rest of the process. The rest of the election went exceptionally smoothly. Long Haochen became the first chairman of the Temple Union without a hitch, with the vice chairman being Long Tianying, Li Zhengzhi, Ling Xiao, Kai Er, Chen Inger, and Wang Yuanyuan. Bright Glimmer of Hope actually occupied four of these major seats. The reason why no one objected was that the proposing parties were temple heads, as well as because of the power Bright Glimmer of Hope had displayed in the temple's great gathering. Long Haochen, Kai Er, Chen Inger, and Wang Yuanyuan were all domain-wielding powerhouses. Being under the lead of these young powerhouses would undoubtedly have a tremendously good impact on their respective temples. After the chairman and vice chairman election came an election among the six great temples for selecting 36 representatives, excluding from the count the chairman and vice chairman. It was an acceptable outcome for the temples that Long Haochen became the first chairman of the temple union. As such, the rest of the meeting also proceeded without a hitch. In just two hours the whole election was completed. Yang Haohan declared, the election is over. The union will now inform our citizens, attempting to make it so that within one month, all humankind is aware of the union's foundation. Also, the union has a lot work to be done. The integration of the six great temples is the most pressing matter. Next, the first chairman of our temple union shall speak a few words for us. Long Haochen nodded to Yang Haohan before sending his greetings to the rest of the six great temples. Then he declared in his limpid voice, I am honored that you elected me as your first union chairman. I can feel a very heavy burden on my shoulders. As Alliance head Yang said, the election of a new union chairman will take place every ten years, to take over from the previous one. Perhaps the current system of our new union is not perfect yet, but I believe that it will definitely get better and better in the future. The most important matter after the foundation of the union is to integrate the forces of our six temples, to become a match for demon kind. Most of our next efforts will be concentrated on that. As your chairman, I can guarantee everyone that within the ten years of my office, I will definitely launch the counterattack against demon kind and start recovering the land that has been taken away from us. My lifetime will be devoted to leading the union to fight against darkness, and to putting an end to the six thousand year era of darkness. Chapter 724, The Union's Chairman, 3 Long Haochen's speech was sonorous and resounding. His voice was not a heavy one, but it carried a feeling of firmness of spirit. Hearing him, the powerhouses present from the six great temples felt that yet another holy war was going to take place. After pausing, Long Haochen continued, I am still be young, and the union has just been set up, so I will need everyone's kind support. In the following period of time, I may not have much time to spare for handling the matters of the union, as my mates and me will have to increase our strength in the shortest time possible. The union will be mostly handled by Vice Chairman Long Tianying, Vice Chairman Li Zhengzhi, Vice Chairman Ling Xiao and the rest of you deputies. The rest of the conference went without a hitch. Although Long Haochen was the chairman of the union, the most important to him was still to increase his personal strength. He and the rest of Bright Glimmer of Hope were still young, and had a far higher margin for progression. Long Haochen had a few matters to handle next. The first was to strive for acquiring his own divine throne. Should he get a divine throne, that would not only be of great benefit for his cultivation, but also increase his prestige. Afterwards, came the issue of Haoyue's evolution. The power of the purplish gold Haoyue sword made him realize the importance of Haoyue's evolution. The six-headed him was already so powerful that, should he evolve to an eight-headed state, his strength would be bound to increase several folds. When the time comes, maybe Haochen would have the ability to contend against the demon god emperor with Haoyue's assistance. The meeting proceeded in a rather mild manner, and the integration of the six great temples was the main issue they dealt with. First of all, the six great temples were to dispatch a batch of powerhouses to gather in the holy city, and all train together. The allocation was four thousand warriors, a thousand knights, and five hundred each of assassins, mages, summoners, and priests. 
It would be called a Union's Legion, with each legion formed of, besides these 7,000 powerhouses of the six great temples, an additional 40,000 for a total of close to 50,000. First off, two legions would be set up, under the name of Union's First Legion, and Union's Second Legion. After going through processes of unified training and integration, they would be directly thrown into the border area, with the responsibility of guarding the rather weaker Southern Mountain Pass and Exorcist Mountain Pass. Next, would get transferred other lots of powerhouses from the Six Great Temples for integration, until the original Temple Alliance's Six Great Temples forces all formed entirely into the pattern of the Union's legions. The Six Great Forts were to be temporarily guarded just as before by the Six Temples separately. After all, the Six Forts forces were too deep-rooted. Although the establishment of the Union was settled, they couldn't be too extreme either. It needed to go through a process of transformation, so that the first batch of practitioners of the Six Great Temples would come within one year, to slowly let the concept of Six Temples be watered down. The whole process would surely need a lot of time. For the practitioners of the Six Great Temple as well as the masses to accept the new union would require a long process. However, while under the premise of the demon threat's existence, this wouldn't take too long thanks to the united joint efforts of the Six Great Temple's powerhouses. As soon as the Temple Union was entirely restructured into a cohesive force, that was the time the Union planned to launch the counterattack against demon kind. The conference having ended satisfactorily, Long Houchen immediately expressed the will to leave Holy City on the next day to travel for the Night Temple. Hao Yue was the major reason why Long Houchen was so eager to return. After his transformation into the purplish gold Hao Yue sword, his blood link with Hao Chen could be said to have risen to a new level, and in addition, Hao Chen's further progress of his strength in this period of time also affected him to some extent. So, his evolution was now on the brink of surging out, and at any time could possibly be impossible to suppress anymore. In his last evolution, Hao Yue encountered the powerful attacks of the Lich King, so the success of his evolution was greatly a matter of luck. Also, based on the pattern of their encounters, almost all of Hao Yue's evolutions had attracted the attention of enemies, which only got stronger and stronger. As this time involved a rise from six heads to eight, it would not only take even longer, but attract the attention of still stronger enemies. Long Hao Chen really didn't dare lower his guard at all. With just one mistake, Hao Yue could get into unredeemably desperate straits. Therefore, they had to make complete preparations, the major point being in increasing their strength. Because of Hao Yue's secret classification, Long Hao Chen couldn't borrow the power of the six great temples, and was only able to rely on their own team. As a light user, he was clearly the member whose strength it was most important to increase. If he could obtain a divine throne, they would have a far better grasp on the situation. The reason why they did not immediately proceed for the Night Temple was that they had another important matter still unresolved. After rising to the chairman of the new union, Long Houchen's status became completely different. They no longer lived in the Night Temple, but the highest class of the union headquarters dwellings. Although the topmost floor of the former Temple Alliance's administrative area was the smallest one, it was still over a thousand square meters in size. It should now be called the union chairman's administrative floor. The whole area was cut up into a lot of regions, large offices, lounges, an area specialized for cultivating, a library, and botanic areas. Although there were no lavish decorations, that was still an elegant design overall. Let alone for just Long Houchen, even their whole demon hunt squad found that space to be extremely large. Let's all rest here for this evening. We will depart for the night temple tomorrow in the morning. Long Houchen announced to the group. Han Yu asked, is it okay not to wait for your chairman's seal to be made first, chairman? Long Houchen forced a bitter smile, just keep calling me captain. It feels awkward to hear you call me chairman. Bright glimmer of hope's original team of seven got the chairman position, three vice chairman seats, and the other three became council members. As for Zhang Fangfang, Yang Wenzhou and Duan Yi, they took council spots for the Night Temple, visibly preparing ahead of time for the sake of getting their future successors ready. One could say that this temple's great gathering's greatest winner was the Night Temple. Although Hao Chun had become the Union's chairman in his status as captain of Bright Glimmer of Hope, in the end he was also a knight. His grandfather and father were all leading figures of the Night Temple, Divine Knights. With that, his relationship with the Night Temple couldn't possibly diminish with time. Also, Long Houchen aside, his teams Han Yu, Zhang Fangfang, An Wen Zhao and Duan Yi were all extraordinary powerhouses of the younger generation, Han Yu and Zhang Fangfang having both broken through to the ninth step of cultivation, and Yang Wen Zhao and Duan Yi, the peak of the eighth step. Even by their strength alone, they were qualified to be designated council members from the Night Temple. After all, they were still so young. Originally, the Mage Temple's greatest advantage over the Night Temple was the latters didn't have enough up-and-coming talent to replace the older generation, but this session proved that this point of view was to be entirely reviewed. The appearance of five great younger knights to smoothly take over from the older generation, raised expectations for their future. Long Tianying and Yang Haohan were rather low-key in the conference, in which the Night Temple was once again the greatest winner. The new union could really be said to have prepared a perfect layout to convince the other temples. The other ones all smiled in reaction to Long Haochen's words. Looking at each other, they still had quite eerie feelings, and used to such new statuses. But they all knew without a doubt that their positions and duties within the union had become completely different after going through the temple's great gathering as well as this conference. In particular, Long Houchen was already shouldering the heavy responsibility of leading humankind to destroy all demon kind. Long Houchen declared to Zhang Fangfang, Yang Wenzhou, and Duan Yi, brothers Zhang, Yang, Duan. The three of you have been following Bright Glimmer of Hope for some time already. After going through the gathering, you can be considered a part of our team. 
As such you will also be subjected to bright glimmer of hope's rules. Our demon hunt squad has always followed the rule of equally splitting our contributions. Now that we are back, please hand over your contribution points. All three were in faint shock, Long Houchen's demand was very simple, but, as it seemed a bit out of place considering his broad character, all three had quite strange feelings. But they did not give it much thought, and all took out their contribution points to transfer them to Long Houchen's contribution tile. In fact, these three all used to be Demon Hunt Squad captains. Although the contribution points they had piled up over the years couldn't compare to the count of Bright Glimmer of Hope's members, that was still no small count. Chen Ninger pouted in reaction, you can't bully them, Captain. Long Houchen had a grin, saying no more. Instead, Lin Xian let out a laugh, how come it seems like the little hen is spreading her wings, now she's defending her man. Chen Ninger replied in great anger, you're the hen. Has drugs bro, are you in for a beating? Forgot about the time you got beaten up, till you were all swollen? Lin Xian let out a snort, I don't remember such a thing. Kaya was already standing, just at Houchen's side, so, are we going now? She had seen through Long Houchen's intention, and only she knew what purpose he had when recovering the contribution points of the three of them. Long Houchen nodded, we are going now. We'll be leaving tomorrow at dawn, so let's take care of these matters ASAP. It's already noon, but we should have enough time. Chen Ninger looked at Long Houchen with a teary face, what are you talking about boss? We are done with the conference, so what more is there for us to do? He smiled in response, there is a place we have not visited for a long time, and it should be quite relaxing. Let's go now. The bald priest Sima Xian's eyes suddenly lit, I know, the Demon Hunt Squad's transaction center. Long Houchen showed Sima Xian his thumbs up, smart. Time to go now. Chapter 725, Bright Glimmer of Dawn's Equipment Changes. I. Hearing Sima Xian's statement, the whole group's eyes lit up. Right. They hadn't been to the transaction center for a very very long time now. After so many years, they had amassed millions of contribution points to use up. Captain, we. Yang Wenzhou's face turned red, clearly filled with emotions. The same went for Duan Yi and Zhang Fangfang, who immediately realized why Long Haochen had just recovered their contribution points. It was for purchasing whole new sets of equipment for the three of them. Given Long Haochen's personal character, the gear he would buy them would certainly far exceed their contribution point counts. It was clearly because he was worried about them refusing the present that he had formulated his words otherwise, having them hand over their contribution points as being given the same treatment as the rest of the Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope. This way, conducting their purchases in their stead was only to be expected. Not only was it helping them, it was moreover giving them a lot of face. Long Haochen revealed a smile, don't worry. If you take me as your captain, just listen to my arrangements. Sima Xian remarked, boss, bring along my little flower girl. With her present, no good things will escape our nets. Long Haochen showed some hesitation, are title demon hunt squads allowed to bring outsiders to the demon hunt squads transaction center? Lin Xian remarked, boss, you're now the chairman of the union. Shouldn't this matter be easily resolved? Long Haochen replied with a stern look, the post of chairman of the union is not a privilege but a responsibility. Sim Xian responded, boss, be at ease. My little white flower is the successor of the alliance's great auction house, which entertains a great trading relationship with the demon hunt squad's transaction center, and is thus allowed to enter every section of the transaction center. It won't bring us any inconvenience. Don't just forsake her because of her age, she's the current chief appraiser of the alliance's great auction house. I'm pretty sure that no one knows better than her what good things the demon hunt squad's transaction center has in store. Even the most newly arrived treasures won't escape her eye. Seeing his air of complacency, Wang Yuan Yuan laughed in response, Sima, some saliva is about to leak from the happy you. He replied without much thought, that's some saliva of happiness. Long Haochen smiled, all right, Sima, invite Miss Feng Linger. We are heading for the transaction center first. Let's gather in a bit. Yes, chairman. Sima Xian suddenly bowed in response before turning back at a run, and the rest couldn't help but let out a burst of laughter. They were not only back, but they had achieved their plans perfectly. A new chapter was beginning in their life. Demon Hunt Squad's Transaction Center Bright Glimmer of Hope's appearance was extremely low-key. Each of them were clad in a cloak, and Long Haochen did not utilize his authority as the chairman of the union in the least, acting just like any ordinary Demon Hunt Squad as they stealthily made their way inside. The Transaction Center was completely filled to the brim, and due to the temple's great gathering, many Demon Hunt Squads had chosen to attend. Most recently, that place was really bustling with people, and filled with good things. Long Haochen's crew naturally wouldn't stop at the first floor, and directly headed toward the second. Large crowds were piling up on the way, and suddenly, a youth was seen jumping up and crying out in cheer. Very good, I finally got my hands on it. This trivial sounding jump just happened to block the way of Long Haochen's group. The youth's mates who were also in the midst of excitement also contributed to blocking the way. Excuse me, please let us by. On Haochen's side, Han Yu's words were deliberately low sounding, just loud enough for these youths to all be able to hear. When that youth turned his head, he couldn't help but feel startled about noticing Long Haochen's cloaked group. He immediately took out a large sword, which looked to be a pretty okay piece of magic equipment. Although, this assessment was based on the first floor of the Demon Hunt Squad's transaction center. 
These youngsters looked quite fine, only somewhat young and inexperienced. When seeing this group not only cloaked, but furthermore most of them having their heads lowered, he couldn't help but reveal a look of curiosity. You are demon hunters too? We are the champion newcomer demon hunt squad, number one demon hunt squad of soldier grade. At the youth's side, a proud sounding girl spoke. The youth shot her a glare, what are you showing off about? He then apologetically nodded to Han Yu, and hurriedly moved out of the way with his group. Hearing the title of number one soldier grade demon hunt squad, the cloaked members of Bright Glimmer of Hope all couldn't help but raise their heads. Number one soldier grade, what a familiar appellation. Ten years ago, that was theirs. Seeing these youngsters, all sorts of feelings were welling up from their hearts. After stopping for a bit, Long Houchen smiled to these young demon hunters, before leading the group to the second floor. The number one soldier grade demon hunt squad's youngsters were quite perturbed by this smile. His smiling expression was really refreshing, like a breeze of spring wind or a ray of sunlight, its sight seemed to cleanse one's soul. So handsome. The girl who spoke previously couldn't help but blurt out. He looked a bit familiar. Another youngster said. The one at their lead suddenly began shaking, and lost his voice, they are the ones from the demon hunt squad bright glimmer of hope. And the one who just smiled at us was their captain Long Chen. Didn't he just become the chairman of the union? The announcement regarding the new alliance was already pasted onto the walls of Holy City by this afternoon. A girl muttered, in those years, the demon hunt squad bright glimmer of hope seems to have also begun from being the number one soldier grade demon hunt squad. Due to their cries of alarm, the nearby demon hunters were all interested. Unfortunately, the figures of Long Houchen's crew had already disappeared up the second floor steps. Everyone always headed for the topmost floors of the Demon Hunt Squad's transaction center. With each floor less filled than the previous one, the top floor seemed absolutely empty. This place was like a lounge, with a comfortable sofa on the side. Seeing them enter, an elder immediately stepped forward, and respectfully bowed to them. Sir Demon Hunters, may I ask what you need? Being able to make it to this floor was ample proof of their statuses, as only titled Demon Hunt Squads were eligible to enter this floor. Long Houchen took out his cloak, and smiled to him, greetings. Can you please help us confirm our contribution point count, and then show us all the equipment of at least epic tier that is available? I'll be bothering you. Also, we will also need a spatial silver crystal. Understood. The elder replied, withdrawing slowly. Don't forsake this old man for being just an employee, from the fluctuations of his spiritual energy, Long Houchen could perceive that his cultivation reached the eighth step. After they became a demon hunt squad of title grade, they no longer needed to search for items in there. They only needed to look through the catalog, then choose, which was far more convenient than for the lower grade demon hunt squads. Moreover, any of the transaction center's goods and equipment could be picked with priority given to the title demon hunt squads. They were even able to make credit transactions for their purchases, although that was within a certain limit obviously. A short time later, the old man brought a tray in front of Houchen. On the tray was a rectangular crystal. A third of a meter long, and a sixth of a meter wide, it had a clear image displayed on it. From the looks of it, that was like a miniaturized version of the magic transmission crystals that were outside the Alliance's great stadium. Long Houchen took out the crystal, placing it in his hand. A list scrolled onto the screen, each item accompanied with a small image. Long Houchen unconsciously placed his hand upon the first image, and a radiance was immediately shot out from the screen and toward the sky, coming to the clear sight of everyone present. That was a gorgeous mage gown, colored dark gold, and adorned with gold silk embroidery, with a sumptuous golden dragon design on it. The lower part of the gown was dark gold, while the upper part was the color of pure gold. The chest part's buckle was embedded with a fist-sized reddish gold gem. The whole gown let out an orange luster full of softness. Although that was just an image projection, it looked really lifelike, just as if the real thing was standing in front of their eyes. It was also slowly rotating, its glistening glow comparable with the glow of the epic tear, seemingly mesmerizing everyone in its display of pride. The elder who had handed them the magic projector explained, this magic gown is called Glorious Holy Fire's Praise. Reaching the epic tear, and compatible with light and fire mages, it favors fire mages. Holy light is supplementing its fire's might, thus decreasing any fire mage's use of spiritual energy by a half, while increasing its might by 20% and infusing holy light properties into the mage's fire attacks. The gown has the attached ability Glorious Praise, usable once a day, and which requires it to be bathed under sunlight for one hour to be used. Glorious Praise will, upon use, ignite all the Holy Light spiritual energy within Glorious Holy Fire's Praise to instantly produce a powerful Glorious Saint Fire, lasting for 10 minutes and getting attached to all subsequent spells. Seeing the dazzling Glorious Holy Fire's Praise, all bright glimmer of hope were in a daze, including Long Houchen as well. They had seen several divine tools already, but outside them, this Glorious Holy Fire's Praise was the most powerful piece of equipment they had ever seen. Lin Xian immediately stood in excitement, looking excited and itching to rush into that image. As it stands, the only one among Bright Glimmer of Hope to be a fit for this magic gown was him, and moreover, he was intrinsically a lover of such flashy items. Chapter 726, Bright Glimmer of Hope's Equipment Changes. 2. The Elder continued, in some sense, this glorious Holy Fire's praise is actually a piece of equipment that can be placed above equipment of epic tier. The gap between such epic and divine tool tiers is actually a half-realm. Equipment of this grade is known as immortal grade, or subdivine tools. 
However, equipment of this level are almost as rare as the divine tool grade, and thus hard to find. Glorious Holy Fire's praise is made by getting sewn with a fire dragon's main bone, with a large variety of rare material added to that. These materials correspond to an item reaching a divine tool, but in the process of item making, because the material of light and fire was burning overly fiercely, it conflicted to a certain extent, thus finally not crossing this threshold. Long Hao Chen lightly nodded, while looking at Lin Xian on the other side, finding out that Lin Xian had his mouth wide opened, simply leaking with saliva. That my. Mine. Long Hao Chen couldn't help but laugh in spite of himself, but fortunately didn't ask him further, Senior, how much for the glorious holy fire's praise? The elder made a little pause before replying, the glorious holy fire's praise is set at the marked price of 2,400,000 contribution points. Hearing this count, everyone couldn't help but gasp. One should know that contribution points value is almost a hundredfold times gold's value. So 2,400,000 contribution points was an astronomical number, even for a title grade demon hunt squad. Hao Chen had once asked his grandfather the value of epic tier equipment, and Long Tianying's response was that, generally, epic tier equipment's value would range between 50,000 and 100,000 contribution points. But he didn't think that it could cost such a large price. Over these years, the Demon Hunt Squad bright glimmer of hope had accumulated an astronomical amount of contribution points, but based on Hao Chen's estimate, that was just about 10 million. And this time, it was for an equipment exchange on the scale of their whole team that they had come. If one item cost over 2 million contribution points, that was really somewhat of an unbearable cost. Senior, how many contribution points has our team accumulated so far? Long Hao Chen asked after a short time of stupor. He had actually already decided to purchase this magic gown. As the only mage in the team, Lin Xian's high explosive power and damage were his greatest assets. If he could gain a supportive spell such as Glorious Praise, this would be a great trump card when facing demon kind. When reaching the part about Bright Glimmer of Hope's contribution points, the elder's expression became increasingly more respectful. He spent all year in the topmost floor of the transaction center, and didn't know much about the Alliance's decision of becoming the Union. But he was extremely sensible to contribution points worth, and had encountered the terrifying contribution point counts of several titled Great Demon Hunt Squad, but this Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope was definitely the most terrifying so far. On the contribution point tile was recorded the ages of Long Houchen's crew, as well as their Demon Hunt Squad's accomplishments. When the Elder had first seen their group, he believed they just looked so young because of their high cultivation, but after looking at the contribution points tile's records, he realized that these were really such youngsters. Yet, those youngsters had such an incomparably shocking count of experiences and contributions. Esteemed Captain Long Houchen, your noble team has amassed a total count of 14,628,631 contribution points. Because of your identities as a title grade demon hunt squad, you will preferentially benefit from a 20% discount on any of our transaction center's goods. Over 14 million, that was really an incomparably shocking number. Especially for Zhang Fangfang, Ang Wen Zhao, and Duan Yi who confirmed their previous guesses from hearing it, and were greatly appreciative to Long Haochen. Added up, the contributions of the three of them would at most have reached a million or so. But compared to the average, that was still an enormous count. This instant, Sima Xian's voice came out from the entrance to the top floor, Aish, what a pretty robe. Boss, is this for me? Sima Xian could be seen bringing his little white flower toward the rest of the group. Feng Linger was clad in a white gown, giving her a look really befitting her nickname of Little White Flower. After bowing slightly to Long Haochen's group, her gaze landed on the glorious Holy Fire's praises shadow. On the other side, Lin Xian cast an angry look at Sima Xian, what's for you? This is clearly a piece of equipment for fire mages such as me. Sima Xian snorted, save your talk. Just by the color you can tell that it has the light attribute. How could it be a thing for fire mages of your ilk? Your bro is a mage too, a priest. Lin Xian let out a sudden smile, all right, for you then. Sima Xian was startled, since when have you been so easy to deal with? Lin Xian unhappily responded, even if I let you, can you even wear it? You're a magic user. There's only one such freak as you in the whole union. You're thinking of fighting in this gown you could possibly rip at any time with your build? As long as you're willing to bring it along in the battlefield, I'm letting you have it. Hearing his statement, Sima Xian felt suddenly thwarted. Indeed, he was a priest, but one wearing heavy armor. Putting this gown on, he was truly afraid it wouldn't be of much use, and the gown would only be waiting to get ruined. Long Haochen stated, All right. You may all have a seat. Miss Feng Linger, how do you view this piece of equipment? Feng Linger said, This glorious holy fire's praise comes from a fire fairy's remnants. That's a rare fire gown, and at least in the history of the Union, it is a unique item. But it has a spiritual nature, so using it requires first gaining its approval. I suggest you give it a try, and decide to purchase it only if you manage to gain its approval. That elder nodded as well, Miss Feng Linger is right. I would also suggest the same. Long Haochen nodded, all right, then I will bother you to get it for us. Then, let's keep looking through the recorded equipment. Finger moving downwards, Long Haochen chose an item, and in a flash of shadow, a blue sapphire necklace appeared in the air. Feng Linger directly shook her head, this is for water mages, not fitting for you guys. We can pass it. She had a rather good understanding of the abilities of Bright Glimmer of Hope's crew, so with her here, the equipment selection was saved much trouble. 
Afterwards came a detailed selection, with the Demon Hunt Squad's transaction center being worthy of getting called the richest place of the whole alliance. Even Foam Linger said that the equipment reaching at least the epic tier in this place were several fold more than in her alliance's great auction house. The whole selection went for an afternoon, divine tools wouldn't appear in this place, because equipment of this grade would all be taken by the temples upon appearing. They were just such rare existences. However, they still got quite a lot of good things there. In the end, they had picked over ten items of epic tier. But only three of them reached the immortal tier. Esteemed Captain Long Chen. After discount, this equipment will require a total of 20.62 million contribution points. Your titled grade Demon Hunt Squad can borrow up to 5 million contribution points, but even when adding that to your original contribution count, that is still over a million short. How about you let go of one item? Let go? How could that be done? Every single piece of equipment had been chosen for its target, and would be very hard to trade off. Before letting Long Chen have the time to respond, Fong Linger suddenly exclaimed, Elder Son, the Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope is the leading party of the new union. Also, I am willing to vouch for them in my capacity as the owner of the Alliance's great auction house. Just lend them a bit more. Within five years, you are sure to be clear with them. The elder she called Elder Son replied, after shortly hesitating, I need to ask the higher-ups for instructions regarding this matter. No need to ask for instructions, just give them. A familiar voice suddenly rang out, and immediately, a familiar man came out from a room within the top floor. Seeing this person, Long Chen couldn't help but stand in stupor, Grandpa Yang, how come you're here? The old man who had suddenly barged in was no one else but the strongest knight of the Night Temple, known by the title of Starry Sky Knight and the name Yang Haoyu. Yang Haoyu smiled to him, Chairman, I am the one in charge of managing the Demon Hunt Squad's transaction center and mission pagoda. However, very few know about this matter. Even the heads of the six great temples are in the dark. Our Demon Hunt Squad's department has always been managed by a Demon Hunter President, and only Demon Hunt Squads reaching at least the Emperor Grade are qualified to know about the Demon Hunter President. As the one managing all matters related to the Demon Hunt Squads, they can be called the greatest manager of all Demon Hunt Squads. And this generation's Demon Hunter President is me. If Chairman is interested, you could well take over to become the next Demon Hunter President in charge. Reaching this part, Yang Haoyu's smile became even more pronounced. Facing these youngsters before his eyes, he couldn't be any more satisfied. Especially the Night Temple's prospects, which could only be described as perfect. Now that Long Haochen's identity was already no longer the same, even he had to call him Chairman when facing him. Long Haochen hurriedly shook his head, Grandpa Yang, I already have enough matters in my hand. I can't bear this position as Demon Hunter President. Moreover, you are still so young, you can very well keep this position for several hundred more years. Having you as our overseer is our Demon Hunter community's bliss. Yang Haoyu responded, enough. You can all pack up your things and go. Leave the rest to me, you have to return in the Night Temple now. Don't forget about the matters I have told you, I wish you success. Long Haochen placed his right fist on his chest, and performed a standard night salute, Grandpa Yang, thank you for your support. We definitely won't disappoint you. Yang Haoyu showed an indifferent smile, I am not supporting you, but our future in resisting demon kind. Enchantingly glowing equipment for epic tier were brought out by the group. Amongst these, Long Haochen did not have a single one and Kai er only had an inner full body armor. Chen Ninger got a six-sided crystal ball of epic tier. And the others reaped plentiful gains. Chapter 727, Bright Glimmer of Dawn Equipment Changes. 3. Wang Yuanyuan had changed into an armor of epic tier, and got a plentiful store of spatial crystals. After the last time she had utilized that gigantic divine soul shield, the spatial crystals were all used up. With this fix up, the gigantic divine soul shield once again glowered with the light of the epic grade, or rather, it should be the immortal grade, that would be reached upon inserting seven spatial crystals into the gigantic soul shield. Lin Xian's harvest was even greater. The rogue glorious holy fire's praise was one thing, but he also gained a fire dragon crystal, an immortal grade staff drawing power from a fire dragon's crystal, to bring along. Sima Xian did not choose any equipment, however. Feng Linger had expressed that she had prepared a set fitting him the best from the Alliance's great auction house. Han Yu and Zhang Fangfang did not choose any equipment either, and both had looks of determination. Although they did not express it, everyone could guess their goal. Just like Long Haochen, they were aiming for the full set covering in defense called Divine Thrones. Not choosing any equipment from the Demon Hunt Squad's transaction center was just like burning their boats so that they had no leeway left. In comparison, Yang Wen Zhao and Duan Yi chose equipment for their own after a lot of hesitation. Under Long Haochen's deliberate arrangements, Yang Wen Zhao chose a pair of heavy swords of epic tier for his own, while Duan Yi had a shield of epic tier plus a heavy sword of epic tier. The equipment on these two alone used up over 6 million contribution points. The individual equipment aside, Long Haochen also purchased some team gear and medicine. Among them were two pills for improving domain comprehension, to be used at the ninth step, which were for Lin Xian and Sima Xian. Bright Glimmer of Hope's original setup already had four domains out of seven, with Han Yu aiming next for a divine throne. As such, Haochen naturally showed some more consideration to Lin Xian and Sima Xian who already reached the ninth step. Zhang Fangfang also reached the ninth step, but was in a similar situation as Han Yu, and took the initiative of giving up in the struggle for the medicines. The team gear was to Long Haochen's greatest liking. 
Called Domain of Instant Flash, it was a necklace which would look very ordinary if not for its orange glint symbolic of the epic tier. It was a simple looking silver necklace with a transparent crystal with the look of a snowflake, yet giving off a very unique feel. The name of Domain of Instant Flash was because this piece of equipment of epic tier had, in some sense, a domain ability attached. The user could pour mental force into it so that the light of instant flash would get attached onto him. Then, in times of battles, he would be able at any time to teleport one's ally to his side in a time of battle. Light of instant flash really reached the scope of a domain, in other words, even if the ally was trapped within a domain's enemy, the teleportation ability would still work. But light of instant flash had some limitations as well, such as the need for acceptance of its owner for them to connect. With this team gear added onto Long Houchen's powerful mental force, he would be able to transfer his comrades at any time, reinforcing his position as core of the team. One could say that this gear change had caused a qualitative leap to all bright glimmer of hope's strength. Afterwards would come the tests of approval of the Divine Throne in the Night Temple, as well as Yang Wan Zhao and Duan Yi's Pure Gold Foundation Night Tests. An unprecedentedly strong demon hunt squad was being born. In the evening, the group bade farewell to their relatives, and in bright morning they left Holy City alongside the rest of the contestants of this temple's great gathering from the Night Temple's side, proceeding for the Night Temple's dragon-resisting mountain pass. In the meantime, the new union was already operating at full speed. Li Zhengji and Long Tianying had remained in Holy City, responsible for training the new alliances number one and two legions. The six great temples were already transferring their practitioners of all vocations to Holy City for uniting. Even part of the powerhouses that took part in the temple's great gathering had remained behind. As the two initial legions of the new union, they naturally put all their strength into becoming the strongest existence possible. This proved, in some way, the correctness of the decision of the union's formation, and also further reinforced the people's trust in the new entity. Demon Race, Modu. Demon Emperor Palace. What? Long Haochun did not die. The demon god Emperor Feng Xiao grabbed his seat with strength. The throne he pinched let out cackling sounds, but didn't show any traces of damage. This throne was said to be made of the first demon god emperor's bones, becoming a symbol of the demon god emperor's might with a high significance for demon kind. In front of the demon god emperor was seated a calm Ma Bao, his purplish black hair draping over his shoulder. Compared to several years ago, his current appearance was far more steady. As a whole, he looked just like a sculpture, though his handsome face clearly became pale. Hearing the name of Long Haochen, his calm eyes suddenly sharpened, just like two bolts of lightning striking through the demon emperor palace. Even the demon god emperor slightly narrowed his eyes. In five years' time, Abao's demeanor had changed totally. His character became far more introverted and very taciturn. But no one else besides the demon god emperor knew how much Abao had paid in these five years. Even the one known as berserk demon god, Ananda, was unable to compare with Abao's hard work. Being the demon god emperor's son, in his body flowed the devil dragon's pure blood. Add to that his newly arisen persistence and assiduousness, and his cultivation had encountered an earth-shattering change. Standing in deference, the Commander Black Dragon's Imperial Guard Huang Shua was making the report. Yes, your majesty. According to our spies in the Temple Alliance, he not only didn't die, but furthermore led his demon hunt squad in participating in the Temple Alliance's Temple's Great Gathering, and furthermore became champion. He showed an extremely great strength in the gathering, already mastering a domain of his own, Huang Shua deferentially reported. Abao listened with all his attention, seemingly calm, but unaware both his hands had clenched into fists. The demon god emperor furrowed his eyebrows, declaring sternly, I have personally killed Long Haochen. How could he resurrect? With his heart destroyed, even the strongest human priest in existence couldn't possibly bring him back to life. There's surely an issue with the information. Huang Shua, mobilize all our spies in human territory. Gain more information at any cost. Hurry. Yes. Your majesty, could that be a false trail launched by humans? Huang Shua asked. That's not impossible. Or else, could there be a mistake in that I killed Long Haochen personally? But why would humans resort to such a conduct? Could it be that they still haven't learned enough from the lesson they had over four years ago? Royal Father, please let me make a trip to the human side. If Long Haochen is still alive, I will bring back his corpse. There was only one immense target of hatred in Abao's heart, and that was Long Haochen who had personally crushed his confidence, as well as causing him to lose his most beloved girl. He also created an obsession in him that his strength was insufficient, and everything was a lie. So he frantically trained in these years, for the sake of getting ready to take over the demon god emperor's position. Out of the question. There is no need to do so either. Long Haochen is certainly already dead. Huang Shua, invite the star demon god, I need to have a talk with him. Yes. Huang Shua's respectful response came swiftly. Abao asked sternly, Royal Father, I don't understand, why didn't you destroy his corpse also at that time, instead of letting his teammates go off with it? He had always been confused regarding this point, not understanding the demon god emperor's acts. Right now, the demon god emperor had a somewhat unsightly complexion, as he let out a cold snort, this matter has nothing to do with you. I have my own view, so there's naturally a goal behind whatever I do. Abao didn't speak further, and lowered his head in silence. Along with the increase of his strength, his status among demon kind also became more and more elevated. 
The same went for the past generations. While they were crown prince their statuses within the devil dragons would grow steadily, until, surpassing the previous demon god emperor, or upon the latter's death, they succeeded to the crown. In demon history, there had even been a case of the later generation's demon god emperor killing the former one to rule. A short time later, the star demon god Visego accompanied Huang Shua back to the demon emperor palace. Boss, you looking for me? Visego respectfully bowed to the demon god emperor, while sending his greetings to Abao. Abao only made a slight polite gesture, but remained silent, not even standing up. The demon god emperor asked, third brother, Huang Shua should have told you everything. News came from humankind about Long Haochen's revival. How do you view this matter? Visego lost the smile on his face, that's just a rumor. Don't forget, boss, you are the one who personally killed Long Haochen. Furthermore, after he died, I immediately went to predict our race's future. Although I only used the simplest prophecy technique, I only saw a radiant future for our race. The earlier threat is already thoroughly erased. Although I don't know why humankind would do such a thing, I can affirm that Long Haochen has already died at that time, bringing that Austin Griffin to death alongside him. Hearing Visego's confirmation, the demon god emperor relaxed for a bit, and nodded, then that's for the best. I'm just afraid about the case that humans would have had some extraordinary ways to bring him back to life. This time, Abao suddenly blurted out, Third uncle, if you were to once again utilize the great prophecy technique, would you be able to predict Long Haochen's condition? The demon god emperor wrinkled his eyebrows, Don't talk drivel Abao. Do you think great prophecy can be used at any time? It's not as if you don't know for how long your third uncle has been in a weak state after utilizing great prophecy. It's only recently that he has recovered. Chapter 728, Oneness of Heaven and Humanity, I. Visego hesitated for a bit, utilizing great prophecy technique one more time is not impossible, but my vital force could possibly come to an end as a result. Also, I cannot directly make a prediction on Long Haochen, but only on the future of our race. Although he did not directly reject it, that could only be considered a rejection. The demon god emperor waved his hands, third brother, don't listen to Abao's drivel. Since you are certain that our race's fate had been altered at that time, there is no longer the need for any more prediction. Only, we have to investigate this matter, and find out what human's end goal is. Abao declared sternly, royal father, I don't know why, but I have the constant premonition that Long Haochen is really still alive. The demon god emperor's look became severe, enough. Don't be too opinionated. You are not your third uncle, how could you comprehend anything in premonitions? Abao's expression changed as he stopped arguing the matter. With great timing, Huang Shua declared, Your Majesty, I shall immediately investigate the human's goal and the temple's great gatherings matters. Yeah. The demon god emperor nodded, then expressed to the star demon god, then third brother, you can go back. Yes. Visego respectfully accepted, and left with Huang Shua. The demon god emperor slowly stood, giving Abao a glance, we must remember that even if there are some misgivings in your heart, it doesn't mean that you must speak them out. You especially must respect the moon demon god and star demon god. Abao stood and joined the demon god emperor's side, royal father. With your cultivation, even all the other demon gods added up are no match. Why is there a need to? The demon god emperor snorted coldly, you know nothing. I will naturally tell you everything when I let you succeed to the position of the demon god emperor. All you need to know is that for demon kind, every single demon god is an important being, especially the moon demon and star demon. As long as the three of us stand on the same side, we will have the strength to calmly face any crisis. Alright, I shall go into seclusion from tomorrow onwards. The affairs of the demon emperor palace shall be left to you. Oh, right, regarding the investigation about Yu Yi, has there been any news? Abao shook his head, not yet. She has already disappeared several years ago, and didn't leak a single trace. But I have found out that some troublemakers have been in gradual rise in our demon territory. Based on insider information, they seem to be a grouped organization, in the midst of saving power constantly. However, they are very tightly organized, and their roots are deep. I am still investigating. Feng Xiao let out an indifferent smile, just some agitated clowns. No need to fear. Don't pay too much attention to this matter. Your cultivation is the most major matter. Your royal father knows about your progress in the recent years. When I come out from this seclusion, I will give you more matters to handle. Your royal father promises you that when your cultivation will surpass the moon emperor, the position of the demon god emperor will be for you. Abao's expression changed, but he immediately lowered his head, you are in your spring right now, royal father. Our race still needs your lead. Feng Xiao calmly expressed, no need to fake it in front of me. You are right now exactly like the past me. You may go then. Remember, in this period of seclusion, you must not bother me no matter what comes. Understood? Yes, Abao said, then turned and left. Seeing his departing figure, the demon god emperor had a cold smile, so what about a relation of parentage, one in front of authority, everything is futile. Reaching this point, that handsome face full of holiness suddenly surged to his mind, causing him to unawarely become absent-minded, as he murmured, Child, are you really still alive? Right as the demon god emperor was still at a loss on whether Long Haochen was still alive or not, he had already led his crew to the Night Temple's headquarters in Dragon Resisting Mountain Pass. With the Dragon Resisting Mountain Pass in front of his eyes, he couldn't help but move with emotions. 
He had finally returned, not only getting to meet his mother, but also reunite with his father after a very long time. Since that year to now, it had been ten years that he had not met with his father. That year, he had personally witnessed his father's use of the divine throne of doom and slaughter. Now that over ten years had passed too, the time of their reunion had come, along with the time to gain a divine throne's approval. The six wings behind his back vanishing, Long Houchen was the first to land on the dragon-resisting mountain pass. Perhaps because of the dozen years spent reminiscing about his father, at the time of his arrival, he couldn't help but whistle to the sky for a long time. The other returning powerhouses of the Night Temple and members of the Demon Hunt Squad Bright Glimmer of Hope deliberately fell behind. The current Long Houchen was not only a decisive character for the Night Temple, but moreover the chairman of the Union. Even if young, he had already proved himself to these knights with force. A limpid hissing sound came up, it was peaceful, and gave off a feeling of being carefree. Long Houchen's six wings then vanished as he reached the dragon-resisting mountain pass city in a flash. Before their arrival, news of his return had arrived to the Night Temple since long ago, and right now, fully attired knights came out on the walls of the Night Temple. Facing Long Houchen's descent, they all performed the most standard salute to welcome their new union chairman. A tall man stood in the midst of the entrance, handsome and resolute of face and broad-shouldered, as well as in having an incomparably sharp look. When suddenly catching sight of that sudden golden figure, his look became all the more muzzy. Houchen. That golden figure coming from nowhere was thrown into his bosom in a flash, as the two hugged each other. Father. Long Houchen's voice was shivering, and had a great change even in its tonality. To any man, their father would be, in their youth, their idol. Moreover, what man was Long Houchen's father? He's the owner of the Divine Throne of Doom and Slaughter, the Divine Knight of Adjudication and Trial, Long Xingyu, of the Knight Temple. A genuine outstanding talent of his generation, and an ultra-powerful retribution knight. His father had always been Long Houchen's pride. Deep in his heart, he had always been aiming and chasing after his father's tall shadow, which drove him forward. A great part of his efforts were aimed at getting his father to acknowledge himself. Even on this day after ten years later, when encountering his father, that childhood admiration surged out, as this new union's chairman dripped with tears. Long Houchen's stature was no longer thinner than his father in the least. Father and son were both the same height, both prides of the Night Temple. All knights saluted them respectfully, as well as the far apart Long Tianying. With three generations of the Long family being among the most talented of the Night Temple, this Long family could be considered the family with the most authority out of the Night Temple. Although they had never minded this point, in the hearts of knights, especially young knights, their existences were unsurpassed, true idols. Feeling Long Houchen surges of emotions, Long Xingyu, who was no longer capable of showing such pure feelings as his son, had a very complex expression in his eyes. His ordinarily incomparably steady hands shook lightly, as he continuously called out his son's name. Houchen, oh Houchen. Your father has let you down. I haven't protected you well. Father, don't say that. I am your son, and without your guidance, I wouldn't be my current self. I am already grown, and should take my turn to protect you and mother. Loosening the hug, father and son confronted each other, eyes filled with emotional colors. Long Xingyu took a deep breath, casting off his tears, as if suddenly making some resolve. He watched Long Houchen with a firm look and declared, Son, no matter what may have happened in the past, you are this Long Xingyu's son, my sole son. From today onwards, whoever wants to harm you will have to first tread over my corpse. This was a categorical declaration, sonorous and powerful, as if it was a persuasion. Looking at his teary father, his half-whitened hair, Long Houchen was once again overwhelmed with tears. That emotional self of his hadn't felt the covered pain in his father's previous words, only thinking about after that short period of a dozen or so year that had passed, his father at the ninth step of cultivation yet seemed much older. He did not even appear much younger than his grandfather, even though at his ninth step cultivation, he shouldn't age so fast. Obviously, over these years, this father had really encountered special experiences. Taking a deep breath, Long Xingyu barely stabilized his emotions, carrying a faint smile on his face, and suddenly knocking his right fist onto his left chest, loudly declared, Auxiliary Head of the Night Temple greets the Union Chairman. Long Houchen blanked before suddenly coming to a realization. His identity was no longer that of chasing after his father like back in those years, at his hellish training in his youth. Now he was the first Union Chairman, able to represent all humankind, to represent the entirety of the human union. His right fist energetically thumping his chest issued a bang sound, and Long Houchen no longer said any more. Right now, everyone from Bright Glimmer of Hope as well as the Night Temple's powerhouses were consecutively landing in town. Under Long Xingyu's lead, the dragon-resisting mountain pass grandiosely welcomed these knights' triumphant return. Although the final winners of the temple's great gathering were those from the demon hunt squad Bright Glimmer of Hope, out of the six great temples, the greatest winner was undoubtedly the Night Temple. The mage temple's assault under Li Shengxi's lead was in the end fruitless. Even if Long Houchen and his comrades had not arisen, the final champion would still be the deeply rooted Night Temple. After a majestic welcoming ceremony, Long Houchen and his father met Houchen's mother. The three members of his family were finally reunited, after over ten years. Or rather, that should be a family of four. Along with Long Houchen came another inextricable part of his life, the most beloved in his heart, Kyer. One a filial relationship, or a father-son relationship. Two this places both Houchen and Kyer as being at least 21 to 22 years old. Chapter 729, Oneness of Heaven and Humanity, 2. 
Bai Yu couldn't like Kyer anymore. Especially now that Kyer's memories were back she was no longer the cold saint daughter of Samsara of that time, and behaved charmingly in front of the eyes of Houchen's parents. In front of Long Xingyu and Bai Yu's tearful faces, her own face was brimming with a smile of happiness. Looking at the son, future daughter-in-law, and wife in front of his eyes, Long Xingyu suddenly turned his head, wiping once again the tears on his face. He seemed unaware his fists were clenched, with his right fist thumping his own chest with force. As tears of regret filled his eyes, he turned to face his back to Long Haochen, and the eyes of all three. A large hand came onto his shoulder, Father, what's up? Isn't our family now gathered? Let past remain as past. See, you have so much white hair already. You have to be sure to take better care of yourself, or else you won't match mother. Long Xingyu slightly lowered his head, his voice still choking, Child, these years you have been missing must have been very painful. Long Haochen let out a chuckle, there's no such thing. We have only had a fortunate encounter after slaying the panther demon god. Everyone has been training in seclusion, and went in a state of deep meditation, which is why we have all taken so long to come back. Otherwise, we would rather have returned as early as possible. Long Xingyu suddenly turned his head to look at him, seeing the warmth carried on to Long Haochen's smile, he could feel the purity of light from his son. You are not speaking the truth. Long Xingyu watched his son, his eyes flickering, as if wanting to say something but still bearing it in the end. Long Haochen reacted with some shock, Father, are you alright? Long Xingyu shook his head, and forced a smile on his face, Oh, you're right. Let past remain as past. We should look ahead for the future, no matter the trials you have faced, you will always be this Long Xingyu son, this thing won't ever change. Let us, parent and son, fight demon kind alongside each other. Bai you couldn't help laughing now, you have been repeating that Haochen is your son many times already, Xingyu. Do you still need to keep insisting? Long Xingyu's expression froze as he glanced at Bai Yu, complicated emotions filled his eyes. But it very rapidly came back to normal, it may be because I have not seen my son for too long. It still feels unreal even now. Bai Yu took Kyer's hand, I'm only concerned about when it is that Kyer will really become my daughter-in-law. Long Haochen and Kyer's expressions reddened at the same time, and the instant their glances crossed each other, Kyer immediately lowered her head yet again. Long Haochen laughed gently, Father, Mother, if you both agree, let's make the trip to the Exorcist Mountain Pass. In this area, marriage proposals were to come from the parents' generations. Both parties would hang out together, before seeking for their parents' blessings to formally conduct their wedding. Kyer hesitantly responded, Haochen, we still have a lot going on. No need to rush. Haochen smiled, that won't do, I've had this matter in my mind for too long. And even if we don't rush, Inger, Yuan Yuan and the crew would be rushing. They are no longer as young. The new union has just formed, so there are really a lot of matters going on. But in some ways, I am just a nameplate as the union's chairman. The union's matters are handled under grandfather and temple head Li's responsibilities. Our priority is to progress in strength in order to be able to challenge the demon god emperor and those peak demon powerhouses in a short future. After our currently most pressing matters are taken care of, we should have a time of tranquility. At that time we will conduct our wedding, this way it should be about time for the others to get settled as well. And when family matters are done with, we should strive for cultivating together without delay. By you nodded continuously, even if you're even busier, you cannot neglect the major events in life. Looks like it's settled, let's head over for the Exorcist Mountain Pass to propose marriage in a bit. Long Xingyu's emotions having stabilized, a smile was now on his face, speaking of which, I have not met Ling Xin for years. In some meaning, Kyer's father could be considered half a disciple for Long Xingyu, whom he gave quite a bit guidances in the past to. Long Haochen quietly declared, Father, I plan on heading for the shrine tomorrow. Han Yu and Zhang Fang Fang will follow me, they are also qualified to enter. Long Xingyu shivered a bit, so hasty. Long Haochen nodded, we are in urgent need of increasing our strength through divine thrones. My mount is on the verge of evolving, and that will very possibly be his last evolution. He needs me to be strong enough to help. Long Xingyu asked, is there a need for me to dispatch helpers from the night temple? Long Haochen shook his head, there is no need, we are enough by ourselves. He didn't dare let too many people know about Hao Yue's secret. Even Yang Wen Zhao and Duan Yi were decided to take part after long considerations. He trusted Hao Yue, but didn't dare let others know about the terrifying world he came from and his suspicious origins. Moreover, Hao Yue's final evolution would be extremely dangerous, in case of accident there would be danger of death, thus Hao Chen did not want to implicate too many. After a short pause, Long Xingyu declared, Hao Chen, I know that your innate talent is number one out of several thousand years of the Night Temple's history. I know clearly about your goal. But remember well, if it won't do, don't be overly forceful. Any of the Divine Thrones can bestow you with enough formidable power, it need not necessarily be the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation. Long Haochen responded, Father, I won't shrink back. I believe that I have the ability. If even I cannot succeed, then I'm afraid that the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation won't ever find an owner. Long Haochen said so smilingly. In ordinary times, his formidably peaceful endeavor became full of an incomparable confidence. Right, if he turns out unable to earn the approval of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, that would only prove that this original Divine Throne would actually be no being of light. Long Xingyu's eyes glimmered, good. I expected no less from this Long Xingyu's son. 
Your father is expressing you his best wishes ahead of time. Long Hao Chen smiled, and please plan out the Golden Foundation Knights trial for Yan Wen Zhao and Duan Yi. It's just a shame that even if they manage to break through the ninth step, there may not even be some divine thrones left for them to attempt getting picked. In case Long Haochen, Han Yu, and Zhang Fangfang all succeed, they will have accomplished the unprecedented feat of bestowing all the Night Temple's six divine thrones with owners. If this really comes true, humankind's morale will reach an unprecedented peak in history. Long Xingyu smiled about that, there is no need for you to worry about that. When you all grow, our divine thrones will someday have to be passed on. You must have had a tiring trip to go back there, so rest early. I already have a room prepared for you. But to Long Haochen's unexpectedness, Long Xingyu really had a place prepared for Kai'er and him to stay but that was a single room. Ever since back when Kyer had lost her memories, the two of them hadn't shared a room. First because of Kyer's memory loss, and next because they were already all grown, no longer youths like in those times. Long Haochen was also afraid of being unable to control himself before they would get formally married. That was a large, comfortable room. But when standing inside, Long Haochen and Kyer couldn't help but blush upon looking at each other, especially when seeing only that one large bed. Clearly, Long Xingyu and Baiyu were thinking that they would have already crossed this boundary in their teens, and moreover, for them to want to marry so shortly, living together was very normal. Kyer lowered her head and joined Long Haochen's side, gently taking off his coat for him, and said in low voice, I'm going to the bath. Hearing her mumbling words, Long Haochen immediately felt a difference. Scratching his head, he remained silent. Having deepened their love in those years, and gone through countless life or death experiences, their feelings already reached a fusional level. Although they felt somewhat awkward right now, they didn't have any need to explain themselves. After making themselves presentable in turns, and recovering a bit from tiredness, Long Haochen sat on the bedside, quite lost in thoughts. But being lost in thought in such way was a form of happiness for him. It felt very cozy to be able to sit calmly without any matter going. This brought him an indescribable feeling of bliss. Kyer changed into a long nightgown, her fair hand stretched out. Joining Long Haochen's side, she very naturally sat on his thigh, both arms coiling onto his neck, cutely fitting onto his chest. Haochen unconsciously held her thin waist, feeling the contact of her thigh and butt with his body. Haochen could only feel the pulse of that heart of eternity suddenly rise, and moreover, the fluctuations of spiritual energy grew in intensity. Over half of Kyer's face was hidden behind her long hair, making her face impossible to see, but her breath was very warm as it continuously assailed Haochen's neck. Her body was becoming warmer and warmer, and holding her felt like holding a soft stove. Then the fire burning in Haochen's heart became only more exuberant. As he softly raised her hair, Kyer's blushing face came to view. Haochen then gave her intensely breathing cheeks a light kiss, and as a faint aroma seeped into his heart, a light tactile sensation came onto her heartstrings. Kyer. Long Haochen called out gently. Amicham. As if unwilling to speak, Kyer only let out a light sound of response. Holding one of her lily-white hands, Long Hoachen couldn't help but urge out, Look at me all right? Kyer lightly pushed her head on his chest, as if for protection, but still ended up opening her eyes. Her light purple eyes were a bit hazy, her large eyelashes traced a beautiful arc, and her large eyes with water seeping out seemingly spoke something without words. Chapter 730, Oneness of Heaven and Humanity, 3 Back in those years, when we first arrived in Exorcist City, you made a little house for us then. At that time, I had promised that I would give you a warm home to live in. Although father and mother have already accepted our marriage, I have yet to formally propose to you. I won't ever wrong you, and will make you the happiest person in this world. Saying this, Long Haochen's handsome face was blushing slightly, his eyes looking hazier, as his lips made a light contact with her eyelashes. Idiot. So early as back when I had put the forget-me-not ring in your hand, I had already given myself to you. As long as I can be together with you, what's feeling wrong once or twice? The path to the future against demonkind is long and broad, and I don't want to keep waiting. I'm afraid that if I get old, I won't be able to give myself to you at the peak of my beauty. Kyer's voice was soft as she whispered these words in Long Haochen's ears, and carried faint traces of fragrance that kept assailing Long Haochen's heart. Long Haochen coiled his hand around Kyer's waist, with his other hand on her supple hair, as her delicate white face was kept busy staring at him. Four eyes looked at each other, seemingly immersed in the inverted images looking at each other. Lowering his head, Long Haochen made a light contact with Kyer's icy lips. A trace of satiny skin appeared in the midst of the soft fabric at her waist, along with light trembling. Upon mere contact, Long Haochen became completely inextricable from the situation. They had already gone through fire and water for over ten years, having gone through countless unimaginable things. Especially back in the Star Demon Pagoda, where Long Haochen became deceased, and Kyer managed to bring him back to life, almost at the cost of her own life. They were no longer just two individuals, but a single thing with two hearts. Tightly hugging each other, and lightly kissing their counterpart, this instant only left satisfaction in them. Several years of love finally bloomed into a flower of extreme beauty. They were deeply connected with each other, this instant completely engrossed in each other. He carried Kyer onto the bed, their lips remaining connected from beginning to end. And as Long Haochen's scorching hand carried the lightly shivering Kyer, it headed below her nightgown and onto her slender legs. 
Warmth, accompanied with a feeling of softness, only made Kyer's heartbeat stronger and stronger, but as it went, she still didn't show the slightest resistance. As she slowly drew closer to her man's neck, her love and attachment poured into his heart. As the image of Kyer's post-fusion spiritual stove back in the illusory paradise appeared in front of Long Haochen, everything else followed just naturally. In the midst of light murmurs and light whimpers, their love finally ascended to a new level. Long Haochen and Kyer were unskilled, but a human's most primary desire and instincts pushed them onto each other. A soft pain and an even larger love kept rising in the midst of this intrication, rising continuously in this mix. Finally, they passed this last threshold of perfect combination in the midst of a strong desire. This was all a bit sudden, but also very natural. With this setup as a basis, everything went as one could expect, as they gradually discovered their respective inexperienced selves, becoming increasingly familiar with each other. They had physical conditions far exceeding ordinary mortals, leading to an even more intense lovemaking. The first rays of sunlight bore through the windows in their room in dragon-resisting mountain pass as Long Haochen slowly awoke from slumberland. His senses were still a bit hazy, but the next instant, the scenery appearing next in front of his eyes stupefied them. The warm illumination of the sunset shone upon the quilt covering Kyer's slender leg, reflecting upon the sparkling gloss. Behind the quilt, a pink gloss was visible on her skin, as if that was a pleasant lingering effect of last night. Kyer was sound asleep, carrying a dim smile on her face as teardrops of happiness attractively hung onto her cheeks. That gave Long Haochen the irresistible urge of kissing her. Softly hugging her, yet fearing to wake her up, Long Haochen felt as if his soul had reached a new level, allowing him to draw out unlimited vital force from his heart. Men that have never tasted the female body won't ever be complete. And, right now, they were already a true man and a true woman. Long Haochen looked at Kyer in such way, the light in his eyes growing warmer and warmer, no matter how long passed, it still didn't feel enough. Perhaps from feeling the warmth from Long Haochen's body leaning against her, their bodies became even more inseparably close. Since she changed from being a girl to a woman, the natural fragrance coming out from her body became even denser, to the extent that Houchin was almost no longer able to maintain self-control. But, thinking back about her light moans of pain from last night, he finally bore it, only softly fondling her back just like a piece of silk. Every time his hand crossed the arc traced by her enchanting waist, he couldn't help but sigh at that perfect creation. This instant, he really wished he could just melt into that chest of hers, forever gazing at her just like that, loving her dearly. Then came a hand, which had grabbed Long Haochen's back at some point, carrying some languidness and shyness as it reverberated lightly, just go. They should all be waiting for you. I will be waiting here for your triumphant return. No matter what trial awaits, you have to keep in mind that I will be waiting for you, for you to return. In my mind, you are the most important thing that exists. Long Haochen tightened his arm, and let out a low laugh, then, let's keep going with what we did yesterday evening when I return, alright? Kyer didn't utter a sound, just pinching Haochen's waist, yet was unwilling to exert strength in the end. Only pulling the opposite quilt, she used it to cover her own head with it. Long Haochen's face was full of a blessed smile, as he lightly turned over the quilt. Yet he couldn't help but lightly pinch her but before covering her properly using the quilt and declaring tenderly, wait for me to come back. Your man will definitely make it to be a divine knight. Half an hour later. When Long Haochen appeared in the night temple, Han Yu and Zhang Fangfang were already waiting. Long Xingyu was also waiting there. Seeing Long Haochen, the three of them all looked slightly distracted. Because they discovered, with shock, that Long Haochen's mental force seemed to have made a qualitative leap, as if the entirety of his basic qualities had an earth-shattering change. His originally pure being of light was now brimming with a hardly descriptable vital essence. The energies from his body reached the peak, and in particular, his eyes looked even more sincere and honest, as well as kind. They gave off the feeling that Long Haochen's cultivation had reached the next level just in the span of one night. But they did not understand what kind of trick that could be. Kyer had changed into a mild purple-colored skirt and was seated across the window. It was snowing outside, and snowflakes were fluttering in the breeze in the skies, landing on the window, and slowly dissolving. A thin smile traced itself upon the corners of her mouth, as her heart was in peace and bliss. Actually, she understood very clearly that if not for her taking the initiative, Long Haochen would never have asked her at that time. But that was the timing she had chosen. Purifying force was something able to purify any impurity, and as the one chosen by the god of death, she chose this time to make him integral part of nature, so as to purify his everything a step further, while giving him the purest love. Light and purification were originally a perfect match. Her domain and Houchins formed complementary beings, and the final line of defense between the two of them having gotten crossed meant that their respective auras and domains would blend together. Kyer had given herself entirely to her man, for him to now reach an unprecedented peak level. Last night, Long Houchin had only endless love in mind, until this morning, sensing the changes on his body he understood the trouble Kyer took. But he said nothing, as their mutual understanding made it so that there was no longer any need for words to be exchanged by the two of them since long ago. Similarly, after sensing the moistening of Long Haochen's pure light, the current Kyer no longer just looked all smiles. She also had a sense of that sublimation of her light of purification. Suddenly, Kyer let out a giggle, and murmured irresolutely, shouldn't we, ahead of time. Are you all ready to go? Looking at the three youngsters sitting across from him, Long Xingyu spoke calmly. The three of them made their salutations to Long Xingyu at the same time, Senior Divine Knight, we are all ready to go. 
Although Long Houchen acted as the chairman of the union, when on the verge of challenging the Divine Knight's trial, he could only be treated as an ordinary knight for the Knight Temple. Long Xingyu nodded, any Divine Knight's challenge for a Divine Throne's approval is a big matter. Every rank you gain starting from the Ninth Step will bestow you with another chance for challenge. You should have all seen how many Holy Knights we have in the Temple's Great Gathering. But there are only three of us Divine Knights. During the course of the challenge, you may only rely on your own experiences, and just like your experiences all differ, even the same person won't ever get the same challenge twice. I can only give you one advice, believe in yourselves and advance firmly. Speaking these words, Long Xingyu abruptly stood, as a torrential demeanor gushed out from his body. Although Long Tianying, Yang Haohan and him were all three Divine Knights, Long Xingyu was actually the most powerful of these three, due to being the only Retribution Knight, and moreover, the owner of the Divine Throne of Doom and Slaughter. Follow me. Long Xingyu commanded the three straight toward the depths of the main hall. In there were the statues of the three Divine Thrones. Right, just statues, but even so, when Long Haochen's three were in front of the six Divine Thrones, they couldn't help but feel a mystifying feeling surge out. Chapter 731, A Divine Throne's Rejection? I. Facing the six Divine Throne sculptures, Long Haochen's gaze was directed at the central one. Compared to the others, that was the least flashy one. Entirely deep black, its tall seat back appeared simple yet steady, giving off a faint feeling of broadness. On the seat back were carved inscriptions of the sun, moon, stars, paintings of birds, flowers, and various vegetations. It all looked meticulous, yet appeared crowded and disorderly. With this, its blackened part appeared all the more inconspicuous. But, around it were another five dazzling divine thrones. The one that had left on Long Houchen the deepest impression was naturally his father's divine throne of doom and slaughter. Countless gems were ostentatiously inlaid behind. In its faintest inner part, one could see a Buddha silhouette. Mighty and dignified, it could even be said to emit a sense of pressure. On the peak of its back, a semicircular scarlet-colored gem was visible, appearing just like the sun overlooking the earth, letting off a might as in doomsday. On what looked like the center of the chest on the front of the throne, the most dazzling part was a reddish-gold rhombus gem. Every corner of it was full of splendor. A bright luminescence shone upon it all around. Two male lion sculptures were crawling in guard on the broad throne in roaring positions, and countless elegant decorative designs appeared to be flowing throughout the back of the chair. This statue looked simply the same as Long Xingyu's divine throne, only in a much shrunken version. Looking at it, Long Haochen couldn't help but stare blackly. Yet such a dazzling divine throne of doom and slaughter could only serve as a prop for that central pitch black divine throne. Four other divine thrones were also surrounding that black one. Divine throne of dread and pain. Divine throne of protection and mercy. Divine throne of knowledge and vitality. Divine throne of order and law. Every one of these five great divine thrones were dazzling, but they appeared at most only unremarkable when surrounding that central one divine throne. Under their props, that pitch-black divine throne gave off a supreme august and sense of mystery. Just like sheer darkness, it drew out Long Haochen's gaze. Han Yu and Zhang Fangfang were in different situations from Long Haochen's. Their gazes were directed at one respective divine throne for each of the two. Their expressions also froze. Long Xingyu, standing at the side, did not disturb them. As an experienced person, he understood everything. Every holy knight would, upon arrival, there, be attracted by these throne sculptures. And the first divine throne drawing there I would become their target of choice. Of course, that was due to the Divine Thrones themselves, as the sculptures were no target of attraction. Truly the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation. When Long Xingyu caught sight of his son's gaze getting caught by that pitch-black Divine Throne, he couldn't help but sigh secretly. Ever since the start of the Dark Era and the founding of the Night Temple, only five people had managed to be qualified to take the challenge of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, but they had all without an exception failed. The last time was the Starry Sky Holy Knight Yang Haoyu's challenge. Getting the qualifications to take the challenge was already ample proof of their talent and ability. As for Long Haochen, the sixth challenger of this honor. Would he succeed? Long Xingyu unawarely became tense upon this thought. Long Haochen's group of three stood dull for close to half an hour's time, gradually able to perceive streams of holy air rising around them. Above these three divine thrones came off a faintly discernible brilliant glint. The divine throne of eternity and creation that Long Haochen was facing was lit by a soft white light of softness, it was very faint end. An indistinct connection started to form in the deepest part of Long Haochen's soul, and a fantastic feeling spread to him, as if something was calling out for his name. Long Haochen stood calm and unmoving, only going off to calmly sense the changes on this aura. His foremost feeling was peace, an incomparable peace. In a calm devoid of any distracting feelings, it seemed to be challenging Long Haochen's tolerance and immovability, while calmly connecting to him. What approached Long Haochen's senses was a boundlessness, an unbordered broadness. Such a feeling could only be matched by when he had seen Kyur standing in that boundless night sky back in the Tower of Eternity. Only, while the starry skies do have a limit, the aura coming out from the divine throne of eternity and creation seemed devoid of the slightest boundary. Suddenly, a bright light shone upon the divine throne of terror and sadness. As it swept forward, Han Yu's body disappeared the next instant. These six divine throne sculptures were originally projections of the genuine divine thrones. Only by getting their approval shall one be able to get started in their trials process. 
But some holy knights actually don't even get any opportunity to even take the trial. Just when Han Yu had disappeared, another flash of light followed through, this time from the divine throne of knowledge and vigor, following which Zhang Fang Fang also disappeared. Only Long Hao Chen stood at the same place, unmoving and still sensing calmly the aura of the divine throne of eternity and creation. Long Xing Yu, still standing on the side, couldn't help but furrow his eyebrows. He knew very clearly that the earlier one would get the qualifications to be tested by a divine throne, the higher his affinity with the divine throne would be. Han Yu and Zhang Fang Fang reached speeds that hardly differed from the young him from that time, which was to say that they were likely to be approved by their divine throne. But how could Long Hao Chen, whose domain reached the supreme level, as well as having a light god physique, still have yet to start with his own trial? Could the divine throne of eternity and creation really not be approving of him? Long Hao Chen was currently sunk deep into his own world, able to perceive the tranquil force in the midst of linking with his aura. But mysteriously, it seemed to be rejecting something, as a very uncomfortable feeling started to surge into Long Hao Chen's body. An image started to form in Long Hao Chen's brain. This white, boundless world, contained a golden dazzling light. Contrasting with the surrounding tints of white, it seemed as if possibly about to dissolve at any time. But in the midst of this golden light, came two other colors, one of which Long Hao Chen was very familiar with, the purplish gold exclusive to Hao Yu as being. Chapter 732, The Divine Throne's Rejection 2. Although in the midst an expensive boundless white, those purplish gold rays gave off an aloof and remote feel, and in the confrontation, none of them seemed really able to suppress the other. It only came down to a continuous clash. This was Hao Yu's power, and was the divine throne of eternity and creation rejecting that? Long Hao Chen was secretly overwhelmed with shock. If things were really so, what kind of choice would that come down for him to? Deep inside, Long Hao Chen started to struggle. Hao Yu was his companion, a blood-bound companion. Discarding Hao Yu would come down to causing his death. And the divine throne was a must in his eyes, as the union's chairman and unprecedented knight of ultimate gifts, being unable to gain the divine throne's approval would be a major blow to both his growth and prestige within the union. Out of the two, which one to choose? Furthermore, there was not only that purplish golden ray's rejection, but also another dark gold-colored gloss appeared within that golden glow. Compared to the purplish gold radiance, this dark gold radiance was far less eye-catching, but it similarly connected to the golden light originating from Long Haochen himself. And from its appearance, its intensity was not much less than the purplish golden light. The purplish gold originating from Haoyue was part of the blood connection between them, a bloodline's power. But what was this dark gold? If that was also a bloodline's power, since when could it be that he had it? This dark gold was not representative of darkness, but it also gave off a feeling of extreme power. Moreover, a power that mainly came from the depths of Long Haochen's soul, in other words, intricately related to his very soul force. Long Haochen had never had an irresolute character, and thus made up his choice after short considerations. He chose Hao Yue. If a choice had to be made between the divine throne of eternity and creation and Hao Yue, he would still choose the latter. Hao Yue was not only his mount companion, but a good brother to Haochen. Even if the divine throne of eternity and creation was a super divine tool, that was still no more than a divine tool. When weighing the balance between a brother or a divine tool, the choice was not difficult at all in Haochen's mind. Even if that meant that he would get no divine throne, he would absolutely not give up on Hao Yue. In over ten years, he had personally seen Hao Yue's growth bit after bit, during which time Hao Yue saved his life not only once or twice. They depended on each other, and helped each other to reach their current achievements. Hao Yue was his good brother, good companion, and would in no circumstances discard Haochen. This firm belief suddenly started to fluctuate in the midst of this land of fantasy. That purplish gold radiance enlarged, and although its volume was no match for the white light, its aura of loftiness and pride became even more domineering. Even the dark gold radiance followed suit, as if following Long Haochen's state of mind, without any autonomous features of its own. Under Long Haochen's firm belief, it appeared especially tenacious, supporting Hao Yue in resisting the white light. What should be a little clash became a mutual resistance. And it seemed that Haochen was drawing further and further from the divine throne of eternity and creation. Long Xingyu's anxiety became more and more intense. After two hours passed, Long Haochen's trial had still yet to begin. After such a long time, even if it had already started, then perhaps he... For a moment, Long Xingyu's heart became a total mess. Furthermore, he came to notice that the white light drifting from the statue representing Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation was getting more and more intense, yet faintly gave off an invading feel. And on Long Haochen's forehead, nine lines of purplish gold came to view, faintly giving off an aura of devastation, as if withstanding that Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation. Haochen, ah, Haochen, just what are you doing? But no matter how worried Long Xingyu was, there was nothing he could do at all. Earning a Divine Throne's approval could only be done by one's own efforts, so he could only stand there looking on in anxiety. Time passed very fast, and in a blink of an eye, it had already been one day. Han Yu and Zhang Fang Fang's trials were unknown, but contrarywise Long Xingyu was at ease for them, as after one would get taken into a Divine Throne's trial, the longer it lasted, the higher their chances. As for Long Haochen, maybe he no longer had an opportunity. 
Long Xingyu actually had already resolved himself, and as time passed, the purplish gold color expending from Long Haochen's forehead and confronting the divine throne of eternity and creation started to get more and more intense. Although that purplish golden radiance could amazingly stand its ground against the divine throne of eternity and creation, this also meant that it was only becoming harder for Long Haochen to gain the acknowledgement of the divine throne in front of him. His heart of eternity was pulsing quietly, and the holy aura dispersed around him was very clean. That kind of purity even brought continuous sensations of insight to Long Xingyu who was staying nearby. Only, his too nervous self had no thoughts of grasping these insights. If that won't do just end it. When Long Haochen would break through the second rank of ninth step to the third, there should be a chance. Long Xingyu gasped secretly, unaware of why Long Haochen was supporting that purplish golden radiance with such dedication. Based on his own experience, should Long Haochen just consent to discard that purplish gold radiance's power, the Divine Throne's power would be released, thus initiating Long Haochen's trial. In the time of one day, two days, three days, Long Haochen still didn't move in the least, resisting again and again. By chance, that was only his aura and thoughts resisting, and not spiritual energy. Otherwise, given the folklore behind the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, although Long Haochen's cultivation was not weak, that was still not enough for him to resist in any way. Long Haochen felt he was in a special mode. These three days were not wasted, in his mind, he felt his soul continuously sublimating in the confrontation, as that aura of dark gold blended in, continuously integrating itself into his soul. This was a wonderful feeling, just like when he had originally undergone his awakening of light. Only, it didn't give off that kind of feeling of connection with the goddess of light. Long Haochen knew that perhaps there was no way he would obtain acknowledgement from the divine throne, but his soul could make an evolution, thus achieving progress in the training of soul force which was an area no one had ever studied. Chapter 733, The Trial of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, I. The Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation had broad and boundless power. Appearing all-embracing, it was yet unmatchably imposing. Long Haochen's ultimate light god physique scouted its moodiness, and twined along it, exploring it. This was the first trial the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation was giving him. But against all expectations, in the process of this trial, that dark gold radiance was affected by Hao Yue and Long Haochen's beings. Long Haochen's faith never wavered, but the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation seemed to bring continuous changes to his senses. At the start, the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation gave off a feeling of total inhibition, engulfing intentions. It was as if all the impurities outside the light within Long Haochen's body was getting dispelled, but as time passed, these intentions quietly began to shift, as Long Haochen himself was not in the least aware of it. In front of the boundless presence of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, Hao Yue still did not shrink back at all. No matter how the boundless power came in, Hao Yue kept his proud heads lifted, with an air of nobility and coldness, and full of a terrifying destructiveness. Both parties confronted each other, with none of the two parties able to cope with the other one. If someone truly knew about the origins of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, and were to witness the scene, that person would certainly be in extreme shock. Such a pure clash of intentions was simply reaching a whole other plane as they were both trying to demonstrate their lordship to each other. When confronting the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, even Long Haochen's light god physique was completely suppressed, to the extent that the dark golden force in his body and soul were gradually disappearing. This was a gap of the highest level. But Hao Yue was not the same, his power seemed in no way inferior to the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creations. It was at no disadvantage from beginning to end in the mutual clashes, but was similarly unable to deal with the throne's intent. The strife unexpectedly came to a gradual compromise. Hao Yue's purplish gold gradually shrunk within the parts of light from Long Haochen's body, and the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation's white light was less insistent. Within Long Haochen's throbbing heart of eternity, the divine pellet born from his breakthrough to the ninth step had quietly become colored purplish gold. This color symbolizes that bloodline force of Hao Yue's, completely integrated into his spiritual pellet. As the heart of eternity kept pulsing, this force seemed to be transmitted over and over to him. A soft white color gradually filled Long Haochen's whole body, and on the fourth day of his confrontation with the divine throne of eternity and creation, Haochen's body disappeared in a flash of white light. Long Xingyu had originally given up all hope, so his son's sudden breakthrough caused him a terrible fright. These four days of standing guard got him into a tired state, his body swaying slightly as his eyes grew heavy at once. Can Haochen succeed? He could get evaluated only after a whole four days, making him an unprecedented case among all holy knights attempting to receive a divine throne. All the geniuses that had ever come for that purpose had all without exception failed. Long Xingyu took a deep breath, secretly sighing in relief for his son. Wishing you success. He knew clearly that, failing to obtain the divine throne of eternity and creation's approval would be an enormous blow for Long Haochen. He was already on the spotlight as the union's chairman, but being so young, proving himself by displaying sufficient strength was a must for him to gain a higher approval. The status as Divine Knight was undoubtedly the best persuasive force, and in contrast, being unsuccessful would only mean his talent and ability were not enough to gain a Divine Throne's approval. This would raise doubts in a large majority of the people. No matter how worried Long Xingyu was, all he could now do was pray. The trial for the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation had formerly been failed and narrated to Haochen by Yang Haoyu, so whether Long Haochen could succeed would now only depend on himself. The instant the white light from the divine throne of eternity and creation wrapped around Long Haochen, he woke up from his land of fantasy. 
As the previous pressure disappeared entirely, he felt like his body was soaked in warm water, causing an indescribable feeling of coziness. His tempered soul gained the best rest through this feeling, as if melting into his body, as it entered a short state of blankness and slumber. After some time passed, the surroundings grew back to getting clearer. A peaceful feeling sobered Long Houchen, waking him up. As a clear chirping sound spreading to his ears, Houchen gradually came back to his senses. With shock, he found himself in a forest, surrounded with tall trees with man-sized shrubs all around. What is this place? Long Houchen looked all around with a feeling of puzzlement. The coziness in his body maintained his body in its peak state, and the progress of his soul sharply amplified his perception. A rich vitality could be sensed all around. The most primitive nature, devoid of the slightest feeling of threat, surrounded them. A boundless aura of life gently poured itself into his senses. Long Houchen had an extremely firm willpower, and naturally wouldn't suddenly lose himself due to the changes in the environment. After shortly gazing coldly at the surroundings, his frame of mind returned to normal as well. In a flash of light, the six wings on his back spread out as he attempted to communicate with Hao Yue. The connection was achieved without a doubt, but to his surprise, Hao Yue had actually rejected his summon for the very first time, and moreover sent emotions of good luck wishes into his mind. Is he encouraging me to take the trial on my own? Just what could the trial of the divine throne of eternity and creation be? In this pure great nature, Long Houchen at least did not have the slightest idea as of now. As such, he thought he may as well just look around. Having such thoughts, he flapped the wings on his back, his body drifted upwards, and flying off a treetop in the blink of an eye, rose to the skies. Flying this way, Long Houchen felt shock as he discovered an incredibly magnificent scenery unfolding in front of him. When gazing into the distance, everything seemed all green. Those sky-tall trees that had been growing for who knows how long occupied all the space. Not the slightest bit of mud or rock came into sight, only an endless vegetation which spread out the distance, giving off the same feeling as when watching an ocean. Long Houchen flapped his wings, propelling himself forward at a slow speed, as his senses stretched out, sensing everything down below. Since the divine throne of eternity and creation had let him in, his trial should have already started. He did not know whether he would be able to complete it or not, but knew that he was already giving his utmost. As he flew forward, a screech spread suddenly to his senses. Given Long Houchen's current cultivation prospects, there should normally be no movement that could possibly escape his scouting in a range of 50 kilometers. That screech sounded human, yet seemed to contain a feeling of absolute terror. Long Houchen almost unconsciously flapped the six wings on his back. His flying speed was originally able to reach an already extremely terrifying level, adding to that the boost of light speed flash made him cross a stretch of five kilometers in the blink of an eye, to find accurately the origin of the screeching sound. Right when he was on the verge of finding his target, he happened to notice a white figure below a treetop, heading for his direction. Without giving him the time to identify the white figure, another immense figure came rushing out, and countless tree leaves fell, as its terrifying oppressive presence forced a choking feeling into Long Houchen. What kind of a creature could that be? All that came to sight was a bare upper body across the treetops, before disappearing from Long Houchen's line of sight, appearing just like a somber peak coming from the thickets. Those thick hands appeared like water jars, forming fists with their immense palms, matching even giant hammers. Such a pair of palms rushed out at that white figure in front of him, which became entrapped within in the blink of an eye. This very instant, all the surroundings suddenly became static. Even that white figure that was ejected to the sky, as well as the terrifying magical beast in pursuit of her stopped in midair. Long Houchen heard a totally emotionless voice spreading to him, the trial has started. Rescue the female human Cece, and protect her. The trial will terminate upon failure. This voice came very fast, and in the meantime, Long Houchen took the chance to take a look at the girl clad fully in white. Right now, her long black hair was in a total mess, her gaze full of terror. But it didn't change the fact she had a stunning figure, looking in her twenties, her appearance actually bearing some resemblance with Kyers. The sound came to an end, and the surroundings that had came to a stop suddenly resumed their movement. That white-clad girl Cece headed toward Long Houchen's side in a flash, as that pair of extremely terrifying hands came straight at her, with Long Houchen right in the middle. Facing such a situation, Long Houchen didn't panic in the slightest. Since the trial of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation had already gotten started, and although the specifics were somewhat different from the Starry Sky Divine Night Yang Hao Yu stories, the global situation was still quite a bit similar. Some time back, in Holy City, Ong Hao Yue had narrated to him some specific details regarding the trial given by the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation. Yang Haoyu had told him that the trial was not just a simple battle, but a series of tests. On the premise of being a qualified holy knight, only when the divine throne of eternity and creation gives its approval will the tested person be enabled to enter its world to undergo the trial. Chapter 734, The Trial of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, 2 The trial was formed of a series of missions, and only by completing all of them would one have the possibility of gaining the approval of the divine throne of eternity and creation. As for the missions involved, according to the records of the Night Temple's elders and Yang Haoyu's personal experience, each trial differed from every other, but the common part was that each time involved a series of missions, chained each to the others and not allowing of the slightest mistake, as one would be followed by the trial's failure, getting the one involved transported back. All Yang Haoyu's attempts had ended in failure. His warning to Long Haochen was that during the trial given by this divine throne of eternity and creation, the biggest challenge was absolutely not the test of strength, but the test of heart and humanly attributes. 
His two failures were on this aspect. And, the last time was when he was the closest to that point, only to be finally informed by the divine throne of eternity and creation that his light was not pure enough, and had created too many spiritual bonds. Thus he would be rejected forever. These spiritual bonds referred to the starry sky mythological beast. But back then, after Yang Haoyu had pondered over and over again, he still chose not to forsake the starry sky mythological beast. Not only were the two of them deeply attached to each other, even if he had forsaken the starry sky mythological beast, that would perhaps only make the final trial even harder to complete. He told Long Haochen to learn from him, not to compromise in his qualifications in the initial determinations, but insist in showing all he has. Back then, maybe Yang had not been persevering enough, because after rejecting him in the end, the divine throne of eternity and creation had told him if you don't even have the conviction to insist, how can you even gain approval and reach terms? This, in addition, was the reason why Long Haochen had not moved in the slightest in those previous four days, and had allowed the divine throne of eternity and creation to exert such an immense pressure without batting an eye. By insisting on showing his own dedication, as expected, the divine throne was really the compromising side. Although Hao Yue had also compromised on this aspect, the fact that Hao Yue's bloodline force within Hao Chen's body did not stop the trial from getting started implied that the divine throne of eternity and creation did not necessarily require a body of absolute purity. These thoughts only briefly flashed through Long Hao Chen's mind, as a multicolored gold spread out in front of him, forming an immense curtain of light to block the bash from that pair of immense hands. With a large bang, Long Hao Chen felt as if smashed by a mountain. His body was propelled through the air, and although he did not sustain wounds, his heart of eternity instantly increased its throbbing speed by threefold. While his body was blasted back, his right hand brushed through the air at his side, just so as to sweep across that girl's waist, and carried her away with him in the midst of a screech. In the meantime, the body landed down in the forest below, and because that massive figure was already completely exposed above the treetop, Long Haochen understood that dealing with it in the air was no wise choice. This was a kind of monster resembling a gorilla. Only, it had a pair of immense wings grown on its back. Its thick and solid body measured over 20 meters, and its shoulders were over 10 meters broad. This was also why he had brought such immense shock to Long Haochen before. Those terrifyingly thick hands were its absolute best weapons. His dark gold hairs were even a match for armors of epic tear. As its fierce bloody red colored eyes gazed at Long Haochen, two blood colored lights shot out from his eyes, heading straight for Long Haochen. The multicolored golden curtain vanished for a slight moment before it shrank for a bit, protecting Long Haochen and the white clad girl Cece in its midst. A terrible scorching feeling of burns instantly spread to the divine snail shield of sun and moon, as a vast area of the surrounding shrubs turned into ashes. The tyrannical impact force used up a large amount of Long Haochen's spiritual energy, and furthermore it immediately pushed his body away into the woods. What powerful strength! This immense gorilla's attack force caused Long Haochen deep shock. He even bore some doubts toward Yang Haoyu's judgment. Didn't he say that in the trial of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, the opponent wouldn't be too strong? But, this gorilla. From these two collisions, Long Haochen could clearly confirm that this was a magical beast of the tenth rank, and not an ordinary one. This offensive power proved a spiritual energy over 200,000, and more terrifyingly, its immense physical power in no way fell short of its spiritual energy. A figure flashed as Long Haochen returned into the woods, and the gorilla appeared out of nowhere, those thick forest trees breaking one after another, appearing like frail chopsticks. The gorilla's pair of giant palms formed a fist, directly smashing toward Long Haochen. As these fists smashed down, an intense red light surfaced atop Haochen. The strong fire essence even caused the air to twist. Long Haochen knew that he couldn't afford to remain in such a passive position, otherwise his body's tiredness would only increase. While thinking so, he flung his right hand backward with strength, and shouted out, Just leave first. Battling with a person on his back undoubtedly greatly affected his battle performance. While throwing Cece from his back, he went to face off against the gorilla's two descending hands. Two divine swords instantly appeared in Long Haochen's hands. The aria of the goddess of light pointed to the sky, and on Long Haochen's back an immense golden figure rose, Light God's Descent. A boundless sword intent spread through a large beam in the sky, rushing straight toward the gorilla's wrists. In the meantime, blue rain, hibiscus of light was also waved forward, and a three-meter-long golden sword struck through, aiming to send the gorilla's head flying. In his understanding of sword intent, Long Haochen's current prowess simply reached number one of the continent. Relying on his sword intent's might, he had defeated countless enemies above him in cultivation. The terror of sword intent lay in its perfect integration of the sword's soul and power. In particular, after Long Haochen's soul's promotion, no matter whether in perception or global strength, he had made some progress. With a sonorous bang, the sword intent expelled from the aria of the goddess of light hit the gorilla's wrist, although the attack STLL kept going. Only, the latter burst out with a painful cry. In the meantime, its eyes once again shot out two red streaks of light, crushing Haochen's sword beam. Long Haochen's figure flashed, his spiritual cavities avoiding the gorilla's fists. However, he had still underestimated this gorilla's strength. With a large explosion in the air, its fists smashed onto the ground, and terrifying earthquakes instantly pounded against Long Haochen's body, causing it to be shot away like a little rock. A severe vibrating force caused the internal spiritual energy within Long Haochen's body to stagnate, his head filling with instant dizziness. This actually even carried seismic waves-like effects. 
Long Houchen was a bit dumbfounded, but his fighting experience proved its worth, as the heart of eternity within his chest throbbed rapidly. Pushing his hands onto each other, the two divine swords made one, turning into the sword of life and creation. After the gorilla's fists pounded a deep hole into the ground, its massive body suddenly jumped out, rushing straight toward Long Houchen. A terrifying flame surged out from its body, appearing gold red in color. The red hot streams of air emanating from it turned a large area of the surrounding plants into ashes. Right this instant an ice blue colored water dragon suddenly came out, heading at the gorilla, and simply intercepting it in midair. The water dragon and the flame emanating from the gorilla caused bursts of white mist, and as the gorilla's body was restricted, its snarls gained even more in fierceness. Long Houchen was slightly distracted. He had made an appropriate response, and was the one benefiting the most from this adjustment period. Turning his head, he caught sight of the young girl Cece waving an ice blue staff and continuously chanting. Catching his glance, she responded with a light nod. Long Houchen also lowered his head toward her, and immediately rushed out. Previously, all his sword intent did to the gorilla was to leave a mark on its wrists. This gorilla's hairs formed the greatest armor, and it had astonishing defense. In strength, this gorilla didn't utilize the power of his domain, but its ability was absolutely describable as terrifying. Both hands grasping into the sword of life and creation, the golden figure behind Long Houchen's back turned even more brilliant. An intense gold instantly filled the air, spreading to the surroundings as it formed Light God Domain. In absolute power, that gorilla's physical prowess added to his spiritual energy placed him completely above Long Houchen. Only by relying on the domain's force could he stand a chance against the gorilla. Upon use of the Light God Domain, Long Houchen shockingly found out that his domain had made considerable progress. This improvement stemmed from his control of the domain, it went from something originally somewhat hard to control to a relaxed feat his perception of all light became many times higher than before. In this world full of light essence, light was in no way lacking. The pure light essence, under the appeal of the light god domain, immediately gushed toward Long Houchen like a river. A dim smile surfaced on his face, and while the light god domain was in the midst of expanding, it encompassed Cece as well as that gorilla. Cece found out with shock that her own spiritual energy instantly felt as if boundless. That light of extreme purity actually changed into the water essence characteristic of her body. Her use of magic didn't change, but was turned into a dual elemental water and light magic. And moreover, there was no longer need for worry about the supply of spiritual energy. Chapter 735, The Trial of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, 3 The gorilla gave off a whole other kind of feeling. It had lost track of Long Houchen and the young girl Cece, as a sticky light essence covered its body from all over. Not only did it give him a kind of slowed feeling, more alarmingly, its body's originally fiery red-colored radiance dimmed completely, and even its hairs which should be reflecting dark gold light had lost their color, leaving a sight of all black. Light's Assimilation All forces related to light would get sucked into the light god domain. Long Houchen's current display was a domain's most basic power, amplification and weakening. The divine sword in his hand was slowly raised. Now Long Houchen was attempting to see what boundary his domain's power could now reach. A soft multicolored light slowly came off from the united divine swords, a light full of aura of life, and, once in contact with Long Houchen's light god domain, immediately produced a chain reaction. Back in the temple's great gathering, Long Houchen's battle with Yang Haoyu had made use of an evolution of the light god domain. But at that time, he was totally pressured by the opponent, completely unable to exert control over his evolved domain. This time was not the same. Long Houchen was finding out with shock that this natural world full of aura of life was, after the evolution of his domain, causing its original intense gold color to disappear. All that was left was only a dim multicolored gloss, but that gloss was encompassing all the surrounding creatures. That was really a splendid feeling. All the vegetation, and even the sky and nature, all became extensions of his spiritual energy and emotional force. He controlled their very lives. Long Houchen's eyes shrank, and immediately, two trees that the nearing gorilla was approaching grew out, becoming multicolored. Their thick branches immediately engulfed that gorilla. While taking control over life, Long Houchen was in focusing deeply. This instant, he felt the bottleneck that had been limiting him getting split abruptly as the suppressed spiritual energy gushed out at once. The multicolored gold surrounding his body became even more intense and compacted in the process. Within the heart of eternity, the spiritual pellet which was turned purplish gold by Haoyue's blood force changed in the midst of the latter's throbbing, growing larger by threefold in just the blink of an eye. While cultivating one spiritual pellet, everyone would need different methods and encounter different limitations. But, without exception, a change in the spiritual pellet would always mean a qualitative rise. Right, in this world brimming with life, after his soul's sublimation, Long Houchen had finally completed his breakthrough from the second rank, formally reaching the third rank of the ninth step. The domain's power instantly spread outwards, covering an area twice that which was occupied before his breakthrough. Controlling life, what a powerful ability that was. That gorilla had already shattered the two trees, but was completely bound by that multicolored golden light. Long Houchen had a dim smile on his face. Pointing his right hand to that gorilla, he immediately shot two multicolored light rays from his eyes, striking at that gorilla's eyes. The gorilla's body shook violently, as the surrounding multicolored light flocked toward his body. The gorilla's body kept shaking uninterruptedly, a gold-red light gushing out from its body in the meantime, rejecting the multicolored gold. 
However, it was just too weak compared to this post-evolution light god domain. Only a domain could stand in front of a domain. This gorilla's original strength should have been comparable to powerhouse at the third rank of the ninth step, but its flaw lay in the lack of a domain's boost. Without such a support, it had no control over the exterior world, and in front of a domain-wielding powerhouse, pure strength was not of too much use. The gorilla's struggle started to get weaker and weaker, and gradually, its body stopped shaking, as a look of terror gradually filled its eyes. Its massive body was shrunken gradually, starting from a small mountain size it got smaller and smaller. A short while later, the previously unprecedented gorilla was all of a sudden under one meter tall, looking like a mini, yet pretty, version. Right now, it had none of its previous ferocity and its eyes filled with an expression of loss along with a tinge of grievance. Right, this was the power of control over life. Long Houchen had directly turned it back to infancy. It had lost not only its age, but also its strength. Although this was a state that could only be maintained within Houchen's domain, it was enough in the course of a battle. What threat could there be in facing such a miniaturized little guy for Long Houchen? Houchen lifted his right arm, looking at the sword of life and creation, a trace of regret revealing itself on his face. This was because this divine sword coming from the fusion of the Arya of the Goddess of Light and Blue Rain, Hibiscus of Light was gradually falling short of his cultivation, especially noticeable compared to the might displayed by the purplish gold Haoyua sword. He came to understand that although the sword of life and creation was a good weapon, it was in the end no genuine divine tool. In some meaning, it could only be considered a weapon of immortal grade at the nearest level to divine tool. But such a weapon was insufficient to sustain Long Houchen's future growth. This was also why he gave such importance to gaining the approval of the divine throne of eternity and creation. Going from second to third rank, and thoroughly completing his domain's first evolution, now he would no longer need to use the sword of life and creation as an intermediary to achieve that again. Even so, this was a pair of divine swords he would forever treasure, even if they should only be kept for collection in the future. A soft multicolored halation was emitted from the white-clad girl Cece at Long Houchen's side. After escaping danger, Cece was in a much better mood, looking at Long Houchen with a look full of curiosity. Hello sir. Thank you for saving my life. Cece bowed to Long Houchen. Her bearing looked no different from the continent's mages. Now far calmer than before, that irresistible beauty resembling Kyer to some extent, and moreover no inferior to the latter in her looks, gave off the feeling of brimming with life. This was a great fit with Long Houchen's post-evolution light god domain, to the extent that she also got an immense boost from the domain. From Cece's previous intervention, Long Houchen could feel that she was a mage of the eighth step. Such a mage looking only around twenty in age would definitely be a genius among geniuses in the continent. Hello. I just happened to be here at the right time. Why has this gorilla been after you? Long Houchen asked confusedly. Hearing this question, Cece's eyes immediately revealed an expression of sadness, and teardrops fell uncontrollably. That tear-stained peerless beauty really made a touching sight. In front of Long Houchen's firm statement, she couldn't help but shake slightly, causing in him the unconscious reaction of not daring to look at her beautiful face. That's a house pet of the devil. That devil which has killed my clansmen, seized my family, and is chasing me to kill me. If I hadn't encountered you, I'm afraid I would. Long Houchen asked in puzzlement, devil? What devil? Cece took a deep breath, explaining in sadness, a powerful mage. Practically none of us in Easton can even stand in front of him. And, he has an absolute authority in here, all the clans here have to listen to his orders. I had accidentally found a treasure, but he found out for some unknown reason. So he sent people to my clan, requesting it. But this treasure was able to change my clan's future, so our head refused categorically. A few days later, an army came to my homeland. Not even giving the chance for a compromise, they carried out a merciless slaughter. When escaping from there, I personally saw my father, mother, and brother getting seized by their people. As it turns out, this was a world called Easton, an ocean of green nature in a human world. Mostly two races lived there, humans and fairies. This devil the young girl Cece was referring to was the Lord of Easton, known as Easton's King, a half-fairy with a mixed human and fairy bloodline. In control of extremely powerful nature magic, he was the greatest powerhouse of the world Easton. Easton's King was like this world's ruler, he had no army, but his standing was like a king of the forest. Any being going against his wishes would ultimately get killed. His life seemed without end, having already ruled over this world for over 3,000 years. The young girl Cece didn't tell what treasure she had obtained. Long Houchen discerned some precautions in her eyes. How should we handle this gorilla? Long Houchen asked Cece. Cece replied hesitantly, that's the servant of Easton's king, his faithful lackey. No one knows how many humans and fairies have already deceased by his hand. Our Noah clan is pacifistic and doesn't wish for confrontations. If only it could have just remained weak forever, at least there wouldn't be a need for paying lives. Long Houchen furrowed his eyebrows, giving it some thought, let me give a try. Saying so, he slowly lifted his right hand, silently feeling the surrounding light god domain. A soft multicolored radiance started to condense in his hand, filled with the power of life as it formed a small multicolored spiral in his hand. An expression of exhaustion appeared on Long Houchen's face, as he was not only concentrating his force, but moreover borrowing power from the deep mysteries of life. If not for his soul force having made great progress, there would be no way for him to accomplish that. In a flash of multicolored light, that small spiral got flying, and landed on that miniaturized gorilla. 
Chapter 736, Easton's King, I. The multicolored spiral landed on the gorilla's head, and immediately turned into countless multicolored lights making their way into its body. The little gorilla stood unmoving with a blank face, its body filled up with multicolored glosses. What Long Houchen had declared he was having a try about, was mainly about comprehension. After his cultivation had made such a qualitative leap, comprehending nothing was impossible given his level of understanding. Never look down on that multicolored spiral, that's his post-evolution domain's domain technique, an extraordinary life seal. Long Houchen didn't know how long this seal could last, but after it entered the gorilla's body, he found out that all its aura of life was assimilated by his seal. Should no one get rid of this seal within seven days, it would make the life alteration of this gorilla permanent. In other words, really turn it back into an infant. Only by restarting from scratch would it gain the chance of reaching this boundary anew. Withdrawing the domain, although Long Houchen felt somewhat tired, the happiness in his eyes stood with no doubt. He had gained his second domain technique, and this domain technique was truly miraculous. In some meaning, it could determine a person's age, life, or death. To be in control of life, what kind of cheat was that? The young girl Cece couldn't help but stare at the scene in front of her eyes. Although she remained vigilant toward Long Houchen, his domain's power of nature and life had unwittingly raised some feelings of cordiality in her. It should be okay. I have sealed the growth trajectory of his life. His body has been restricted to this state and would only return to its original power after growing back. And that will be a long process. Thank you for your benevolence. May the lords of nature praise you. Cece gazed at Long Houchen and said very earnestly. Long Houchen seemed to want to say something as the emotionless voice from before once again sounded out within him. Second mission opened. Assist Cece in rescuing her family, and moreover, earn her trust and have her take the initiative of offering her treasure. Failure of the mission will cause the test to fail. Although Long Houchen was already thinking that rescuing Cece was just the start of the trial, after accepting the mission, he still couldn't help but be alarmed. Easton's king that Cece had spoken about was absolutely the most terrifying existence of this plane. For one of his house pets to be so strong, how could the person himself reach such a degree of power? Even if he didn't reach a level such as the demon god emperors, at least he would be a match for the likes of the moon demon god or star demon god. Such a degree of strength was nothing the current Long Houchen could contend with, especially when he's unable to get Hao Yu as assistance. Cece, what are your plans from now on? In the previous conversation they had exchanged names with each other. Cece's expression darkened, her cute face showing a helpless expression, I don't know either. That devil is just too powerful, my family. Saying so, she couldn't help but cry again. Long Houchen furrowed his brows, and declared, stop crying for now. It won't solve anything. Tell me in detail, how many clans are there in Easton? Among the lot, some are intimately related to Easton's king, and some are enemies. Although I am thinking of assisting you, I'm still afraid our strength is not sufficient. Saying so, his thoughts only got even more serious. On one side, Long Houchen was standing as an onlooker, but on the other side, Cece had just witnessed his strength, particularly his control over life going through this mystical force. But even after seeing these, she still hadn't asked from him the favor of helping. This proved either that she didn't trust him, or that she didn't believe him to be a threat for Easton's king. Long Houchen was more inclined to believe the latter. After all, he had already rescued her, and although they didn't have a deep contact with each other, his light god physique and the incomparable purity of his light, even if he couldn't gain Cece's complete trust, at least it wouldn't make her apprehensive. Cece silently shook her head, no. Because I have found that thing, I have already caused devastating damage to my clan. I won't give it to that devil, whom I want to destroy. Even at the cost of my life, at worst I will be joining my family's side. Seeing Cece's eyes gradually becoming filled with a resolute look, the first thing that came to Long Houchen's mind was not his own mission, but admiration for this young girl. She was not only kind-hearted, but also courageous. She may not be wise enough, but for such a beautiful girl to still have this kind of character meant she felt extremely attractive to any man. Long Houchen nodded lightly, I can comprehend that you are unwilling to implicate someone else. But that way, I'm afraid your family would hardly make it through alive. Cece replied in distress, perhaps, but that is fate. Sir Long, you have saved my life, and I am unable to return the favor. This Cece was originally about to die. If you give in, I am willing to offer my clean self to you, this could be considered a repayment for the favor of saving my life. Anyway this body will come clean again in my next life. Long Houchen jumped in start, his ears immediately reddening. If he was told this back when he was not very aware of matters between males and females, he wouldn't give it much thought. But just before taking the test, Kyer and him had just crossed the line. That was the first time he had experienced that beautiful act. Cece was moreover such a beauty, her white clothing being completely insufficient to cover up her magnificent curves. When facing a beautiful woman, anyone would show some reaction. One could for instance show admiration, have dirty thoughts, or get awkward and embarrassed. That last was exactly Long Houchen's case. Cece, don't be like that. In front of Cece's expression of distress as she looked about to take him under her embrace, Long Houchen really felt somewhat at a loss. Grabbing her shoulders in his hands in a hurry, he forced her into a certain distance from him. Cece raised her head to look at Long Houchen, her eyes hazy with tears, Sir Long, am I not to your liking, or are you afraid of getting involved with me? My body is really pure, and has never been in any man's hands. 
Hearing all she said, Long Houchen immediately felt his hands loosen as if electrocuted, as he forced a smile. Listen to me, Cece. I just happened to be here to save you, and had no intention to get repaid in such a manner. Moreover, right because I happened to encounter such a matter, I was thinking of helping out. I may not be capable enough to contend against a powerful opponent such as Easton's king. But I will still give it a try. If we are lucky enough, maybe your family can be saved. Even if we are unable to succeed, you mustn't renounce living so lightly. There is always a hope for the living, but nothing can be done for the dead. Cece silently nodded, thank you, Sir Long. I really don't know how I can thank you. As you have saved my life, you can have my body anytime you want. Long Houchen waved his hands repeatedly in embarrassment, don't be like that, Cece. Let's first think up a way to rescue your family. Where did you say Easton's king lives? Are you able to draw out a map? Cece nodded, yes. Immediately, she crouched in front of Long Houchen, drawing a detailed map using branches on the ground. Her drawing was pretty good, and as she drew she also told Long Houchen about the arrangements around Easton's king's residence. Easton's king doesn't have his own army, but wields a formidable power of nature. At least ten magical beasts of that previous gorilla's grade serve as his house pets. If we want to break past them into his cave, then we must avoid its guards. My family is very possibly in the deepest part of this cave. Long Houchen calmly listened to her arrangements, continuously nodding, and engraving her words in his memories. Cece's body frequently let out a thin fragrance entering Long Houchen's nose, different from the fragrance emitted from Kyer's body. The sweetness from Cece's body was imbued with the aura of life, just like a flower full of enticement, fresh and clean, elegant and magnificent. However, Long Houchen showed an unflustered attitude. Neither his eyes, nose, mouth, nor his heart paid any special attention to Cece. The map and arrangements are such. Cece revealed to Long Houchen a sweet smile, apparently having already suppressed her pain compared to before. When she smiled, she truly was a peerless beauty. Long Houchen gave it some thought, I suggest scouting the area first, to search for some specific information. If there is a chance, I will be entering the cave to search for your relatives. Remain outside in a safe spot, ready to provide support. How could that be okay? How could I leave you to take care of my matters all alone? Cece shook her head firmly, I will be entering with you. Back when my father was still alive, he had formerly taken me to Easton's King's Cave, so I'm more familiar than you with that place. And Sir Long, I disagree with your plan. By attempting to scout the area, it would be very possible to inadvertently alert the enemy. In case Easton's King gets on guard, it will get even nearer to impossible for us to succeed. The King has a habit, he takes a nap every day at noon, and for about a duration of one hour. In this process, he will be in a very, very deep sleep, but will have his body protected with a divine tool. His house pets will be guarding him extremely closely at this time, but I believe that this will be our best chance. If we can avoid those house pets as we enter his cave, we will definitely be able to save my family. Listening to Cece's organized and meticulous analysis, Long Houchen had a surprised look on his face, it seems that you were prepared for this a long time ago. The smile on Cece's pretty face stiffened and she sighed softly. With sadness in her eyes, she said, ever since my home was destroyed, I've been thinking about rescuing my family all the time, racking my brains. The method I mentioned earlier should be the most feasible one. At this point, Cece suddenly kneeled in front of Long Houchen. Her actions were too sudden, and immediately gave Long Houchen a fright. Miss Cece, what are you doing? Long Houchen wanted to help her up, but was stopped by Cece's hand. She gave Long Houchen a teary-eyed look, and said, Sir Long, after we enter the cave of Easton's king, I have a request. If we are discovered, I will take the initiative to lead him away. You must take this opportunity to rescue my family. If I can exchange my life for my family's peace, then Cece will die a happy death. Even if my soul goes to heaven, I will never forget your kindness. As she said so, she was bowing to Long Houchen. Long Houchen naturally couldn't let her really bow down, he hurried to support her, Cece, just leave the matter of luring the enemies to me. First of all, I don't know your family, and even if I do, they might not want to go with me. Second, my cultivation is stronger than yours. I'm much more likely to get Easton's king out of here than you are. Besides, I'm a man. How can I let you take such a risky action? However, I am a little worried. How can we enter the cave of Easton's king without being noticed by his pets? Cece thought about it and said, there is a holy medicine in our clan. A holy medicine named lilac intoxicating. After igniting it, one would be able to put the person who smelled it into a delirious state in a short period of time. As long as without any attack, it would take them at least an hour before they woke up. If we can find this holy medicine, we won't have to kill. He would then be able to safely enter the cave of Easton's king. If I remember correctly, there might be lilac intoxicating in a nearby cave, but I'm not sure if it's mature. Long Houchen nodded, in that case, let's go look for it. Do you remember the exact location of that cave? Cece thought about it for a moment and said, I can try and thank you. As she spoke, she released a pair of ice blue spiritual wings. With a sweet smile, she spread out her wings, flying in a certain direction. She unconsciously gave a glance to the golden wings on Long Houchen's back, her beautiful eyes filled with envy. Long Houchen gave her a look. Smiling, he spread his wings and followed. Cece flew in the air first, but she didn't fly too high. She stuck close to the treetops and looked around for a while, before looking at the bright sunlight in the sky. With a wave of her hand to Long Houchen, she chose a direction to fly in. 
The two of them flew for around a quarter of an hour, before descending with Long Houchen, landing beside an especially tall redwood tree. Under this big tree, there was a small hill. Cece said happily, it should be here. A redwood tree is the best coordinate. If I remember correctly, lilac intoxicating is growing in the cave behind this hill. As she spoke, she flew forward at lightning speed, bringing Long Houchen to the other side of the hill. On the surface, there seemed to be no difference from the previous ones. However, Long Houchen used his senses to scan it, discovering that on the surface of the vegetation, there was a hole that was as tall as a human, extending downwards. Moreover, he discovered that there seemed to be a magic array at the entrance of this cave. The reason why he couldn't see the situation inside was because this magic array acted as a magic barrier, and even had extraordinary defensive strength. Long Houchen's soul strength had already reached the state of minute subtlety. Under such close inspection, he definitely wouldn't feel wrong. Cece stood in front of the cave and pointed her right hand at the cave. Suddenly, a white light flashed, and the bushes in front of her slowly opened up. Cece turned around and gave a sweet smile to Long Houchen, after finding out about this place last time, in order to prevent the beasts from knocking on the holy medicine, I left a little illusion here. Long Houchen nodded, I will guard the entrance for you. You can go inside to find lilac intoxicating. Yes. Cece agreed and quickly walked into the cave. Long Houchen shut his eyes, letting the powerful soul force spread out at great speed, sensing the surrounding changes. His right hand was placed on a large tree, and his body was glinting with seven colors. Through his evolving domain, he was increasing the strength of his soul, and in addition, he was using the profound meaning of controlling the progress of his life to enhance his soul perception through the natural environment of the tree. Not long after, Cece came out of the cave with a herb in her hands. Beneath the herb was soil, and under it was a piece of cloth. The herb was exposed to what looked like a one-foot-long plant. It was pink in color and had three clusters of small white flowers on top. It really did look like lilac. Seeing Long Houchen supporting the big tree with his hand, Cece hurried over and said, Sir Long, I succeeded. Look, this is lilac intoxicating. Long Houchen's reaction was somewhat sluggish, and after hearing her voice, he stopped for a moment before turning his head to look at her. Looking at the lilac intoxicating in Cece's hand, Long Houchen asked, Is this herb enough? Cece nodded and said, Lilac intoxicating's intoxicating roots can dispel its hallucinatory toxicity. At that time, we only need to make up a small portion of the population. You've just had a fierce fight with that pet. Why don't we rest for a day and then go to King Easton's cave tomorrow? Although she said so, the anxiety in her eyes could not be hidden. Long Houchen replied, if you can help them to the end, let's set out now. According to the task given to him by the divine throne of eternity and creation, not only did he have to help Cece rescue her family, he also had to gain her trust, thus obtaining the treasure that would exterminate her entire clan. At the beginning, when he received this mission, Long Houchen was in a very difficult situation. The previous task, even if Long Houchen didn't succeed, he could at least try his best to finish it. However, the latter was contrary to his principles. But now, he seemed to have found some clues regarding the mission. Cece gave a deep bow to Long Houchen, her beautiful big eyes filled with mist. Brother Long, we have known each other for such a short time, yet you are doing your utmost to help me, I remember this love. If we succeed in this trip, I will repay you tenfold, hundredfold. As long as I can save my family, I am willing to give you the job of horse or cow. After saying this, she immediately turned around and flew away, as if she was afraid she wouldn't be able to control her emotions. However, she didn't rush out of the treetop, instead dodging the trees in the forest. Although Cece's cultivation was inferior to Long Hao Chen's, she was a mage of the eighth step, so her flying speed was very fast. Moreover, her flying skills were quite impressive, but the speed she was traversing through the forest did not affect her speed much. As for Long Hao Chen, he wouldn't have a problem either. Back when he was on the second floor of the Tower of Eternity, he had fully trained his flying skills. With his powerful perception, he followed a 30-meter distance behind Cece, maintaining an equal distance from her. After flying at high speed for over half an hour, Cece chose a very covert route. During this time, Long Houchen could sense several large villages through his spiritual perception. However, they were all cleverly avoided by Cece. She clearly knew the location of these villages. In the distance, a green mountain completely covered in vegetation appeared in Long Houchen's perception. The mountain wasn't too high, not even a kilometer, but after reaching this place, the life energy of nature was at least three times richer than when he first arrived in this world. Cece slowed down, coming to Long Houchen's side, and said in a low voice, Big Brother Long, from now on, we have to restrain our breath. King Easton must not have even started his nap yet. His senses were extremely powerful. We must be careful. His cave was halfway up Easton, not far ahead. As we are approaching Easton, I'm going to light the lilac intoxicating. As she said so, she handed a thin root to Long Houchen, indicating that he could put it in his mouth. Long Houchen did as she said. As the root entered his mouth, he immediately felt a cooling sensation spread throughout his entire body, giving him a comfortable feeling. Cece advanced very carefully, and Long Houchen's body emitted a faint golden light, covering both him and Cece within it. Cece gave him a surprised look, because she discovered that she seemed to have turned into a ray of sunlight. Other than the pure light of the sun, there was no other trace of light. Long Houchen revealed a smile, pointing ahead, hinting that she could set off. 
After flying for about a quarter of an hour, she directly retracted her spiritual wings and landed on the ground. Although she was a mage, with the nourishment of spiritual energy for her body, her movements could still be considered agile. Long Hao Chen took the initiative to lead her, opening up a path filled with vegetation, making it a bit difficult for her as a mage to walk. Forward 50 meters, turn left 10 meters, continue forward 20 meters, then turn right 15 meters. Slightly slower. Behind Long Hao Chen, C.C. Si kept directing him forward. Long Hao Chen was extremely cooperative, and under her nervous gaze, he didn't make the slightest mistake. However, he was still surprised by how familiar she was with the holy mountain of Easton. Chapter 738, Easton King, 3 Translator, Ruriko Walking would not be very fast, so it took a quarter of an hour before they reached the foot of Mount Easton. Cece stopped and looked up at the sky. Long Hao Chen turned around and looked at her. Seeing her long eyelashes flutter gently, he could not help but admire her beauty again. Easton King is about to take a nap. Brother Long, it's up to you from now on. I'm going to light the holy herb. As she spoke, she lifted the intoxicating clove and cautiously lit it with an igniter in her arms. Suddenly, a light blue smoke drifted up. Instead of letting the smoke diffuse, Cece quickly released a layer of water curtain to envelope the burning intoxicating clove. As smoke combined with the water curtain, the water curtain turned unique light pink. The intoxicating clove burned fast. In just a few breaths, it became ashes. But the water curtain in Cece's hands turned into an attractive pink one. She flipped her wrist and murmured a few incantations. Suddenly, the pink water curtain began to coagulate rapidly. It turned into more than a dozen pink ice beads in the size of Longan. They were beautiful as pink gemstones. Cece smiled at Long Houchen and said, Only in this way can we store the efficacy of the holy herb. When we enter the holy mountain, detonate the ice beads so that ice fog can work. Now we can go up the mountain from here. Brother Long, we need to hurry up. As Cece spread his spiritual wings again, Long Houchen also spread his wings. They flew up close to the mountain wall. During the flight, Cece threw ice beads in different directions. As she said, when the ice beads flew out, it burst, turned into a pink mist and drifted slowly toward the distance. They did not encounter any obstacles along the way. Soon, a huge natural cave emerged ahead of them. But at the entrance of the cave, Long Houchen felt four strong breaths. Cece flew to Long Houchen and made a slow-down gesture. An ice bead flew up and burst in the air, and then the ice fog quietly drifted toward the hole. Very soon, the four powerful breaths faded. Long Houchen was surprised. As a matter of fact, intoxicating clove was potent enough to produce the desired effect. The people that guarded Easton King's cave must be the ninth rank strong ones. He wondered whether he could use the power of light to neutralize the toxicity if he didn't put the herb's root in the mouth. Then, they flew up and landed at the entrance of the cave at the same time. A trace of excitement flashed across Cece's eyes. On the ground fell four huge bodies. They were identical to the gorillas Long Houchen had seen before. Even when they fell asleep, the huge body seemed to have a tremendous sense of strength. However, they just fell asleep and breathed smoothly. Seemingly knowing the doubts in Long Houchen's heart, Cece smiled and said, Don't worry, Brother Long. Although the efficacy of intoxicating clove is very strong, it has no effect on the overmatches. Otherwise, I can use it to save my family directly. Let's come in quickly, or we'll be late. Easton King's cave was very wide. When they entered the cave, they were surrounded by the strong natural breath, which contained huge vitality. Long Houchen felt that pores of his whole body seemed to open. He took a deep breath, and then his inner spiritual power rose at an amazing speed, which was comparable to his spiritual concentration practice. How could vitality enhance my spiritual power? Long Houchen knew very well that this was impossible in the past. It must because his cultivation was successfully promoted from the second to the third level of the ninth rank. Cece waved her small hand to show Long Houchen the way and accelerated to fly toward the deep cave without putting away the spiritual wings. This natural cave was so gigantic that they could feel it spacious after entering it. It seemed that half of the mountain had been hollowed out. Long Houchen and Cece was just like two negligible insects flying in it. And there was no artificial trace in this miraculous cave. It should form naturally, so it was really amazing. With no time to appreciate the magic cave, soon they arrived at the depths of the mountain. Just then, a strange voice came into Long Houchen's ear. Grunt, grunt, grunt. The deafening grunt made Long Houchen's expression suddenly strange. Is this the Eastern King? Cece nodded and whispered, he has fallen asleep. That's his grunt. Let's go quickly. Long Houchen felt funny. Did it mean that the more powerful, the louder his grunts were? This place was the widest part in the whole cave. After searching for a while, Cece took Long Houchen to a huge stone, behind which had a passage straight inward. The passage was only one person high with a huge stone in front of it. If they hadn't gotten so close, it would be impossible to find it. Brother Long, this passage should lead to the back hole. My family should be imprisoned there. I. Speaking of this, she paused and looked at Long Houchen, restraining the words which sprang to her lips. Long Houchen said, go and rescue them. I'll wait for you here. If Easton King notice us, I'll help you get rid of him. Cece lightly bit her red lips, gazed deeply at Long Houchen and suddenly plunged into his arms. 
Long Houchen was tightly hugged by her defenselessly. Brother Long, as long as I can save my family, I will be your maid and serve you all my life. Then, she turned around and rushed into the cave. Long Houchen lifted his right hand and patted her back across the air. A small colorful vortex rushed into Cece's body. She felt that her spiritual power suddenly increased. She could not help looking back at Long Houchen gratefully. Be careful, Long Houchen advised her. Cece gently nodded, then accelerated again, and disappeared in the passage. With a leap, Long Houchen jumped onto the boulder in front of the passage. At this moment, the loud grunt stopped suddenly. Who dares to enter my forbidden land? The sound was as loud as his previous grunt. His voice echoed like thunder in the huge cave, which was over 300 meters high. Long Houchen's eyes flashed, and the light from his eternal heart fluctuated violently. Evolution in the domain of Light God enabled him to directly transform the external breath of life into his own spiritual power. When the breath of life came into the range of 10 meter away from his body, it turned into countless green light spots and merged into his body, which looked very unique. A terrifying momentum poured in from all directions in an instant, while the bright seven-color light gushed out of Long Houchen. How could he not display his domain in the face of the strong people like Easton King? Before Easton King's arrival, the light of the green domain came first. Easton King's domain color was very special. It was green, bright, and noble. The rich and pure breath of life was not inferior to Long Houchen's achievements in light. When green light and seven-color light met, a strange scene appeared. There was no collision between the two domains, and they quietly blended together after contact. Bright seven-color light got the upper hand. After touching the green domain, it became more dazzling. In the blink of an eye, Long's domain expanded by more than one-third. Gee, the loud voice seemed confused, then Long Houchen found a figure in the center of the green light and got shocked. At the same time, the green domain shrank backwards, keeping a certain distance away from Long's light domain. Long Houchen would not be so surprised if Easton King's body was enormous, or even bigger than the gorillas outside. Actually, this king of Eastern world, who frightened Cece so much, was, too short. Could he be 166 centimeters high? That was at most. If he stood in front of Long Houchen, he could not reach Long Houchen's chest position. The Eastern king had short, thick brown hair that was curly and looked unkempt. Wearing a suit of armor which seemed to be made of jadeite, his body shined with dazzling brilliance. Although he was not tall, he was extremely strong. His shoulder width was at least two-thirds of his height, so his chest was broad. Only the nose and eyes were clear on his face with large whiskers. Easton King had a brandy nose, and his eyes were as brown as his hair. He held a huge axe, which was about the size of his body, with his left hand, and a huge hammer, whose size was not much different from the axes, with his right hand. It looked really strange that such a short and strong guy held this pair of giant green weapons. Although the two weapons and armor of Easton King were green, Long Houchen immediately noticed that they were all holy weapons. Color might be different, but the breath of holy weapons would not be wrong. The pure breath of life turned the whole cave green. However, Easton King's strong momentum didn't produce much pressure on Long Houchen. The domain of light god covered the area within 30 meters of Long Houchen. As soon as any green light entered this area, it would immediately become part of the domain of light god. Long Houchen had just completed his step up, and in addition to the short time he had taken in the life domain of Easton's king, he felt as if he was in an unprecedented state of power. But the heart of eternity on his chest kept beating, as if recovering his spiritual energy. Human, why did you enter my territory? The voice of Easton's king was still deafening, in contrast to his body. Long Houchen replied in a deep voice, Easton's king, for your own selfish desire, you bullied the weak, and committed the crime of clan extermination. I will make you pay for it today. As Long Houchen said that, he put his hands together above his head, and the aria of the goddess of light merged with blue rain, hibiscus of light. Dazzling rainbow lights rose up, and his light god domain rippled outward like a ripple of water. Bullshit. Easton's king cursed loudly, brandishing his huge axe and his huge hammer at the same time. Immediately, his green-green life domain transformed into countless plants in the air, attacking Long Houchen's light god domain. As soon as the green light entered the multicolored golden light, the result was exactly the same as before. That jade-green color actually only increased the power of the multicolored golden light, and Long Houchen's light god domains might instantly increase, charging even faster. How did this happen? Easton's king was shocked. Hurriedly withdrawing his domain, he leaped up and threw himself at Long Houchen. Domains that were completely restrained were extremely rare. Only when the two domains were in a state of mutual domination to the extreme would it appear. And Long Houchen's domain and the domain of Easton's king weren't only limited to restraint, but also had the characteristics of a being born together. The domain of life of Easton's king could almost be said to be the best fuel for Long Houchen's light god domain, but in the blink of an eye, the strength of Long Houchen's domain surpassed his control. Facing the attack of Easton's king, Long Houchen didn't show the slightest fear, both hands grasping the sword of life and creation and chopping it down on his head. It was a sure a strike. Now, Azura Strike was no longer the same as before, not only mixing the power of Long Houchen's domain with it, but also his comprehension of sword intent and sword spirit. A multicolored golden light fell from the sky like a waterfall, filling the entire mountain. Long Houchen's whole body emitted an unprecedented imposing aura. 
As soon as the green light surrounding Easton's king came in contact with the multicolored golden light from Long Houchen's sword radiance, it was immediately weakened, and even the divine tool in his hand was greatly affected. However, the spiritual energy of Easton's king was far above Long Houchen's. Letting out a loud shout, he brandished the weapons in his hands, and immediately, Long Houchen's sword intent was torn to shreds by a terrifying force. At the same time, he advanced forward, the axe in his right hand clashing against Long Houchen's sword of life and creation. Shock appeared on Long Houchen's face. He never thought that a person or any kind of creature could gain such terrifying power. He was certain that even the demon god emperor wouldn't have such strength in terms of strength. The only difference was that the sword of life and creation was contacted a little bit on the border, and in the next instant, Long Houchen's whole body flew out like an artillery shell, violently smashing against a distant wall. The stone walls in the belly of this mountain were extremely hard, but after Long Houchen's body crashed against it, green-colored debris flew in all directions, forming a huge crater. With Long Houchen's cultivation at the third rank of the ninth step, in addition to suppressing his opponent's domain strength and sword intent, facing the power of Easton's king, this was the result of this. His heart of eternity violently throbbed, but Long Houchen still couldn't help but spit out a mouthful of blood. He felt as if his body was crushed by a huge rock, and his whole body was in pain, especially his arms, which now felt as if they weren't his own. After that instant of contact, the sword of life and creation had already completely split apart, turning back into two heavy swords. And on top of that, fine cracks appeared, as if they were going to break at any moment. Although Houchen's body was rapidly recovering, how could such a battle continue? No wonder, no wonder even his pet had such powerful strength. No wonder his short stature made such a terrifying purr. His power was actually so terrifying. Proud voice of Easton's king rang out, Huh, I has the blood of the king titan. In terms of strength, even if God comes before me, he can only bow his head in submission. Just as he was feeling proud of himself, a dense multicolored golden light slowly floated out from the whole Long Houchen made. Compared to before, this seven-colored colored light was even more intense. And it was following a strange trajectory with a slight hum. Seven colors circulated, and the light actually began to spin rapidly. In the next instant, Long Houchen reappeared in midair. Taking a deep breath, Long Houchen stared at Easton's king with shining eyes, since I have no way to resist against you in terms of strength. Then, I can only use my domain. In the next instant, Long Houchen seemed to have turned into a sun, letting out a multicolored golden light, instantly illuminating every corner of the mountain. Easton's king was also not spared. Although he possessed extremely terrifying power, he was completely suppressed by Long Houchen in terms of his attributes. A multicolored golden light covered his body, and Easton's king immediately felt his spiritual energy being absorbed by that multicolored golden light at an astonishing speed. At this moment, he obviously could not use his domain. That would only speed up the rate at which his cultivation was being devoured by the light god domain. Only by defeating Long Houchen would he be able to get rid of the threat this light god domain posed to him. With a furious roar, the hammer in Easton's king's right hand suddenly flew out, flying in the air like a huge green meteor as it flew at Long Houchen. Long Houchen revealed an indifferent smile, in the contest of strength, even if I were a hundred times better than what I am, I wouldn't be your match. However, your domain has been completely suppressed by me. No matter how strong your strength is, you won't be a domain warrior. As he spoke, the giant hammer flashed past him, but it was only a flash of light that shattered it. The giant hammer soared through the air, arcing through the air just as it was about to make contact with the walls of the cave, returning to Easton's king's hand. Within the cave, Easton's king could only see a rainbow-colored ray. The light god domain allowed him to see only seven colors of the world. The cave seemed disappeared, and everything around him was just the colorful ray. Just as Long Houchen had said, without a confrontation between domains, ordinary powerhouses wouldn't have the slightest chance of fighting against a domain powerhouse of the same level. The domination of the domain alone made him powerless. Easton's king was silent, his brown eyes shining. He kept a pair of huge weapons on either side of his body, sensing Long Houchen's location. But he soon found that it was useless. Because in Long Houchen's domain, the only thing he could sense was light. He couldn't detect even a trace of his soul aura. Long Houchen was currently hidden in the light god domain, healing his body at high speed while his brain was operating at high speed. If not for his domain of absolute restraint, even the strongest human expert in the holy demon continent, Yang Haoyu the divine star knight, wouldn't be a match for Easton's king. His strength was too terrifying. Within his domain, the power of life was even purer. Fortunately, Long Houchen's light god domain had evolved, and after obtaining the ability to control the progress of life, he was able to achieve the effect of fusion of life energy. Otherwise, he would have no other choice but to escape. Under the influence of the light god domain, his spiritual energy was greatly reduced. No matter how strong his physical strength was, after losing the support of his spiritual energy, he could only be slowly ground to death by Long Houchen. Easton's king's eyes were filled with unwillingness. This battle had been too stifling. He had never thought that there would be someone with a domain that could restrain his domain so much. One must know that his life domain had a powerful ability to control the life force of all animals and plants. Once it was covered by his domain, the life force of the enemy would be rapidly drained. No one had ever been a threat to Easton's king. However, contrary to his expectations, he was in big trouble today. In the face of the light god domain that Long Houchen had evolved into, it was like a firewood meeting fire. And then his firewood would have to be lit. 
With a roar at the sky, Easton's king's life force erupted like a geyser. The hidden life realm bloomed once again. Although he was only drinking poison to quench his thirst, this was the only way for him to discover Long Houchen's position through the collision of domains. In a flash, Easton's king's speed reached its peak, while at the same time, the weapons in his hands flew out, covering the direction Long Houchen was in. These two divine artifacts rapidly pounced at Long Houchen, but just as they were about to come into contact, they clashed against each other, letting out an extremely terrifying explosion. A thick layer of emerald lightning spread out in all directions, covering an area of at least 300 square meters. Ha, huh, let's see where you can run now. Being struck by my unparalleled thunder, even if your domain restrains me, you will fall into a state of paralysis and shock. Eh. At this point, Easton's king realized that something was wrong. This was because he discovered that Long Houchen's figure had disappeared, and the light god domain was speeding up its assimilation into his domain of life. No, that's impossible. Easton's king caught the two flying divine artifacts with a look of disbelief. C740, the Queen of the Moon and the Tree of Destruction, too. Long Houchen's voice came from all directions, there's nothing impossible about this. For I am not merely the domination of the realm over you and have restrained you. My soul force is also more powerful than yours. Therefore, even if my domain collides with yours, I can suppress your perception and prevent you from finding out where the real me is. Although he said that, Long Houchen was in fact shocked. The collision between those two divine artifacts was simply too terrifying. If he was in that range, he wouldn't die. At the very least, he would be completely restricted, or even sealed. Easton's king could turn the tide and win the battle. The face of Easton's king was filled with unwillingness, but he had no choice but to quickly retract his life realm. If he didn't retract it now, the consumption of his spiritual energy would only increase. And Long Houchen's domains might kept increasing, even increasing the speed at which his spiritual energy was being absorbed. Believe it or not, I'll use all of Easton's life force to blow up your domain. Easton's king raised the divine artifact in his hands and threatened. Long Houchen showed a smile, you can try. Don't you think that if you really did that, you'd be melted first before my domain could explode? Easton's king was instantly speechless. He was truly unwilling. He knew that his opponent's strength was inferior to his, but he was still unable to defeat his opponent. This sort of feeling was definite not comfortable. Of course, he could also escape through the protection of the life realm. But as the king of Easton, if he gave up his own territory and fled, how could he continue to rule Easton? Just as the king was in a rage, the multicolored light around him slowly retreated, and Long Houchen's body appeared. After a period of recovery, the injuries caused by the blast had already recovered. And because he absorbed a large amount of life force to replenish his domain, not only did his previous use of the Light God domain not consume any of Long Houchen's spiritual energy, it even nourished his own body, restoring most of his spiritual energy. The king's face was extremely ugly. Of course, only he could feel his expression, and all Long Houchen could see was that big beard. But he could still see the extreme reluctance in the eyes of Easton's king. Human, are you here to humiliate me? Easton's king growled. Facing Long Houchen, he was clearly in an invincible position. Although he recovered his domain, Easton's king knew that he didn't have the ability to instantly kill his opponent. At the same time, he couldn't do that either. It was just like how he could also feel that Long Houchen wouldn't kill him. Long Houchen shook his head, of course not. I was invited to deal with you. She told me that you killed all her people for her treasures and kidnapped her family. I came here to help her rescue her family. Bullshit. I am the spokesman of the Lord of Nature in the world, the embodiment of nature and the will to live. How could I do such a thing? Although you have the heart of light and the glory of supreme light, you cannot insult me. I am the child of the Lord of Nature. Easton's king was enraged, and the terrifying divine artifacts in his hands began to clap against each other. Suddenly, he seemed to have thought of something and asked urgently, Who is this person that you were talking about just now? I want to know who dares to slander the spokesman of the Lord of Nature, the great Easton's king. Just as Long Houchen was about to open his mouth, the whole cavern shook violently, and immediately, an indescribable great power spread out from the cavern that Cece had just entered. It was also the power of life, but this power wasn't the power to create life, it was the power to destroy life. When Easton's king sensed the presence of this aura, he immediately turned pale with fright. However, he didn't take any action, as if he was extremely afraid of this destructive power of life, and rapidly retreated to the side, even dodging behind Long Houchen. At that very moment, a white figure drilled out from the cave. As soon as she appeared, the power to destroy life immediately burst out. Terrifying fluctuations of spiritual energy pressed Long Houchen and Easton's king against the distant stone walls at the same time. However, they quickly adapted to this force and immediately flew back into the air. Easton's king looked at Long Houchen with both alarm and anger, you. You actually let someone sneak into the forbidden area and steal the seeds of the Tree of Destruction? Do you know that this would upset the balance of the entire Easton world, and would even make all living things in the Easton world into nothingness? Naturally, the white figure that flashed out was Cece. At this moment, in her right hand was a very strange stone. The stone looked strange, half gold, half silver. It emitted a faint golden and silver glow. At the place where the two colors intersected, a small sapling appeared. The sapling was a light purple color with faint purple spots. And the immense destructive power Long Houchen felt before was actually emitted from this little sapling. Undoubtedly, this was the seed of the Tree of Destruction that Easton's King had spoken of. 
Cece, did you save your family? Long Houchen asked. Cece raised her head to look at Long Houchen and King Easton, startled, and asked back, Why didn't you leave him away? Long Houchen replied, My domain just happened to restrain his, so I defeated him, so naturally there's no need to draw him away. You haven't answered my question. Cece smiled sweetly and said, It's all right, it's not important anymore. Brother Long, thank you for helping me obtain the seed of the Tree of Destruction. From now on, I am the ruler of this Eastern world. I will grow with the growth of the Tree of Destruction. Until I turn this place into my god-slaughtering domain. I didn't expect you to be so powerful that even King Easton could defeat you. However, since you defeated him, why didn't you kill him along the way? This is good as well. I'll do it myself then. When King Easton saw Cece, he immediately became enraged. It's you. So it's you. Queen of the Moon, what are you planning to do? The last time you stole the Divine Stone of Sun and Moon was because of the Tree of Destruction Seed. Do you want to destroy Easton? Hearing name of the Queen of the Moon, Long Houchen was startled, and couldn't help but think of Queen of the Moon, who was far away in the Demon City. After so many years, he didn't know how she was doing. However, the Demon God Emperor had said that he wouldn't harm her. Was she all right now? Cece sneered, Shorty, if you weren't so anxious to force us, the Moon Clan, to lose our chance of survival, why would I take such a risk? The moment I planted Lord Tree of Destruction on the Divine Stone of Sun and Moon, I changed my faith. King Easton, I may not be able to kill you today. However, once Lord Tree of Destruction grows up, I will be the first to find you. Long Houchen wrinkled his brows, calmly looking at Cece, Cece, this doesn't seem to be the same as what you said. It seems that you didn't come here to save your family. Cece looked at Long Houchen with a complex look, lightly sighing, Brother Long, I'm sorry, I lied to you. But I had to. You're too kind and trusting. But it's worth it for me to use you. You are so handsome, but you carry the inheritance of light. Don't worry, when I've completely merged with the Tree of Destruction, I'll definitely find you the best tomb. Of course, if you give up your faith in the light and follow me through the mysteries of the dark, I will not only not kill you, but I will even marry you and become your wife. After all, an outstanding human being like you is just too rare. As she spoke, Cece's body began to change. Her ears became sharp, and her black hair slowly floated in the air. It seemed as if a black wave was spreading out from her back. Three pairs of transparent but faintly glowing black wings unfurled. Her impeccable appearance was filled with a mysterious allure. Her aura also increased dramatically. Although she was not as powerful as King Easton, she was at least a domain-level expert. Cece's voice was no longer gentle, but filled with pride. Let me introduce you again. I am the Master of Darkness and Water, Queen of the Moon Knight of Easton. The leader of the Night Elves. My people have been forced by you humans and elves to gradually go extinct. If I don't act now, my tribe will really be exterminated. So what I said to you before was not all a lie. As for my parents and relatives. They don't exist. As the Queen of the Moon, I am the ruler of the darkness. I don't need any blood relatives at all. Hearing her words, Long Hao Chen watched her silently, but the expression on his face didn't have much of a change. King Easton let out a loud shout, and the two divine artifacts in his hands clashed against each other, causing the divine life domain to immediately release a dark green luster, Queen of the Moon, do you think you can still leave today? Queen of the Moon Cece showed a smile, can't I leave? If it was before, perhaps you would still have a chance to keep me here. But now. As she said that, she slowly raised the Tree of Destruction in his hand, letting out a dense dark aura that rapidly followed the cold chill into the divine stone of sun and moon. Immediately, a terrifying pressure that was several times stronger than before burst out, causing King Easton's life realm to rapidly shrink back. The Tree of Destruction is the companion of the Tree of Eternity, and the Tree of Eternity is the home of the Lord of Nature. Although you are the spokesperson for the Lord of Nature, how can you contend with the Tree of Destruction? Even if the Tree of Destruction has only just sprouted, your power isn't enough to stop me from leaving. C741, The Queen of the Moon and the Tree of Destruction, 3. With a flash, Long Houchen stood in front of Easton's king, and a multicolored golden light instantly bloomed, protecting the life realm of Easton's king. The Tree of Destruction's destructive life force was not as powerful in his light god domain as it was in his life realm. At least, Long Houchen didn't retreat. The two domains clashed with each other, producing a slight sound. Cece's face revealed a trace of resentment, Sir Long, are you going against me? Long Houchen wrinkled his brows, it seems that I was wrong. Cece giggled and said, what's the point of knowing now? A good person like you will always be at a disadvantage. Consider my proposal. Follow the darkness, and I will keep you by my side forever. Below one person, above all others. Long Houchen lightly shook his head, although I was wrong, it's not too far off. A good man is not necessarily a fool. It's not too late to make up for my mistake. Huh. Cece looked at Long Houchen with some doubt, but the spiritual energy infused into the Tree of Destruction sapling was even more intense. Long Houchen raised his hand, pointing at this Queen of the Moon, a bizarre multicolored golden light suddenly burst out from her body. The soft golden light seemed to have no destructive power, but the process of the multicolored light spreading out made Cece shriek loudly. Her dark spiritual energy was instantly blocked. Soon after, her body began to show signs of shrinking. You, you put a curse on me. You bastard. Cece's voice became more and more shrill and immature. 
In just a moment, her body shrank to the size of a three- or four-year-old girl. Even the divine stone of sun and moon needed both hands to hold it. It is not just vitality that is declining, but also strength. Even though Cece's mind was still the same as before, her powerful domain level cultivation was completely gone. Naturally, he could no longer control the destructive power of life. So you're actually this despicable. You actually planted a seal in my body. Cece stared at Long Houchen with her childlike voice. It had to be said that not only was she originally a beauty, but after she became a little girl, she was also a beauty, and she was even more adorable. The six wings on her back had also become small and delicate, and she looked rather playful. Long Houchen shook his head, I am not the despicable one. Because I saw through your lies, so I left a backup. If Easton's king is truly an evil man as you say, then I will do my best to help you. Unfortunately, you lied to me. It's useless. Even the power of this tree of destruction can't remove my seal. That's right, I definitely don't have the same level of power as the tree of eternity that you speak of. But one thing I can be sure of is that my light is at least on the same level as the tree of eternity. Cece murmured, you're lying, you're lying. You didn't see my scheme at all. It is because you despicably wanted to obtain the treasures on my body that you cursed me. Long Houchen gave her an indifferent smile, if others don't know about it, I won't do it. Since that's the case, I'll make you accept it wholeheartedly. First of all, you thanked me before we went into action for the flaw in your speech, even dead, the soul goes to heaven, not to return to the embrace of the Lord of Nature. I suspected you then. Because, as you said before, in Easton, both humans and elves are subjects of the Lord of Nature. And then, before we went looking for lilac intoxicating, you looked at my wings with a hint of envy in your eyes. My perception is very high. Perhaps you think that your concealment is flawless, but I still managed to discover it. It's too easy to get lilac intoxicating. Since it's holy medicine, why don't you plant it in the tribe's cave? And, you said then, what you left there was only a little trick. However, according to my spiritual detection, there is an attacking magic in the area of your barrier. That magic strength is comparable to a forbidden spell. These, though they arouse my suspicions, are not the most important. What really made me completely certain in my heart, was your strength concealment. When we were close to Easton Hill, you landed on the ground and walked forward, and I felt the sole ripple of Easton's king. Although he was about to enter his afternoon nap, his powerful senses encompassed a large area. It was only because of the fluctuations of the natural elements in the air that he missed a few things. And as we move forward, you direct me to change direction, in effect avoiding the king's perception. In other words, your perception is absolutely not inferior to mine. With such a perception, how could you possibly be as simple as a mage of the eighth step? Furthermore, according to your perception, you obviously don't trust in my domain's ability to conceal myself. In addition to these discoveries, there is my understanding of Easton's world. I can tell you frankly that I didn't belong to this world, but I have the same light as this world. My soul power is far above yours, even above Easton's kings. When you take the lilac intoxicating and pour them out, I use my own soul power to communicate with the soul of the world that belongs to nature. I felt their faith as I communicated with them through a tree, and I felt their feelings for Easton's king. I asked them with my soul. But none of the creatures that answered my question bore any hostility to Easton's king. At that point, I was sure of my judgment. But I came with you, because I wanted to figure out what your purpose was. If I had exposed you, I would have left a time bomb in Easton, no doubt, and I would have been curious about your purpose. So I came with you. Fortunately, you didn't lie about the lilac intoxicating. That would only make people drunk without causing any harm. Otherwise, I would have already made my move. At this point, Long Houchen revealed a smile, looking even more enchanting with his handsome face, the most intelligent thing about you is that your words are 90% true, and only 10% of them are false. Add to that the sincerity in your eyes and your own beauty, and it's really easy to fall for. However, a wise man must have one mistake, not to mention that you have exposed so many flaws. Before you entered that cave, my palm was indeed a boost to you. But what you said had to be true. In order to gain my trust, you didn't resist my power. If my guess is correct, after entering the cave, you immediately used your water-attributed power to guide my the power of light out of my body, right? Unfortunately, you can't lead my domain out. In terms of cultivation, you aren't any weaker than me. Maybe even stronger than me. However, after my domain skill invades your body and takes root in it, even with your cultivation level, you will not be able to offset it. The name of my field technique is control of the process of life. Maybe I can't really turn you back into a cute young girl like what I did on that gorilla, but I can seal you for at least an hour without a problem. Right? Queen of the Moon. Queen of the Moon was unwilling to accept this, but you still fought against Easton's king. Aren't you afraid he'll kill you? What if you can't beat him? How can you be so sure of yourself? Long Houchen replied, that's right, I don't know whether I can defeat Easton's king or not. But I was sure he wouldn't kill me. You can't understand it. That's because you don't understand enough about light and nature. What is the source of life? Light and water. It takes light and water to give birth to nature. I fought with Easton's king so that I could take a step closer to confirm his abilities. As I had expected, Easton's king had the purest powers of nature and the life domain. Then how could a pure breath of life be possessed by an evil person? At the same time, I also revealed my domain to Easton's king. Although this was my first time meeting him, judging only by our attributes, it made it impossible for us to become real enemies. Naturally, they wouldn't kill each other in battle. I had already made such a judgment long before I came here. What else is there to be afraid of? 
Long Houchen's words were neither slow nor fast, and had a reasonable basis. His voice was very calm, but in the ears of Queen of the Moon, Cece, it was as loud as thunder. You, you. Without the influence of the destructive power of life, Easton's king came to Long Houchen's side, giving him a glance, intelligent humans are really terrifying. Fortunately, you didn't make a big mistake. Long Houchen made an inviting gesture, since this tree of destruction is in your custody, please take it back. At this moment, Cece no longer had any power to resist. Even though she was holding up the tree sapling, she was unable to borrow that terrifying power. However, Easton's king didn't immediately take back the tree of destruction. Instead, he frowned. Cece sneered, you are really smart. But do you think this will stop the tree of destruction from growing? You can kill me. But in the near future, when Lord Tree of Destruction grows up, the Eastern world will sooner or later become its nourishment. By then, you will all die. Long Houchen wrinkled his brows, isn't it just a little sapling? Can't I destroy it now? Cece laughed. Despite her young age, she was laughing hysterically. What a joke, what a joke. It seems that you really do not belong in Eastern world. The Tree of Destruction and the Tree of Eternity were both eternal and indestructible. After its seed sprouted from the divine stone of sun and moon, it would never be destroyed. If you don't believe me, you can let the dwarf beside you try. Ask him if he can destroy this tree of destruction. C-742, Revive. Ye Ting's kiss, I. Long Hao Chen immediately turned his head around to Easton's king nearby, giving him an inquiring look. Easton's king nodded with a grave look, she is right, the tree of destruction is irreversible after it grows. Right now, what we can only do is to try our best to seal this tree of destruction sapling and slow down its growth. Then I pray to the Lord of Nature. Let's see if the Lord of Nature can separate a branch from the Tree of Eternity and seal it completely. Although Easton's king didn't blame him, Long Houchen could still hear the dissatisfaction in his tone, and couldn't help but say apologetically, I'm sorry, Easton's king. I was careless. I didn't expect that Queen of the Moon would plot so much. However, I must say that your defense towards the Tree of Destruction seed is not very tight. Easton's king was a little embarrassed and said, who would have thought that she would have such an idea? If it wasn't for you, I would have long since discovered that she wanted to lay her hands on the Tree of Destruction seed. There should be enough time to stop her. Long Houchen replied, This matter arose because of me, so I shall be the one to end it. When I entered this place, I sensed the aura of destruction. Easton's king, I ask you one last time, do you really want to destroy this tree of destruction so that it will never appear again? Easton's king said with a bitter face, Of course. My master couldn't destroy it, but he couldn't let it affect the tree of eternity in his realm, so he handed it over to me. Who would have thought that something like this would happen? Long Houchen nodded, In that case, just leave it to me. Actually, destroying this Tree of Destruction isn't that hard. As he spoke, he turned around and waved a hand at the Tree of Destruction. A dazzling golden sword beam shot toward the Tree of Eternity in Cece's hands. Cece still had a sneer on her face, and the corners of her lips curled up in disdain. Although she had failed today, she had already sacrificed her dark soul to the Tree of Destruction. As long as the tree can grow in the near future, in that case, there was still the possibility of her soul recovering. Ding! The sword beam landed on the Tree of Destruction, letting out a crisp hum. A faint layer of purple mist formed a protective barrier around the tree. Long Houchen's sword beam disappeared without a trace of purple light. Long Houchen slowly nodded, it does indeed have a very strong defensive power. Cece disdainfully asked, what's so powerful? It is an unbreakable firmness. Long Houchen revealed a smile, don't say too much. In this world, nothing is impossible. As he spoke, he slowly raised his hands, making a hollow grip in the air. The next moment, nine purplish gold lights appeared on his forehead. At the time these nine patterns of light appeared, Long Houchen, who was originally brimming with holy aura, had a charming look on his face, and even gave a fright to Easton's king, who was standing by the side. But he quickly discovered that Long Houchen's heart of light didn't change at all, only that his strength was somewhat different. Immediately, Easton's king and Cece saw a huge sword start to spread out from Long Houchen's empty hands. The purplish gold sword seemed extremely dazzling, especially the six heads on the hilt of the sword. Each one of them had a cold look in their eyes, as if they were staring at their surroundings. As soon as this purplish gold heavy sword appeared, both the divine artifacts in Easton's king's hands and his divine armor began to emit a slight humming sound. Easton's king said in surprise, My darling, I'm so terrified. You, what kind of your sword is it? Long Houchen revealed a smile, Since you want to destroy the Tree of Destruction, let's call it, Destroyer. Then, its full name is, Destroyer, Violet Gold Moonlight Sword. As he said that, the Violet Gold Moonlight Sword in his hand carried a long arc, aiming straight at the Tree of Destruction in Cece's hand. This time, Cece felt the threat. She wasn't afraid of the Tree of Destruction being attacked, but she was the one behind the tree. She didn't have the defensive power that the tree had. Both humans and elves had a strong desire to live. Almost subconsciously, Cece released the Divine Stone of Sun and Moon in her hands. The violet gold light flashed like lightning, hitting the Tree of Destruction in midair. The violet light that appeared on the Tree of Destruction appeared once again, but its intent was completely different from the sword Longhouchen used to instantly disperse. 
This time, when the purple-colored barrier it emitted made contact with the violet-gold moonlight sword, the two sides actually had a viscous effect. In other words, the tree of destruction that contained the divine stone of sun and moon actually looked as if it was glued to the sky by the violet-gold moonlight sword. Several seconds later, the tree of destruction trembled violently on the divine stone of sun and moon. Layers of purple light grew more and more intense, and there were even some sparkles of purple starlight. The violet gold moonlight sword was still circulating in a purplish gold color, but the six large heads on the hilt opened their eyes widely, as if coming back to life, coldly staring at the struggling tree of destruction. No, that's impossible. Cece stared blankly and said, the power of destruction produced by the tree of destruction can be instantly destroyed by any attack even in its initial state. How could there be a confrontation? Right at the time she looked at him with disbelief, the tip of the violet gold moonlight sword suddenly changed. The sharp tip of the sword instantly transformed into a gaping mouth. It bit through the destructive power emanating from the tree of destruction in a single bite, directly biting into the sapling's body. With a tug, it actually tore the tree off from the divine stone of sun and moon, then swallowed it. The tree of destruction immediately turned into a lump of purple light, disappearing without a trace in the presence of the violet gold moonlight sword. Long Houchen raised his right hand, taking the divine stone of sun and moon which had lost the tree of destruction to his hand. He turned to the stunned Easton's king and asked, is this yours? Easton's king shook his head and said subconsciously, this is a heavenly material that nature gave birth to, and it does not belong to me. You took it back. It's yours. But you, you actually destroyed the tree of destruction? Long Houchen revealed a smile, probably. Don't worry, there won't be any problems. When he entered Easton's king, S cave to sense that destructive intent, how you as mood appeared in Long Houchen's mind. Towards this power of destruction, how you was filled with longing, urging Long Houchen unceasingly to take it away. However, this was where Easton's king was located, so Long Houchen naturally couldn't do this before finding out the truth. At the same time, with how you as warning, he became even more suspicious of Cece. Haoyue also told him clearly that although the destructive power was pure and powerful, it wasn't enough to cause him any harm, and could only serve as a tonic for him. With this thing, he would be able to complete his final evolution in the shortest time possible. This was also the first time Haoyue told Long Haochen that he was close to completing his final evolution. The reason why Long Haochen kept asking Easton's king if he wanted to destroy the Tree of Destruction was to make up for Haoyue's actions. He really didn't know if the Tree of Destruction was really destroyed, but he understood one thing. After being eaten by Haoyue, there was no way he could spit it out. In particular, Hao Yue had told him before that this tree of destruction and it were not on the same level. At this moment, Cece was completely dumbfounded. Her last hope had been shattered. Suddenly, she screamed and covered her head with her hands, rolling around on the ground in pain. No matter how beautiful a little girl was, it wouldn't look good when she cried out crazily in pain like this. Long Houchen was surprised, but at this time, he couldn't come into contact with the seal of his domain. Easton's king, what's wrong with her? Looking at Cece's pain, Easton's king was overjoyed. Powerful human friend, you really did it. You actually did it. She must have sacrificed all the dark side of her soul to the Tree of Destruction. Right now, the Tree of Destruction should have been completely destroyed, and the dark side of her soul should have been shattered. She lost a portion of her soul, which was why she was in so much pain. Look, the dark attribute spiritual energy on her body is beginning to dissipate. Ha, huh, the Dark Elf Queen of the Moon has lost her power of darkness, and Easton will be at peace for a long time to come. There was no threat from the Tree of Destruction. Thank you, my friend, for my friendship with Easton's King will be with you all your life. To Easton's king, the night elves were not a big threat, but they were constantly harassing the peace of Easton. In particular, this time, Queen of the Moon caused this to happen, which naturally made him even more vigilant. Now that her soul was destroyed, and her power of darkness was lost, meaning that the night elves lost their leader, and naturally wouldn't be able to make much of a difference. What made Easton's king even happier was that the Tree of Destruction was completely destroyed by Long Houchen. From then on, he could rest easy, and with his cultivation level, there was nothing in Easton that could pose a threat to him. At this very moment, Long Houchen's heart suddenly stirred, and he unconsciously called out the aria of the Goddess of Light, Blue Rain, and Hibiscus of Light. The collision between the two swords had left behind irreparable marks, and their auras had already become extremely weak. However, at this time, Long Houchen sensed a weak yet extremely familiar breath of life coming from these two swords. Almost without any hesitation, Long Houchen told Easton's king at his side, I need the amplification of your life domain. Help me out. C743, Revive. Yiting's Kiss, too. Easton's king said happily without hesitation, no problem. Come on. As he said so, his dark green life realm expanded, enveloping Long Houchen completely. Long Houchen slowly raised the two swords in the air, staring at them with burning eyes. Taking a deep breath, he stabilized his state of mind, and in the next instant, he slowly brought the broken swords together. The multicolored golden light of the light god domain rose up, completely enveloping the two swords within it. It seemed as if they had fused together, and the aura of life and creation had appeared. However, this amount of power was far too much for the two damaged swords. They began to emit a faint humming sound. Long Houchen shouted in a deep voice, there's no making without breaking. She paid an incalculable price in order to nurture you. Now, I will ask you to fuse with her. Boom. 
The sword of life and creation exploded in an instant, turning into countless specks of light. And among which, the largest one was a ball of golden light. Long Houchen's gaze was locked on that golden light, and at the same time, all these broken specks of light were covered by his light god domain. Time stood still. The power that controlled the process of life instantly enveloped these specks of light. A multicolored golden light accompanied Long Houchen's rapid beating heart of eternity shot out from his chest, directly entering that golden speck of light. Immediately, the golden light began to expand at an alarming rate, and the aura of life grew thicker and thicker. It was as if a small golden embryo was being birthed, and the figure gradually appeared. Immediately, the figure grew in size, and its body began to unfold. There were even three pairs of tiny wings on his back. Her appearance also gradually became clearer, beautiful and gentle, but she was so transparent and weak. Wasn't that Yating? Back then, when Long Haochen was killed by the demon god emperor in the star demon tower, his heart was completely crushed. And where Yating was standing was the meridian point next to Long Haochen's heart. The demon god emperor's attack was just too powerful. As a result, Yating's elf body instantly collapsed. Only when the soul was drawn into the sword by the divine sword because of the battle along with sword of life and creation was it able to avoid disaster. However, her soul had also fallen into a deep sleep due to extreme weakness. Ever since he revived, Long Haochen kept cultivating while searching for traces of Yating. After such a long period of hard work, along with the fact that his cultivation was evolving again and again, he finally discovered a possibility. It was that Yating had truly been transformed into the sword spirit by the two divine swords. Only when they merged into swords of life and creation did Long Haochen feel a trace of Yating's presence. However, even though he knew that Yating's soul might still be present, Long Haochen didn't dare act rashly. If he shattered the two swords, her soul would most likely disperse at once. He might allow her stay in the divine sword. And everything that happened in front of him finally gave him enough opportunities. The evolution of the light god domain allowed him to master the miraculous ability of the life process. He was using his own domain's power to stimulate Yating's weak soul power to evolve. This process was very complicated, and very troublesome, and it consumed Long Haochen's strength greatly. But with Easton's king at his side, Therefore, when he released his domain power, he could continuously increase it without any scruples. Gradually, Yiting's body stabilized. Long Haochen let out a sigh of relief. At least, he was certain that Yiting's soul wouldn't disperse in this state. The following process was even more complicated. Long Haochen started to slowly pour the energy of the two broken divine swords into Yiting's body. Relying on his pure light god domain, Yiting's soul was gradually amplified to an extremely powerful state. Don't forget that Yiting fused with the saint's spiritual stove before, and the saint's spiritual stove's nurturing power is also sleeping in her soul, but this time, she was awakened at the same time. Arya of the goddess of light, blue rain, hibiscus of light, they all had accepted Yiting's nurturing for a long time. Now that they were broken, it wasn't difficult for Yiting to assimilate the pure energy she absorbed into her body and her soul force. It was just that the external force she needed was extremely great. In Midair, one could see that the outermost layer was jade green life realm of Easton's king, inside which was Long Haochen's life god domain, glinting with multicolored golden light. At the very core of the formation was Yiting, letting out a soft golden light. After the two swords broke and fused with her, Yiting's body gradually became more solid, and the aching feeling of weakness gradually diminished. Long Haochen wasn't only infusing her with the power of the two broken swords, but more importantly, her immense vitality, guided by the light as well. To the elves, even the elemental fairy thirsted for life force, let alone the fact that Long Haochen didn't regard Yiting as a pure elemental fairy for a long time. Easton's king's strength was indeed great, and his life god domain was continuously being absorbed by Long Haochen's light god domain without showing the slightest sign of weakening. And outside the cave, a large amount of life energy could be seen pouring in, continuously pouring into his god domain, before continuously increasing Long Haochen's strength. As the ruler of this world, Easton's king had supreme authority here. He was the spokesperson for the lord of nature, the controller of the power of life. If not for the fact that Long Haochen's light god domain restrained him too much, he wouldn't have been able to do anything before. With the strong support of this ally, the difficulty of reconstructing Yiting's body was fundamentally solved. At the same time, he relied on his greatly evolved soul force to control his light god's domain, helping Yiting to reconstruct her body while comprehending the various changes brought about by the evolution of his domain, as well as the mysteries of his domain. With this experience, he could be considered to have truly grasped the third rank of the ninth step. Long Haochen's newly comprehended domain ability could be said to have endless uses for controlling life. The only disadvantage was that it didn't have a strong offensive and defensive ability. Facing an opponent weaker than him, this domain skill was an invincible killing machine, and could even undergo many changes. However, if his opponent also had a powerful domain, then his domain could only be of use in certain areas. In terms of offensive power, it was inferior to the divine halo. Of course, with the comprehension of this domain skill, his light god domain had taken a big step forward. At the level of his skill, it had already evolved to an even more terrifying degree. Finally, after the last fragment of the divine sword entered Yiting's body, Long Haochen's domain stopped its activation. Yiting's whole body was letting out a warm golden glow, and her eyes were wide open. Seeing Long Haochen whose face was pale due to the activation of the domain, her eyes were already filled with tears. However, she was still unable to make a sound. The massive amount of spiritual power in her body was also fusing together in a way that could flip the world upside down. 
The saint spiritual stove's power of nurturing had an enormous effect at this moment. With Long Houchen's previous help from the realm of the gods of dawn, she was able to absorb all the foreign energy in her body. This way, not only did Yating complete the reconstruction of her body, she became even more solid than before. Among the gentle light elements, there hides a spiritual energy belonging to the divine swords. Circles of white light started to emit from Yating's body, and at this time, she was completing the fusion all by herself. Long Houchen had already done everything he could do, and the next step for Yating would depend on her own efforts. Long Houchen waved his left hand, and the distant Queen of the Moon was immediately pulled back by him. At this time, Queen of the Moon was already lifeless. She had lost her dark soul, and although her body was still alive, in reality, she was just a zombie without a soul. Long Houchen placed his left hand on the head of the Queen of Moon, and the Light God's domain instantly rushed into her body. First, the seal on her body was lifted. Immediately, the Queen of the Dark Knight's body grew rapidly in size. However, due to the shrinking, the clothes on her body had already fallen off. Previously, she had only been three or four years old. At this time, his body expanded once more, and that white, sparkling, and flawless body appeared in Long Houchen's and Easton's sight. It was as if Easton's king had met a ghost. He quickly turned his head and muttered something to himself. The beard on his face trembled. It was as if he, who was not afraid of the heavens or the earth, was actually very afraid of a woman's body. Long Houchen's mental strength was far greater than his. He quickly closed his eyes, making sure that he was being rude. But his actions did not change. The Light God's domain invaded Queen of the Moon's body. At this time, she had lost her soul, leaving only her body, but the spiritual energy in her body was still massive. After Long Houchen's spiritual energy entered her body, he first scanned her body. He discovered that Queen of the Moon was an existence of the darkness and water attributes. The strength of his spiritual energy was about the same as before his evolution, and he was also at the second rank of the ninth stage. Although she was a lot inferior to Easton's king, but don't forget, she was at the second rank of the ninth stage. The power of light began to bloom within her, attempting to expel the dark spiritual energy from her body. But very quickly, Long Houchen discovered that doing this was futile. The dark attribute in Queen of the Moon's body was very stubborn. Although without the guidance of her soul, unless Long Houchen completely destroyed her body, it would be impossible for her to cleanse herself of the darkness attribute. Clearly, this was because the Dark Queen's power came from her bloodline. The stubbornness of the darkness attribute brought about by the bloodline was not something that the power of acquired awakening could compare to. C744, Revive. Yiting's Kiss, 3. It's useless. Don't waste your energy. The Queen of the Moon is the leader of the Night Elves, her darkness attribute is deeply ingrained. Although Easton's king didn't turn around to look at Long Houchen's action, his senses were still there, so he could understand what Long Houchen was doing. After all, Yiting was an elemental fairy, and in a sense, was only an existence in her soul form. No matter how real her soul was, it was still just a soul. Long Houchen wanted to find a body for her. The Queen of the Moon who had lost her soul was clearly the most suitable. Being an elf like her, fusing elemental fairy with a true elf was far easier than fusing with other races. However, the prerequisite was that the attributes would be the same and there would be no rejection. Easton's king was the controller of the power of life, so he naturally understood this principle, as well as what Long Houchen wanted to do. But he didn't believe that Long Houchen would succeed. Long Houchen pondered for a moment before replying, perhaps, there is only one other way. As he said that, he lifted his right hand, and imprinted it on the left firm chest of Queen of the Moon. Easton's king couldn't help but be startled by Long Houchen's actions, and hurriedly said, My friend, don't you dare shake your heart of light. He was afraid that Long Houchen would fall for the charm, and that he would do something he shouldn't have done. If that was the case, his power of light would inevitably become no longer pure. Long Houchen lightly shook his head, and immediately, his hand that was pressed against the queen's chest glowed with a faint red light. Drops of blood appeared on his fingers at the same time. After which, it slowly seeped into the queen's skin. You, Easton's king no longer paid attention to not watching the queen of the moon. He suddenly turning around, giving a dull look to Long Houchen. Is that worth it? Even if you succeed, your vitality will be greatly damaged. Even if the elemental fairy doesn't have a body, she will always follow you. Long Houchen lightly shook his head, Yiting is not only an elemental fairy, but also my companion. I never treated her as a follower. She's my friend. If she missed this opportunity, perhaps she would never be able to have a physical body. For me, Yiting has already paid a great price, so what if I only have a bit of my vitality left? Long Houchen had done the same thing once before, back in the past, on the Night Sacred Mountain, in order to save Haoyue's life, he had used his own blood to change Haoyue's attribute. That's right, if he wanted to remove the darkness from the bloodline of the Queen of the Moon, he could only use the power of his bloodline to clean it. Long Houchen wanted to use his own blood to replace the Queen's darkness physique, to create a perfect body for Yiting with pure light god bloodline. In mid-air, Yiting's body trembled slightly. Her emotions fluctuated extremely fiercely. But her fusion wasn't complete yet, and under the control of Long Houchen's light god domain, she couldn't move the slightest bit. She could only watch helplessly as drops of blood dripped down from Long Houchen's hand, entering the body of the Queen of the Moon. Large drops of tears kept dripping from Yiting's eyes. How lucky she was. Fortunately, she had made the original choice. 
Looking at Long Haochen, she suddenly felt her feelings becoming rich and colorful. It was as if he was already a living body and not an elemental body. She slowly closed her eyes, and the light radiating from her body became even more resplendent. Long Haochen used his own actions to let Yating gain an even higher comprehension of the heart of light, and her soul started to evolve along with her elemental body. Long Haochen was no longer the same Long Haochen he was before. That year, in order to save Hao Yue's life, he lost too much blood and almost died. If not for Hao Yue's timely blood transfusion, perhaps he would have died a long time ago. But it was different now. He had the Light God's physique, which was the purest physique in the Shenhua Dalu and in Easton. When his first drop of Light God blood entered the body of the queen, the dark bloodline in her body fluctuated greatly. If the Queen of the Moon's soul was still present, she would still be able to control her strength to forcibly repel, making things difficult for Long Haochen. But right now, she had already lost her soul. Under the headless powers of darkness, all she could do was struggle in chaos. Drip after drip the Light God's blood flowed into the Queen of the Moon's body. Insufficiently pure darkness met with extreme purity of light, and the result could be imagined. The black color was gradually being replaced by a golden color. One could clearly see it. Layers of black fog kept spreading out from the Queen of the Moon's body, and her skin became even more transparent, and started to give off a faint golden color. There was respect in Easton's king's eyes, and for the first time he felt that way about a human being. The elves were ruled under his command. However, even the usually kind elves were incomparable to this man in front of him. He slowly flew to Long Haochen's back, placing both hands on his back. On his chest, a jade green light shone, illuminating Long Haochen's body. One could vaguely see that on Easton's king's chest, a dark green leaf was flashing. It was one of the seven leaves at the top of the Tree of Eternity, and the source of Easton's king's power. He was mobilizing his own life force as well as the immense life force of the Tree of Eternity to help Long Haochen. With the support of Easton's king, Long Haochen's eternal heart had at least doubled in speed. During this rapid throbbing, the circulation of his blood became stronger. With the support of his immense life force, his weak feeling was immediately swept away, and an extremely massive life force appeared in his blood, making cleaning up the dark bloodline of the Queen of the Moon even easier. Finally, the last bit of darkness was removed from Queen of the Moon's body. Her whole body was letting out a holy radiance, and a faint luster was flowing under her white skin. It was like a perfect sculpture. Right at this time, Yiting finally completed the fusion of her own power. A dense white pillar of light shot up into the sky, connecting the top and bottom of the cave. Under the holy light, the three pairs of wings on Yiting's back turned into four pairs, and a golden light one inch long appeared on her forehead. In the midst of her gentleness, her breath seemed to have an indescribable purity and sharpness. Her originally excited look became peaceful, as she silently stared at Long Haochen, just like a child looking at her own father. There was reverence, there was love, and there were also countless positive emotions. Long Haochen revealed a smile, Yiting, this body should be able to contain your soul. Come, as long as the fusion is successful, you would be a true elf. Lightly nodding, Yiting flew in front of Long Haochen, Master, no matter what Yiting looks like, you will always be my master. Long Haochen rubbed her head and said, Silly girl, don't say such things. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have nearly lost your soul. I'm really happy to be able to help you reconstruct your body. I've always treated you like a sister. In the future, you will be my little sister. If you are willing, you can follow my surname and call me brother for life. Yiting's red lips trembled slightly, before suddenly throwing herself into Long Haochen's embrace, bro. Her shout was filled with sincerity. That's right, Long Haochen's blood was flowing through her body. After she merged with that body, she could truly be considered Long Haochen's relative. Long Haochen gently caressed her back, don't cry, this is a day of happiness. Yiting suddenly raised her head, wrapping her arms around Long Haochen's neck, looking at him with teary eyes, Master, before you became my big brother. After saying that, she suddenly kissed Long Haochen's mouth at lightning speed. Her speed was too fast, and all this happened too suddenly. Long Haochen's side was still maintaining the state of Queen of the Moon's body, and was immediately kissed by her. At this time, Yiting still had an elemental body. Her lips were very cold, but she had an indescribable feeling about her. Long Haochen was in a daze, but behind him, Easton's king's expression appeared somewhat strange. The elves' kiss was one of the most precious things in their lives. Elves were a race that cared about relationships. Even the elf king would only have one lover in his, her life. And the way they give their hearts and minds to their loved ones is to give them their kisses. To show loyalty to the lover, and life without regret. Although Yiting was still an elemental fairy, from the golden pattern on her forehead, Easton's king knew that after she obtained her body, she would definitely become an existence on the same level as the elf king. She was even more powerful than Queen of the Moon. Haochen recognized her as his little sister, but she had already given him all her emotions. This guy shouldn't know about the customs of the elves, right? Yiting's kiss was very short, and she gently raised her head, looking at Long Haochen, Master, if there really is an afterlife, I don't want to be your little sister. I want to be your lover. After saying this, her body suddenly flashed, merging into the body of the exterminated Queen of the Moon. Yiting's kiss and her words filled Long Haochen's heart with shock, even more so than the time when he fought against Easton's king. Although he didn't know what the elven kisses meant, he could feel Yiting's feelings for him. However, he was unable to accept this. In his heart, the blind girl from before, his love of the present day. 
On the body of Queen of the Moon, an intense golden radiance started to radiate, as her soul and body started to merge together. Yiting wasn't the only one to merge with the Queen of the Moon's body, but her pure light attribute as well as her powerful elemental body. After the previous fusion, Yiting's cultivation had already risen to the ninth step. To merge with the body of the Empress Queen of the Moon who had been baptized in Long Haochen's bloodline was as easy as forming a natural river. However, this way, Long Haochen's blood would flow through her body, making it impossible for her to have any emotional connection with him. Before, when she didn't have a body, she didn't know how much she longed to one day become a true fairy, instead of a pure fairy. However, when she merged with her body, her heart was full of reluctance. C745, Elf Queen of Light One Yiting had been following Long Haochen for a long time, and from the time she started following him, she knew about the relationship between Long Haochen and Kair. Because she understood Long Haochen very well, she knew it was impossible for her to be with him even if she had a body. Since that was the case, she could only take a step back and be his younger sister, to live and die together with him. The body of the Queen of the Moon slowly floated up, and a pair of transparent golden wings slowly spread out from her back, indicating that the fusion between Yiting and her body was progressing extremely smoothly. One pair, two pairs, three pairs, four pairs. When her wings reached four pairs, Long Haochen revealed a faint smile on his face. This meant that after the fusion, at least Yiting's cultivation hadn't weakened. Right at this moment, the fifth pair of wings suddenly spread out. In contrast to the previous four pairs, these fifth pair of wings were actual a light blue color, not a light golden color. Success. Long Haochen clenched his fists in excitement. Although he removed the darkness attribute from Queen of the Moon's body, he retained the water attribute. Water and light were the source of life, and with the addition of Long Haochen's light god bloodline, Yiting's body could be made even more perfect. In terms of bloodline, she was perhaps a bit inferior to Long Haochen, but she with her dual attributes could also use the power of creation. Immediately after the fifth pair of wings, there was the sixth pair. All six pairs, twelve wings, slowly stretched behind Yiting. Eight of them were golden, four blue. It looked dazzling. The fluctuations of spiritual energy on Yiting's body were extremely astonishing, and they faintly emitted a multicolored halo. This was similar to the effect of the Light God Domain after Long Haochen's evolution. But the difference was that of the seven colors, three of them were the most striking, while the other four gradually faded, seeming to be swallowed by the three colors. The three striking colors are golden, blue and green. Three colored halos revolved around Yiting's body, the most powerful of them being the golden color. The original head of Queen of the Moon's black hair was completely dyed in this golden color. The blue color changed into a long skirt, and the green color changed into the color of Yiting's eyes. At this very moment, Yiting's aura even surpassed Long Haochen's, forming a field of fluctuations with three colors. Her power was so great that she was already approaching Easton's king. Easton's king came to Long Haochen's side, bowing slightly to Yiting, welcome, elf king of light. Yiting nodded slightly to Easton's king, her green eyes full of life. She gazed at Long Haochen with a gentle look, her two hands making a few consecutive gestures in front of her chest, and a strange pattern of light immediately floated out, flying towards Long Haochen's chest. Long Haochen was startled. He didn't understand what Yiting was trying to do, but he believed that Yiting wouldn't harm him, so he unconsciously brought the pattern of light back to her. When the patterns entered his hand, they instantly merged with his body and disappeared. Immediately, Long Haochen's body shook violently, and Yiting quivered at the same time. A golden bridge quickly appeared between the two, connecting with their chests. Long Haochen felt his own spiritual energy rising at an astonishing speed. His heart of eternity had already increased by 90,000 units, and after breaking through to the third rank of the ninth step, his strength exceeded 300,000 units. At this moment, he only felt his acupuncture points being opened from top to bottom. In a short period of time, his internal spiritual energy increased by 50,000 units. It had reached 350,000. However, there was no joy on his face, only a trace of helplessness. Yiting, what are you doing? Yiting, no, I should call her Long Yiting right now. She, who had inherited Queen of the Moon's beautiful appearance, revealed a smile to Long Haochen, my body and life were given by Big Brother. If one day you aren't here, what's the point of living? Furthermore, the contract has already been completed, so it cannot be changed. So that simple rune from earlier was actual Yiting's blood contract. In her body was Long Haochen's blood, and after completing the blood contract, she gave a reply to Long Haochen. Relying on a cultivation even more formidable than Long Haochen's, she forcefully covered up the aura of the blood contract, to the extent that Long Haochen didn't even notice. After the completion of the blood contract, Long Haochen was naturally affected by the contract, and his cultivation greatly increased, just like his relationship with Haoyue. Spreading the twelve wings on her back, Yiting flashed to Long Haochen's side, hugging his left arm and giggling, with a blood contract connecting us, this brother will never leave me. Long Haochen touched her head with some helplessness, you really are a silly girl. Easton's king looked at Long Haochen, then at Yiting, revealing a smile and muttering to himself, this should be the best ending. Right at this moment, the surrounding time returned to a still state. Long Haochen was startled, and at the same time, this emotionless voice sounded in his mind once again. Not lost in the benefits, looking for true knowledge in the illusion. Wash the darkness with light and shape it between light and water. You have passed the first test. The admiration and friendliness of Easton's king are the greatest gains you have made in this test. 
Hearing these words, the first thing Long Houchen thought to do was as he expected. This should be a hint that belonged to the divine throne of eternity and creation. It wasn't something that had to be done, and there were even misleading existences. If he didn't spread the plot of the Queen of the Moon, or if he found out and followed the instructions, he was afraid that the test would have already failed. This test of the divine throne of eternity and creation was not only about strength, but also about humanity and wisdom. However, this was only the first test. What would be the next test? Right at that moment, a resonant dragon cry suddenly resounded in the cave. Long Houchen was startled. King Easton's face immediately turned ugly. Is it over yet? The holy dragon has come to harass my Easton, relying on the mount that he is god of creation. As he spoke, King Easton had already left the cave. Long Houchen knew that this holy dragon's arrival was probably closely related to his next assessment, and didn't dare slack off. Hurriedly, he and Yiting flew out together. After exiting the cave, he and Yiting unconsciously raised their heads to look at the sky, because the original blue sky had already changed their expressions. The entire sky was filled with a holy aura, filled with majesty and oppression. The colors of the rainbow halo caused Easton's world to change colors. King Easton floated in midair. He stared off into the distance with a brilliant light in his eyes. A dot of light was flying towards him at lightning speed. Long Houchen's eyesight was excellent, but before he could take a closer look, the speck of light from before had already enlarged in his line of sight. It was a dragon, a true dragon. There were no wings on its back, and its slender body was over 30 meters long. Its entire body was covered in golden scales, and there were five claws underneath its stomach, and two horns on its head. Its imposing eyes were fixed on them, and as it approached rapidly, all the rainbow colors in the sky started to fluctuate. King Easton roared angrily, Holy dragon, are you finished? If you have nothing better to do, just come over and take a look. I just don't know if you have any. The holy dragon snorted coldly. Dwarf, aren't you afraid that your followers will change their faith? If you have the ability, you can come to my divine dragon island as well. I didn't come looking for you today. It was God's will. Human, defeating me is the second test you have to face. Just as King Easton was about to say something, a jade green ray of light suddenly fell from the sky and shone on his body. Immediately, King Easton felt a cold shiver down his spine and did not say anything. He could only apologetically shake his head at Long Houchen. It was pure natural power, filled with endless vitality. The only thing that made King Easton feel helpless was his faith, which came from the power of the Lord of Nature. It was obvious that the test of the divine throne of eternity and creation wouldn't be reduced by the relationship between him and King Easton. What Long Houchen didn't know was that his original second trial should have been to endure for half an hour without losing under the attack of the Holy Dragon. But because of his resurrection of Yiting, the difficulty of the examination increased accordingly. Since it was a test, then it was unavoidable. Words were useless, and Long Houchen nodded in response, please. As he spoke, his body flashed, and he transformed into a beam of golden light that soared high into the sky. At the same time, the Light God's domain also expanded, as if it were a taboo as it flew towards the Holy Dragon's domain that covered the entire horizon. At the same time, a multicolored brilliance glinted along with Long Houchen's flight, and when he reached a height of a few thousand meters, a holy unicorn appeared. Although the battle hadn't started yet, Long Houchen had a rough understanding of the Holy Dragon's strength. As the most powerful magical beast he knew, as well as a powerhouse that even King Easton couldn't do anything about, this Holy Dragon was at least at the ninth rank fifth stage of cultivation. What was even scarier was that his physical strength wasn't any worse than his spiritual energy. The only thing that gave Long Houchen a chance was his domain. All divine attribute creatures were mainly made of light, and his light god domain could be said to be the origin of all light elements, enough to counter the holy dragon in this regard. That was why he wanted to test out what would happen if his domain came into contact with the divine dragon domain. As the two domains clashed in midair, the distant King Easton suddenly had a strange feeling in his heart. As soon as Long Houchen's light god domain entered the divine domain of the holy dragon, it was just like a piece of hot iron being pressed against a piece of butter. Hiss, hiss, hiss. C746, Elf Queen of Light 2. The sky was also filled with seven colors of light, but the divine domain was lacking the golden foundation of the light god domain. It rapidly rushed forward, spreading, and not only did it not suppress Long Houchen, it was instead occupied by him. Ha! Huh. What a pure power of light! No wonder he has the qualifications to ask me to make a move. The holy dragon gave Long Houchen a curious look, but its movements didn't stop, as a multicolored breath aimed straight at him. Riding on the holy unicorn, Long Houchen revealed a faint smile. With a raise of his right hand, the multicolored golden light of the light god domain burst forth like a tsunami, rapidly dispersing the divine domain of the holy dragon. At the same time, it clashed against his breath. The breath of the holy dragon was rapidly weakened, but after the golden color light disappeared, the other colors of light still rushed at Long Houchen. Without waiting for Long Houchen to make a move, Yiting's body flashed, appearing in front of him. She spread the twelve wings on her back, and pointed her right hand at that surprise attack. In midair, a hundred meter long sword of light appeared out of nowhere. With a flash of light, it cut through the breath of the holy dragon. Immediately afterwards, it headed straight for the main body of the holy dragon. At the same time, a layer of energy belonging to the domain of Yiting condensed around her body. It was also of the light attribute, but the difference from Long Houchen's light god domain was that Yiting's light was just like the noon sunlight, piercing and sharp. 
The huge sword of light that was a hundred meters long sparkled with a dazzling golden light in the sky. It advanced forward in a kingly way. Was this a domain skill? But Yiting's domain skills were too easy to use. There was no preparation at all. However, the golden great sword clearly carried her domain aura. The holy dragon was shocked. As a recipient, it had the strongest impression of the sword's aura. The unadorned but indescribably destructive king's sword caused him to not dare to be careless. The huge body swayed in the air, and a rainbow bolt of lightning shot out from the two horns on his head. The two bolts of lightning merged together in the air, before shooting towards the huge golden sword. Amidst the violent rumbling, the golden great sword paused in the air for a moment before multicolored lightning began to swirl around it. Yiting let out a cold snort, quickly turning her hands in front of her chest with a few complicated gestures. She pressed down again. Immediately, the golden light on the great sword burst out, forcibly breaking through the multicolored light. It was still as tyrannical as ever as it slashed towards the holy dragon. This is... Domain weapons? Easton's king's eyes were wide open in the distance. He had a lingering fear of Yiting's power. Domain weapons? This was the first time Long Houchen heard of such a thing. However, seeing the situation in front of him, he could faintly guess that Yiting's domain was a special type of domain. She used her domain as a weapon, but it wasn't a domain skill. That great sword should be her domain weapon. It was very likely due to the fact that she merged all the energy from the two swords during her recovery, which gave her this kind of special evolution. From the way Yiting acted just now, Long Houchen could feel that in terms of spiritual energy, she wasn't that much inferior to Easton's king. Just like Easton's king, they were most likely both powerhouses of the fourth rank of the ninth step, while that holy dragon probably reached the fifth rank of the ninth step. The reason why he guessed that holy dragon was at the fifth rank of the ninth step was because Long Houchen was helplessly watching his whole body suddenly turn into seven colors. Flinging his body, he rapidly dodged the golden great sword, while at the same time ferociously striking the sword's spine with his tail, he sent the golden great sword flying to the side. Yiting's body trembled slightly, and the golden great sword in the air seemed to stall for a moment. She had just obtained a body. Although her cultivation had evolved to the level of the Elf King, she was not proficient at controlling it. Long Houchen pointed his right hand at Yiting, and immediately, a multicolored golden light rushed out just like a hundred rivers flowing in the ocean. He had a blood contract with Yiting, and their strength came from the same source. After his domain enveloped her, Yiting immediately became imposing, and her two hands drew a circle in the air, letting out ten thousand rays of light, forming a screen of light in the air, forcibly suppressing the approaching Holy Dragon. The Holy Dragon was depressed. Although Yiting's domain weapon was very powerful, under normal circumstances, it was still confident that it could win the battle in a short period of time. However, Long Houchen's domain restrained its domain too strongly. After the main light attribute was weakened, Holy Dragon's strength was reduced by at least a third. Although its body was tough, it didn't dare clash head-on with Yiting's domain weapon. For a moment, it was actual at a disadvantage. What made the Holy Dragon even more worried was that, along with her familiarity with the Golden Sword, as well as the amplification from Long Houchen's domain, Yiting's attacks became more and more fierce. The Holy Dragon was constantly pushed back by her attacks, so it had no choice but to continuously use its domain to contend against them. Long Houchen withdrew his right hand, which was originally pointing towards the sky. Actually, he had already thought of a way to deal with the Holy Dragon, but he didn't expect Yiting to have such an ability. Since that was the case, he was no longer in a hurry to reveal his trump card. Only God knew if there were any more difficult tests behind the divine throne of eternity and creation. The Light God's domain was fully supplemented by Yiting's domain, and the horn on the head of the Holy Unicorn unceasingly released rings of rainbow-colored halos, strengthening Long Houchen's spiritual energy. The Eastern world was a world full of vitality. Light was essential, and the light elements here were extremely pure. The reason why the Holy Dragon had come here so many times was because it liked the light elements. But at this moment, these light elements only acknowledged one master, and that was the Light God domain. The suppression from the domain prevented the Holy Dragon from displaying its full strength. Under the joint attack of Long Houchen and Yiting, there was actually no way to deal with them. Except for countering the huge golden sword, the Holy Dragon's gaze started to solidify, and a deep chant was chanted. His voice was very special, clearly belonging to the dragon race. His multicolor lights became colorful and brighter when he was chanting. Compared to the Holy Unicorn who only owned the pure light of, the Holy Dragon also possessed the six attributes of water, fire, earth, wind, thunder, and ice. With the addition of light, the seven attributes were all gathered together. At this moment, he was unable to control the power of the light attribute, but he still had six other attributes he could control. In the midst of the incessant chants of the holy dragon, the sky seemed to boil, and a large amount of six-colored halos appeared in the air, forming a halo that floated in the air. Dragon Tongue Magic Long Houchen's expression became more serious. The holy dragon's dragon tongue magic was definitely the most powerful attack of the dragon race. On the Shinwa Dalu, even ordinary gigantic dragons were rare, let alone holy dragons. Even if there was one attribute missing, the power of this attack was extremely terrifying. Long Houchen couldn't help but raise his right hand. Big brother, let me do it, I can do it. Yiting's firm voice resounded in Long Houchen's ears. Immediately after, her body transformed into a beam of light, flying towards her enormous golden sword. 
Yiting's domain was called the King Sword, which was a pure domain weapon. Domain weapons were existences that surpassed ordinary divine artifacts. The most powerful domain weapon was even capable of surpassing the power of a super divine artifact. What was she going to do? Very quickly, Yiting gave the answer. With a flash of light, her body disappeared from that king's sword. A golden light that was a hundred times stronger than before suddenly burst out. A terrifying sword intention seemed to pierce through the sky and ascend into the sky. At this time, the holy dragon's dragon tongue magic was completed. In the sky, the phantom of six dragons over a kilometer long appeared, and each dragon released a powerful breath, directly bombarding Long Haochen. The breath of each dragon could match a supreme forbidden spell. The six dragon shadows activated at the same time. Immediately, the world changed colors, and the sun and moon lost their light. However, in the midst of this terrifying pressure, Yiting's king sword abruptly soared, and in the blink of an eye, became a thousand meters long. The sword intent, the sword spirit, and the heart of the sword instantly merged into one. This was an indescribably terrifying power, and this sharpness was something Long Haochen had never seen before. If the violet gold moon sword formed by Hao Yue was the most powerful sword of destruction, then at this very moment, Yiting's king sword was the most powerful sword of the righteous noble. Long Haochen had already been using the aria of the goddess of light, blue rain, and hibiscus of light as weapons for a very long time. It could be said that any comprehension of swords had always been manifested with these two swords. After these two swords merged together with Yiting, the memories attached to the swords, as well as Yiting's own understanding of Long Haochen's fusion with Long Haochen, were added to the effects of Long Haochen's divine blood. This caused Yiting's comprehension of the sword to reach a new height, surpassing even Long Haochen's. Because she had once been a sword spirit. Countless rays of golden light flashed in the sky, as if countless golden pillars of light had appeared in the sky. The six terrifying breaths were immediately disordered by this golden light. Sword Star Rain? This was the Sword Star Rain. Long Haochen opened his eyes wide. That's right, the King's Sword was used by the Knight, and that was exactly the skill he used, the Sword Star Rain. But this was also the most powerful Sword Star Rain Long Haochen had ever seen. The gigantic body of the six dragons seemed to turn into lambs waiting to be slaughtered in front of the King's Sword. With a glint of golden light, the King's Sword transformed by Yiting rotated in the air. Immediately, a golden line appeared on each dragon's neck. In the next moment, they completely collapsed. The scene left the holy dragon dumbstruck. Although his dragon tongue magic was guided by a dragon without a seat, it was still one of his strongest spells. Yet it was destroyed by an opponent weaker than it. The power of a domain weapon had actually reached such a level. Furthermore, why can she use her self-incarnating domain despite even not being at the fifth rank of the ninth step? In the eyes of the holy dragon, the fusion of Yiting and the king's sword was clearly a feature of self-incarnating domain. In fact, Yiting was naturally unable to use her self-incarnating domain. She had transformed herself into the king's sword, thus activating the sword to unleash its strongest power. It could be said that the current her was a hundred times, a thousand times more powerful than she had been back then. After the king's sword broke through the holy dragon spell, it immediately turned around and slashed at the head of the holy dragon without any hesitation. At this moment, the holy dragon began to panic as well. And there was no need to mention the grievances in his heart. Long Haochen's domain had too great an effect on it, and Yiting's domain weapon was so domineering that Long Haochen didn't even directly intervene from afar, but he was already unable to resist it. With a roar, the holy dragon's figure flashed and appeared several thousand meters away. Stop, stop. I didn't lose, it's just that your domain has too much of a restraint on me. Besides, what ability does it count as you two fighting against one? The golden light vanished, and Yiting flashed, returning to Long Haochen's side. Giving a disdainful glance, she said, I only used half of my strength. You won't be able to hold on. You didn't say you couldn't fight one with two. Beaten is beaten. As a holy dragon, don't you even have the courage to admit it? If these words came out from Long Haochen, the holy dragon would certainly be unwilling to accept it, but from Yiting's mouth, he had no way to refute it. Easton's king was beside himself with glee as he said, I didn't expect that the majestic holy dragon would be beaten by an elf. Let's see how dare you come to Easton in the future. The huge dragon said snappily, Dwarf, don't be shameless. The elves belong to you, Easton. Don't put gold on your face. All right, lose is lose. You passed the second test. However, to be able to suppress me in terms of domain attributes, then I will admit your ability. Long Haochen nodded in response to the holy dragon, thank you. The test of the divine throne of eternity and creation was far more difficult than he had imagined, and it was also different from what Yang Haoyu had told him before. According to Yang Haoyu's description, the test shouldn't have been so difficult. Long Haochen seemed to have easily passed the examination, but in reality, he would have become natural moat in first or second trial if he didn't have the light god domain, and hadn't completed his evolution here, coupled with his own wisdom, experience, and the timely revival of Yiting who was so powerful. It could be said that he could pass these two trials thanks to the combination of wisdom, strength, and luck. Of course, it could also be said that it was the will of heaven. The holy dragon gave Long Haochen a glance, although you have passed my test, that doesn't mean you will pass the last test. Your domain attributes will no longer have any advantage in the final trial. I suggest. You'd better recover your strength as soon as possible. Because the final test is about to begin. 
Hearing its words, Long Houchen felt both happy and worried, but he didn't hesitate to push his heart of eternity to speed up the process. Opening the six wings on his back to its maximum size, with the help of the holy unicorn, he and Yiting fully recovered their spiritual energy. What he was worried about was naturally the test that even the holy dragon felt was extremely difficult. The joy in his heart was naturally due to the fact that the test had finally reached its final stage. If he could pass this last test, he would gain the approval of the divine throne of eternity and creation. After Long Houchen and the holy dragon recovered their respective domains, the sky regained its clarity. However, there was something strange about this clarity. Long Houchen felt as if he was being stared at by something. The voice he heard several times before didn't have any hints. The pressure in the air was growing stronger. He did not know what the final test was. However, after battling against the holy dragon, Long Houchen faintly understood that the most difficult test from the divine throne of eternity and creation wasn't to test one's strength, but to test one's humanity and wisdom. It is important, especially in the case of misdirection, to find the right way. Most likely, many of the experts who had been tested had fallen in this regard. Yang Haoyu had told him so. At least, he had failed two times in baffling ways. He didn't even know why, but he had already failed. After trying a few times, Yang Hea finally concluded that the only thing he had learned was true knowledge. One must not overlook any of the details in the test. Although the experience he gave Long Haochen omitted something, he still reminded him in the end, which helped Long Haochen pass two trials in a row due to his strength. He just didn't know what cultivation level the target would have this time. While Long Haochen was pondering, in midair, a white pillar of light fell in a straight line. The pillar of light wasn't that large, and seemed to have a diameter of 10 meters, appearing 50 meters in front of Long Haochen. The clean white color did not give off any energy fluctuations. After about three seconds, the pillar of light slowly dissipated, and a figure appeared in the air. Angel of Eternity. King Easton cried out in alarm from not too far away. It was a girl with a tall and slender figure, and from her overall shape, there were many similarities between her and Yiting. For example, she was also very beautiful, a kind of noble and superior beauty, but her pride seemed to be inborn, giving people an extremely normal feeling. On her back were twelve wings, just like Yiting's. The difference was, Yiting's wings were transparent, and her wings were wings. They were somewhat similar to human spiritual wings, but they looked more real. The twelve wings were spotlessly white. Under the illumination of the sunlight, they had a faint luster. The holiness made no one dares to have sense of blasphemy. The same pure white dress hung down. The dress was very simple, but when she wore it on her body, it was like a perfect match. It increased by a bit more, and decreased by a bit. Golden hair and golden eyes, but no aura of light emanated from them. In her right hand, there was a slender white magic staff. The magic staff didn't have any gems embedded on it, but when Long Haochen looked at it, he was immediately captivated by it. What he saw didn't seem to be a magic staff, but a sun, moon, and stars. This magnificent feeling was even greater than Yang Haoyu's universal divine realm. With his heart missing a beat, Long Haochen clearly understood that the powerhouse known as the Angel of Eternity was even more terrifying than he imagined. The Angel of Eternity gave Long Haochen an indifferent glance. Her voice was as cold as her appearance, if you defeat me, you will pass the test. As she spoke, she lifted the staff in her hand high up in the air, muttering to herself, Lord of Eternity, grant me your supreme power. The sky instantly turned white, and an inexhaustible oppressive force instantly pressed down on Long Haochen. Although he was very close to that angel of eternity, Long Haochen felt as if there was an endless gap between him and her. Long Haochen's light god domain was unconsciously released, but as soon as the rainbow-colored light appeared, it was immediately suppressed by the white light from the outside world. Long Haochen discovered to his astonishment that under the illumination of that white light, his invincible domain gradually disappeared. Although the speed wasn't fast, it was indeed dissipating. That feeling was very similar to being struck by Hao Yue's essence of disorder. What was the attribute of her domain? Or was there no attribute? With a thought, Long Haochen forcibly supported his light god's domain outside of his body, sensing the strength of that white light from the contact. There is no need to waste any effort. It is the eternal realm of the Lord of Eternity. Since you are already in the eternal realm, how can you resist this radiance of eternity? The eternal light is the power of primordial chaos. It can suppress and assimilate any attribute. The staff in the Angel of Eternity's hand drew an outline in the air, and a figure of light gradually appeared in front of her. At this time, Yiting also made her move, and the huge golden sword appeared once again, aiming straight at the Angel of Eternity. She didn't care who her opponent was, as long as it was in front of Long Haochen, she would help her big brother destroy him. As soon as the king's sword appeared, the white light instantly transformed into streaks of white light that coiled around it. Immediately, the ruler's sword felt as if it was stuck in a quagmire. Although it was constantly chopping at the white light, its power was rapidly being consumed every second, to the extent that Yiting's expression changed greatly, and she didn't even use her avatar. Instead, he quickly withdrew the king's sword. The scene of Long Haochen dealing with King Easton and the Holy Dragon appeared once again, only this time it was a reversal of the order of host and guest, Long Haochen being restricted by their domain. If he continued to fight with his domain, he would soon run out of spiritual energy. Moreover, even now, he still couldn't see the extent of the Angel of Eternity's cultivation. Brother, I'll be your sword. Yiting said firmly, and immediately, she leaped up. With a flash of golden light, a heavy sword appeared in front of Long Haochen. 
Domain confrontation wasn't his opponent, and could only rely on his own strength to break through the blockade. But Long Haochun didn't have a weapon, so Yating could only transform herself into his weapon. The Golden Greatsword was 7 feet long and nearly a foot wide. There were 18 sharp lines on the edge of the sword, making it seem extremely sharp. At the hilt of the sword, there were many overlapping wings, and the hilt was long and slender. From the tip of the sword to the hilt, there was a transparent line. It was just like a long gem, and an extremely sharp aura flickered and swished in the middle of the line. On this king's sword, there were eight glows of light. Yes, even more than the seven colors of the divine equipment. That powerful aura even surpassed that of the violet gold moonlight sword. And the aura it exuded was the pure energy of a king, more compatible with Long Haochun's own light god domain. Lifting up his right hand, Long Haochun grasped this huge sword, and his body trembled slightly. Feeling the connection between his blood and veins, his breath instantly merged with this king's sword. An eight-colored golden light burst forth, forming a curtain of light that separated Long Haochun from the outside world. The misty white luster that had been weakening Long Haochun before immediately stopped affecting him. At the same time, the holy unicorn behind Long Haochun also turned into a multicolored stream of light and landed on Long Haochun's body, turning into a holy armor, fully amplifying his strength. Ha! Huh. Even the light of eternity can resist. The angel of eternity looked at him in surprise. Long Haochun replied in a deep voice, your chaotic attribute can obviously be used to communicate with any attribute. However, if any of these attributes are able to reach the pinnacle, it is not something that your primal chaos can swallow. My light is the purest light. Perhaps my domain is no match for yours. But thought you want to weaken me with your domain, you can't do it. As he said that, the six wings on Long Haochun's back flapped, and his body turned into a golden flash, appearing in front of the Angel of Eternity like a bolt of lightning. The king's sword in his hand instantly glinted, and a myriad of golden light scattered in all directions. The body of the Angel of Eternity became illusory, and in the next instant, she was already a kilometer away. Since my domain can't defeat you, then let's just rely on strength. The Angel of Eternity let out a cold snort, then pointed with her staff. Immediately, a huge white light expanded in front of her. The white light soared upwards, and in the blink of an eye, it had turned into a thousand meter tall giant. This giant was completely white, completely formed from the power of. White armor covered its body. No weapons. With a stuffy groan, Long Haochun was sent flying back this time. His expression really changed. This thousand meter tall giant gave him the same feeling he had when facing the demon god emperor. Even though he was no longer as weak as he used to be, and he would not feel completely helpless, however, that terrifying oppression was too much powerful. This angel of eternity possessed the same strength as the demon god emperor, the king's sword was raised, and with a flash of golden light, a thick streak of golden lightning shot toward the huge figure of light with an extremely sharp sword intent. The figure of light let out an angry roar, and his entire body let out an explosive sound. A white light gushed out from his body. The sword intent released by the king's sword of Long Haochun was dispersed just like that. In fact, this strike contained the power of the light of trial. The suppression from domain, plus the power of this figure of light, made Long Haochun suddenly feel at the end of his tether. The oppression that figure of light gave him was too strong. It was so strong that even his will was being suppressed. This was an opponent he was completely unable to contend with. But if that was the case, what was the point of the test of the divine throne of eternity and creation? At that very moment, Long Haochun's thoughts were like bolts of lightning. The huge figure of light had already thrown a punch at him. Long Haochun's expression became serious. How firm was his determination? Even if he had to face the demon god emperor's suicidal situation in the past, he didn't intend to admit defeat either. Although his opponent was strong, he wouldn't retreat. Grasping the king's sword with both hands, Long Haochun's eyes glinted brilliantly, and a multicolored flame abruptly rose from them. What he ignited was his own domain. Even if he used up his source energy, he wouldn't admit defeat. Clang! In midair, the king's sword clashed with that fist, letting out a resplendent eight-colored light. The multicolored golden flames on Long Haochun's body also burst forth with a dazzling luster. It ferociously struck the fist. However, all of this was only a piece of cake to the white figure of light, and in the next instant, Long Haochun's body was sent flying like an artillery shell. Easton's king stared and stunned. After the Angel of Eternity appeared, the seal that had been placed on him by the Lord of Nature was lifted. However, when he saw what was happening, his eyes were filled with disbelief. Old Dragon. How was this possible? Even if the Angel of Eternity is stronger than you and me, she couldn't be as powerful as this. The Holy Dragon responded with a voice transmission, you know nothing. This is the test the Lord of Eternity has placed on the human. Angel of Eternity only temporarily obtained the authority to control the Eternal Realm. If it was in the outside world, even if there were ten of her, she wouldn't have such a cultivation. Easton's king said in confusion, if that's the case, then what the hell am I taking the exam for? Who could have won her? The holy dragon disdainfully said, what else does your brain have other than muscles? You know nothing. Watch by yourself. Easton's king was furious. Hell, if you keep on saying that, I'll smash your butt with a hammer. The holy dragon stared at the battlefield. The thing that responded to Easton's king's fury was one of its five dragon claws. However, it had its middle finger erected. 
In the air, Long Houchen felt the light essence in his body violently shaking, flying a few thousand meters before stabilizing his body. Although the pain from his body was intense, he was surprised to see that he hadn't suffered any serious injuries. On the contrary, the sharpness of the king's sword had left a deep scar on the huge figure of Light's fist. A thought immediately appeared in Long Houchen's mind, this figure of Light's attack power didn't seem as powerful as the one he displayed. The figure of Light's attack didn't stop there. Lifting his right hand in the air, his entire arm actually turned into a thousand meters long huge sword, slashing down from the sky. Before the great sword landed, a deep gully had already appeared in the ground a few thousand meters below, causing King Easton to feel great heartache. However, he did not dare to rush forward to stop. The power that this glowing figure was displaying was truly terrifying. Even if he and the holy dragon combined, they wouldn't be a match for him. In the air, all the elemental essence seemed to be mobilized in a split second, and Long Houchen's body was locked in place, making it impossible for him to dodge. Even if space was sealed, even if he had the power to travel through space, he wouldn't be able to escape. This feeling was exactly the same as when he was sealed by the three great demon gods in the Star Demon Tower. Blood surged, and Long Houchen's eyes lit up, the hot blood in his body already boiling. The battle at the Star Demon Tower was the biggest failure of his life. For this reason, the Kai RR he loved the most suffered so much before reviving him. Feeling the same sensation once again, Long Houchen's whole body immediately gained a burst of energy. Grasping the king's sword tightly in both hands, the rainbow glow surrounding the sword turned into eight colors, and a one-meter diameter area, bright as the sun, lit up the sky. Compressed version, the divine light dance. With the existence of the king's sword, an existence between a divine tool and a superdivine tool, Long Houchen's field of application and amplification had a great change. Boom. The sky was filled with white light, and the powerful cutting power of the divine light dance was able to cut that thousand-meter-long light sword in half. When it arrived in front of Long Houchen once again, its momentum was far inferior to before. The divine snail shield of sun and moon sparkled in seven colors, turning into an enormous shield above his head. However, the power of that light sword was indeed terrifying, and it smashed Long Houchen ruthlessly into the ravine on the ground. As he hovered in midair, he coughed out a mouthful of blood. Lifting his feet, he took a step forward, directly aiming for the place where Long Houchen had just landed. From the looks of it, he wasn't going to give him any chance of survival. However, at that moment, the radiance in the sky suddenly changed. The bright sunlight suddenly dimmed, and the sun began to set in the west. It seemed as if night was about to fall. This change left the Angel of Eternity stunned. However, the light blade still ruthlessly stomped down. The roar of the earth made King Easton close his eyes. With such a terrifying step, even if Long Houchen didn't die, he wouldn't be able to take a single breath. Divine Stone of Sun and Moon? The Eternal Angel stared at the sky, puzzled. The Divine Stone of Sun and Moon was a treasure that contained the purest essence of the Sun and Moon. With enough power, it could change the entire day and night, changing the time in advance. It had always been one of Easton's greatest treasures, but the Angel of Eternity had heard earlier that the Divine Stone of Sun and Moon had been stolen. Who would have thought that at this time? If it wasn't used by King Easton and the Holy Dragon, it would naturally be Long Houchen. At this time, that mighty and almost invincible figure of light suddenly trembled. Although its movement range was not large, because of its body size, everyone present was still able to see it clearly. Immediately, a strange luster started to spread from under the feet of this figure of light, and its body seemed to solidify. Red, orange, yellow, green, green, blue, purple, black and white. The nine-colored light twinkled, carrying a special kind of gentleness as they ascended. At the same time, the sun and moon in the sky seemed to come to a standstill. Sunlight and moonlight swirled and merged in the air, and the terrifying might of the world caused the Angel of Eternity, the Holy Dragon, and King Easton to shudder. No matter how powerful they were, they were still insignificant in front of the divine might of heaven and earth. Even a god would not be able to contend against heavenly might. Because God was born in heaven and earth. In the blink of an eye, the nine-colored light spread to every corner of the glowing person's body. At this time, the divine light of the sun and moon seemed to have completed its final fusion. An enormous golden and white pillar of light descended from the sky, combining the brilliance of the sun and the moon perfectly, gathering fire with a beautiful luster on that thousand-meter figure of figure of light. Under the glassy gaze of the Angel of Eternity, that enormous blade of light slowly melted in front of the divine might of heaven and earth. The divine light of the sun and moon rushed into the ground. A figure gradually rose from the divine light. There's no any dust on divine unicorn armor. In his right hand, he held the enormous king's sword, and in his left hand, he held it high above his head, a shield shining with nine colors of light crazily absorbing the light of sun and moon, causing his body to glitter with golden and white colors. Nine colors? A super divine equipment? The holy dragon and Easton's king said at almost the same time. As they looked at each other, they could clearly see the fear and shock in each other's hearts. The feeling of the huge holy dragon was especially obvious. If in the previous battle, Long Houchen had used this super divine equipment, he would probably have already. The Angel of Eternity's force was unparalleled. She didn't expect that Long Houchen would be able to destroy the figure of light of a million units of spiritual energy. That was already close to the strength of a demigod. Even if it was only condensed spiritual energy, its overall strength should have surpassed powerhouses of the sixth rank of ninth step. 
Right, Long Haochen had activated the ultimate power of the divine snail shield of sun and moon. The sun and moon protector is about the heart, the guidance of light, and the blessing of God. Dawn, sunset, the sun and the moon alternating between each other, the divine snail is the shield. These were the words left behind by the divine snail of sun and moon back then. Long Haochen gradually came to understand that the divine snail shield of sun and moon could only display its greatest strength at dawn or dusk. And the strength needed to activate this power was at least at the third rank of the ninth step. In other words, after Long Haochen reached the third rank of the ninth step, he could be considered to have grasped the true might of this superdivine equipment. A golden white light flashed between the heaven and the earth, and the power of chaos on the Angel of Eternity seemed to have received a huge response. As her body trembled, the terrifying aura of the demon god emperor began to rapidly weaken, and the entire eastern world seemed to become illusory under the illumination of the divine light of sun and moon. Friend, please take your divine ability back. Otherwise, our eternal realm will be destroyed. Easton's king anxiously told Long Haochen. The golden white light slowly vanished. The divine snail shield of sun and moon didn't launch another attack. The sky gradually darkened, from sun to moon, and Long Haochen, who was in the sky, appeared to be even more noble. The nine colors of the divine snail shield of sun and moon had already returned to their original colors, and its light was now much dimmer than before. At the time he obtained the divine stones of sun and moon, Long Haochen felt its advantages. To be more precise, it was the divine snail shield of sun and moon that gave him the hint in his heart. At this moment, the divine stone of sun and moon combined with the divine snail shield of sun and moon to create an attack, and it was indeed able to turn the world around. But he also felt it, because it was not the usual alternation of the sun and moon. For at least three days, the divine snail shield of sun and moon could no longer emit the luster of a superdivine equipment. However, a superdivine equipment was a superdivine equipment. Its radiance dimmed, but Long Haochen recovered to his peak state under the illumination of the sunlight and moonlight. Looking at the Angel of Eternity from afar, Long Haochen wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, I wonder if I can be considered to have passed your test. The aura of the peak of the ninth step belonging to the Angel of Eternity had already weakened, as if the aura she was emitting now was no different from that of the Holy Dragon. Facing Long Haochen, who held the king's sword in his hand and whose breath was clearly at its peak, she knew that she no longer had any chance of winning. Not to mention that the light released by the divine snail shield of sun and moon had given her far too much of a shock. You have passed the test. The Angel of Eternity nodded to Long Haochen. At this moment, the entire eastern world suddenly became nine colors. With Long Haochen as the center, the nine-colored divine light slowly revolved. An ice-cold voice resounded in the air, wisdom, tenacity, steadiness, strength. You have passed the test of three great spirits. From now on, you will be the master of the divine throne of eternity and creation. The angel of eternity will tell you the details of the throne. Happiness came so suddenly and naturally. Long Haochen was somewhat dull, and his eyes were moist. It had been more than ten years. More than ten years had passed since he first saw how powerful the divine throne was. In the past ten years, he had been training diligently, and he had experienced many trials and tribulations. Until today, he would finally have his own divine throne. It was still the ancestral divine throne of eternity and creation that had never been used before. At this moment, how could his emotions be described just with the word excited? It was an indescribable feeling of ecstasy. It was an acknowledgement of the sublimation of the soul. He suddenly thought back to the Tower of Eternity. As the holy necromancer and undead calamity Alux said in their last moments, holding the sun and moon to pluck the stars, there is no one like me in the world. The darkness would eventually shatter under the light of eternity. Demon God Emperor, I finally have the qualifications to challenge you. In midair, the Angel of Eternity, the Holy Dragon and Easton's King all knelt down to Long Haochen slowly, whose whole body was glinting with nine colors. The three experts said respectfully, Guardian of the Eternal Realm pays his respects to your master. Long Haochen hurriedly replied, There's no need to do so, please get up. The three experts rose to their feet, and the Angel of Eternity said, Master, are you curious about these three trials? Long Haochen nodded slightly. In fact, he had already guessed a bit, but he still needed to prove it. The Angel of Eternity said, This is the Eternal Realm. The Eternal Realm protects the sky, the Holy Dragon protects the sea and all magical beasts, and King Easton protects the earth. Together, we represent a world. The world of eternity and creation. This place was known as the Eternal Realm. The Eternal Realm itself was the internal domain of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation. Hence, if you wish to obtain the approval of a throne, you will naturally have to take the test here. The Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation is the seat of the Creator. It was a genuine super-divine artifact. It's much stronger than the one in your hands. Your shield can only release the power of a super-divine artifact in a special state. You was barely able to touch the edges of the super-divine artifact. The divine throne of eternity and creation were lost in space when the god of creation himself split into a hundred gods and took control of all the planes. It comes to your planet with the guidance of fate. This is the Shunma Dalu that you are familiar with. It has been waiting for its new master to be born. The divine throne of eternity and creation was actually the seat of the god of creation? Long Haochen focused his eyes, attentively listening. The throne will bestow you with the strongest power. With the existence of a throne, it is equivalent to you being bestowed a divine throne by the god of creation. 
You will never have to worry about the arrival of the God's bottleneck. Long Houchen's heart stirred, are you talking about the God's bottleneck is the million spiritual energy? The Angel of Eternity nodded, yes. The last test I gave you just now was to use the power of the Eternal Realm to simulate the million spiritual energy. According to the Eternal Lord's instructions, as long as you persevere for a quarter of an hour under my attack, you will pass the examination. However, I didn't expect you to defeat my simulation powers with your super divine artifact. Although your super divine artifact cannot compare with the divine throne of eternity in creation, it is still in the domain of the throne. Long Houchen asked with some curiosity, then who is the Lord of Eternity? The Angel of Eternity spoke with reverence, the Lord of Eternity is a divine will left behind by the God of creation. He was the true ruler of the eternal realm. But he doesn't show up easily, and he asked me to tell you. When you have completed the necessary tasks. The divine throne of eternity and creation completed its mission in this world. We will follow the arrangement of fate to another plane. At this point, Long Houchen completely understood. This divine throne of eternity and creation didn't always recognize him as its master. It could only be said that he was borrowing it for the Shenhua Dalu. That's right. It was the seed of the god of creation, how could it be used forever? At this very moment, the nine colored halos in the sky suddenly became denser, and a calm and emotionless voice sounded, Long Houchen, follow the direction of destiny. To pursue the true reason why the demons came 6,000 years ago, and to prevent the world from being destroyed and destroyed. The divine throne of eternity and creation arrived due to the destruction of the plane, and will be repaired along with it. You are the man of destiny. The exam is over. Dense colored rings of light revolved around Long Houchen's body, and in the next instant, he felt as if he was completely immersed in a special power. It was an endless amount of chaos energy, and it seemed to be changing because of his body. A familiar light attribute began to appear, taking root at an astonishing speed. His soul and body were both sublimated during this process of growth and creation. Dragon Resisting Mountain Pass Long Xingyu and the members of the Dawn Demon Hunt Squad were anxiously waiting. A month had passed since the beginning of the confrontation between the aura of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation. But Long Houchen still didn't have any news. As early as 20 days ago, Zhang Fangfang and Han Yu had already completed their respective tests. Having his own divine throne, the Night Temple gained five divine knights in an unprecedented amount. However, Long Xingyu and the members of the Dawn Demon Hunt Squad weren't the least bit happy, because the one most deserving of becoming a divine knight hadn't returned yet. His test continued. It's already been a month, why hasn't boss come out yet? Nothing will happen, right? Lin Exian had an anxious look on his face. Chen Ying'er gave him a fierce glare, shut up, you jinx. Kai Er stood by Long Xingyu's side, silently waiting. The seemingly calm her was feeling even more anxious than the others. C750, Angel of Eternity, 3. Long Xingyu comforted everyone by saying, in the process of obtaining the approval of the Divine Throne, there was a month of trial, and this was something that never happened before. And because of this, Hao Chen should have a great chance. Everyone, please don't worry. Even if Hao Chen didn't obtain the approval of the Divine Throne, he wouldn't have received any damage. Although he said that Hao Chen wouldn't be harmed, which meant that only the other five Divine Thrones would not be harmed, as the Ancestral Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, no one knew to what extent its true profoundness had reached. Just as Long Xingyu was comforting everyone, a sudden feeling of dizziness appeared in their minds. What's going on? They were all contemporary experts, and when they felt that something wasn't right, they immediately reacted. Immediately after, they discovered that the earth seemed to be shaking, and the entire dragon resisting mountain pass was shaking slightly. Could it be that the earth dragon has turned over? Long Xingyu's complexion changed. Although earth dragon turning over was not common on the continent, it wasn't that there weren't any. Moreover, once the earth dragon turned over, it could cause enormous damage. The dragon resisting mountain pass was one of the six great gates of humanity. If a powerful earth dragon managed to make a comeback, it would be an incomparable blow to the new federation. However, the tremors didn't intensify at all. Although everyone was alarmed by the shaking of the dragon resisting mountain pass, it was only maintained to a certain extent and didn't intensify. Suddenly, a terrible fluctuation of spiritual energy seeped out without any forewarning, and immediately, the sculpture representing the divine throne of eternity and creation shone brightly. The originally pitch black sculpture suddenly transformed into an incomparably gorgeous nine colors. Immediately afterwards, a pillar of light emerged from the sculpture, rising into the air. Strangely, this pillar of light didn't destroy any buildings, but in the blink of an eye, it rushed out of the dragon-resisting mountain, soaring high into the sky. Even from hundreds of miles away, this strange scene could be seen as a magnificent, nine-colored halo shot straight up. They broke through the clouds and flew higher into the sky. It is the divine throne of eternity and creation. Could it be that Haochen? Seeing the sculpture of the divine throne of eternity and creation shine, Long Xingyu felt as if his heart was being tightly gripped. This ancestral divine throne had never had such a change before. What did this mean? An imposing aura spread from the entire dragon resisting mountain pass, and the distant garrison of demon race was immediately shocked. They also saw the nine colored light. To them, that majesty had become a heavy pressure. The nine colored light beam gradually expanded in the sky. A 300 meter tall throne slowly appeared in the middle of the nine colored pillar of light. It was simply too big. 
It was impossible for the demon race to not see it even if they wanted to. And that oppressive force was already so terrifying that the demons of the lower levels felt chills running down their spines. Because of the uniqueness of the dragon resisting mountain pass, the demon race stationed here didn't have a weak existence like the dual bladed demons. But because the holy war had already ended several years ago, there was a huge gap in strength between the armies of demon race guarding this place and those of four years ago. Some of the demon warriors of the third level were already totally paralyzed on the ground due to the shaking of their bodies. If the pressure continued to increase, it might take their lives. It was different from the panic on the demon race side. At this time, the powerhouses of the dragon resisting mountain pass were completely immersed in shock. For sculpture of the six great divine thrones, almost every knight above the fifth level had seen it before. The knight temple had always been in possession of divine knights. But, compared to this 300 meter tall, nine colored sparkling gigantic divine throne, the other divine thrones that had previously released countless glows on the battlefield seemed to be in a dim state. The nine colored lights gave off a special aura. The nine colors sparkled, but didn't show the slightest sign of disorder. Faintly, on the back of the divine throne, the nine colors gradually formed rings of light that intertwined with each other. As for the throne itself, it gradually became the color of white jade. The other divine thrones all seemed to be made of metal. Only this one seemed like a piece of jade. All the sculptures were as lifelike as ever, but compared to the black of the sculpture, this sparkling white gave off a feeling of supreme nobility. A figure of light was slowly projected in front of this massive divine throne. That figure was clad in multicolored divine armor and held a glinting golden sword in its hand. Armor covered his face. But he was 500 meters tall. Slowly, he sat on that incomparable divine throne. It was as if a true god had descended upon the human world. The instant he ascended the divine throne of eternity and creation, the terrible pressure he exuded reached its peak. On the other side of the demon armies, tall demon warriors of the third and fourth level, in the face of this terrifying pressure, their bodies instantly exploded, turning into pieces of flesh and blood. Yes. That massive figure was precisely Long Haochen. At this very moment, Long Haochen didn't know where he was, only feeling an indescribable great power surrounding him. He had once possessed the sword of life and creation, and had even comprehended a domain godly technique such as controlling the progress of life through his domain evolution. However, when he sat on this throne, it seemed as if all his previous comprehensions had become insignificant. A true creative thought lingered in his heart, and the eternal thought gradually made the heart of eternity in his chest calm down. An indescribable clarity lingered in his heart. And his cultivation was rising because of this divine throne of eternity and creation. The speed of his ascension was not fast, but his mental state was also increasing. To correspond and integrate it. Long Haochen's will and spiritual energy fused with the divine throne of eternity and creation in this marvelous state of comprehension. Under the illumination of the nine colors from the super divine artifact, the knight started to kneel on one knee, giving Long Haochen the most noble of ceremonies. At this very moment, another three rays of light shot out from the dragon resisting mountain pass, the first one to appear was a gold red light. The enormous throne reached a height of ten jong, and its back was inlaid with countless precious stones. At the very top of the backrest was a semicircular bright red gem that overlooked the earth like a half sun. However, its radiance was a dim orange color, giving off a terrifying pressure similar to the arrival of Apocalypse. Long Xingyu proudly floated in midair. This divine throne of doom and slaughter was his best background. One of the other two divine thrones was dark green, while the other was light yellow. They were also ten meters tall, and on the dark green divine throne were inlaid with a total of ten eighty green gems, forming a strange human face that seemed to be roaring. And in the center of the human face was a young girl's sculpture. The young girl's face was filled with grief, and her eyes seemed as if they were about to drip with tears at any moment. That sadness and the surrounding fear gathered into a strange characteristic. That's right, this was the divine throne of fear and sorrow. Except from the divine throne of eternity and creation, this divine throne was ranked first among the five divine thrones created by humans. At this moment, there was another person standing in front of it. His gaze was calm and steady, his long hair draped over his shoulders, and his handsome face was full of excitement. He was staring at the direction of the divine throne of eternity and creation. Han Yu, in the demon hunt squad of light, Long Haochen's faithfully retainer knight. At the same time, the current him was also the holder of the divine throne of fear and sorrow, and he had already been conferred the title of divine knight of destruction and mercy by the knight temple. As for that light yellow divine throne, it had a magnificent yellow pattern, extending outwards, and at its core was a ten feet tall yellow gem. This yellow gem looked like a vertical eye, and within it seemed to undulate with a halo of light. It sparkled with wisdom. In front of this yellow divine throne, Zhang Fangfang was similarly looking excitedly at Long Haochen and the divine throne of eternity and creation. Right now, he was just like Han Yu, officially becoming a divine knight of the Night Temple. He was the possessor of the divine throne of wisdom and spirit, and was conferred the title of divine knight of the Night Temple. At this point, the six divine thrones of the Night Temple already had their own masters. The Night Temple's overall strength rose to an unprecedented level. Long Xingyu's voice sounded, covering the entire dragon resisting mountain pass. Twenty days ago, the divine knights of destruction and forgiveness, as well as the divine knights of metamorphosis and inheritance awakened successively in our Night Temple. And today, I wish to announce the greatest happy occasion of the six thousand years since the establishment of the Night Temple. Our ancestral divine throne finally has a master. 
He is the first president of the Temple Alliance, Long Haochen. He has already obtained the approval of the Divine Throne of Eternity and Creation, and on behalf of the Knight Temple, I have given him the title of Divine Knight of Excellence and Leader. From this moment onwards, he will be the head of the six Divine Knights of our Knight Temple, as well as the Supreme Leader of our Knight Temple. Under the cover of Long Xingyu's spiritual energy, the dragon-resisting mountain pass instantly became silent. Roughly three seconds later, cheers as loud as a volcano erupted, shaking the entire fortress. Divine Knights, Divine Knights, Divine Knights. They were all cheering the same slogan, for the glory of the Knight Temple. And the demon armies stationed in the distance were quietly retreating. He had to retreat. That divine throne glinting with nine colors gave them a great pressure. If this carried on, they didn't know what kind of damage they would suffer. And furthermore, the demon commander, seeing three of the four divine thrones appear in the sky, didn't know what was going on, and immediately realized that the situation wasn't looking good. He quickly dispatched scouts to report to the rear of the demon race. This was a major matter to alert the demon god emperor. Long Haochen could feel the cheers of the dragon-resisting mountain pass, but he was currently unable to respond to them, because everything in his body was ascending to the next level.